Hey, fellas, how's it going? I've been better, kind of pissed off. What's wrong, Donnie? Ah, he's just mad that Ron DeSantis announced his run for president. Donald here feels threatened. Who does he think he is running against me? I deserve the nomination, no questions asked. Donald, that's not how democracy works. Not that I'd expect you to know anything about that. What? You worried that he'll replace you as a presidential zomboy? Shut the hell up, Barack. I'm not worried at all, believe me. Anyways, where the hell is Joe? Taking a nap? Hey guys, sorry I'm late. I've been busy running a country. Eh, you know how it is. Yeah, not sure I call what you're doing running the country, but now that everyone's here, did you guys hear the news? What, that the U.S. is facing a debt default? No, worse. Activision is issuing cease and desist letters to numerous fan projects and clients, and plutonium could be next. Oh shit, how are we gonna play Black Ops 2 without plutonium? Can't you do something, Joe? You're president of the United States, even if you cheated to get there. I don't think I should get involved in all that as president. And also, fuck you, Donnie, I kicked your ass fair and square. Well, we just gotta hope and pray nothing bad happens. It's bad enough the boy client has gone for Black Ops 3. It'd be horrible if plutonium was next. Fuck Activision. I think that's a good point to end that conversation on George. How about we start a game of zombies? Ooh, can we play Kino? I love that map. Yeah, whatever. I know you two Democrats love that lame baby map. But I admit, after our latest adventures, a laid back map like Kino sounds refreshing. All right, glad we're in agreement. Let's lobby up and get this game started. If only we were playing the superior Black Ops 3 version. How are we supposed to survive the high rounds without gobble gums? Yeah, I will miss those little gumballs. So tasty. Well, Donald, I know you're used to having everything in life handed to you on a silver platter. So no surprise, that includes every perk at the start of the game. Fuck you, Barack. By the way, I call the Thunder Gun. Donald, y you can't just call the Thunder Gun. It's whoever gets it out of the box first. I'm just saying, if one of you nerds gets the Thunder Gun, you better not take it. Donald, you're crazy if you think that's going to happen. Anyways, I'm going to dolphin dive off the top of the stairs because it's fun to do. Ooh, I want to try. Yahoo! Really, Joe? Yahoo? Who are you, super fucking Mario? Well, if Joe is Super Mario, then you're definitely Bowser. Oh, I'm Bowser, am I? Well, he was pretty based in the Super Mario Brothers movie, Jack Black Killed It. I mean, Peaches, a banger song. I'm sick of hearing that song. It got old really quick. I don't be a hater, George. Peaches, 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 peaches. Shut up, Donald. I will leave if I have to listen to your annoying ass voice singing that song. I thought you sounded pretty good, Donald. That's a load of cap, Joe. By the way, did I just see your noob ass by the Olympia? M14 gang for life, you noob. Shut up, Barack. The Olympia's goaded. I mean, it gets dragon's breath rounds when papped. Nah, that gun is awful, Joe. With or without fire bullets. Hitting the box. Come on, daddy needs a new thunder gun. Hell yeah, now that's what I'm talking about. What the hell is that box luck? Donald doesn't deserve the wonder weapon. Yo, an insta-kill and double points? Name a more iconic duo. Uh, chocolate, chocolate chip, and my tummy. Jesus, Joe, why do you say tummy as an 80-year-old man? Why did you tweet more than a 16-year-old girl while president? Ooh, he's cooking your ass, Donald. Fellas, stop arguing. Let's make our way to the stage. The stage? That's a goaded album by Avenged Sevenfold. Damn, Donald has taste. I'm excited for their new album drop on June 2nd. That heavy metal stuff is too much for me. I can never understand what they're saying. Well, Joe, what do you listen to? What are your top three albums? Oh, that's an easy one. Kids Bop 11, Kids Bop 29, and Kids Bop 4. Such classic albums. Joe, what in the ever-loving fuck? I'm just gonna ignore that and open up the stage. I'll turn power on as well. And it's on. Y'all are really sleeping on this Olympia. Shit hits harder than the Adderall I have to pop to stay cognizant. Not something I'd publicly share, Joe. Well, now, Hunter's situation makes more sense. Like father, like son. Heads up, Nova crawlers have entered the building. So, uh, how do we do the Easter egg on this map? Joe, there is no East. Glad you asked, Joe. Follow me. See this ladder on the stage? You can knock it down and we can escape the theater. Sounds like a load of malarkey to me, but I'll trust you. I mean... This wouldn't be our first time escaping a theater recently, what with the whole Willard Wyler situation. 
All you gotta do is chuck a grenade up there and knock it down. Okay, here goes. Bro, nothing happened. Did I mess up, Don? Ha ha, gotcha, Joe. Around here, we like to do what I call a little trolling. To be fair, Joe, that's one of the oldest myths on this map. He got you good. Some things never change, I suppose. Donald will always make jokes at Joe's expense. Donald, you jerk. I wasted a precious grenade trying to knock down that ladder. Uh, grenades are pretty fucking useless in zombies, Joe. I think it's pretty fun using grenades to blow up those meat sacks like they're Middle Eastern hospital patients. Of course you do, Barack. You need help, dude. Oh, shit. Here come hellhounds. Better get in the iconic glitch spot. Donald, have you no decency glitching in zombies? For shame. Joe, it's just a game. Calm down. You're just mad that I got here first, and you have to actually try not to die. Both of you, quit bickering like an old married couple. Can we have one game of zombies where we just act like friends? Dude, this China Lake weapon fucking sucks. Holy hell. Well, I'm surprised you don't think it's the best weapon in the game, Joe. You usually have the absolute worst takes in zombies. Well, now that you mention it, Donald, I'm actually having fun using this thing. Maybe I'll pack a punch it. Joe, that thing sucks even after papping it. Don't do it. All I know is if Joe is using the China Lake and the Olympia, then he's going to go down a lot. Better keep these ballistic knives for easy revives. Just watch me, Barry. I say whoever has the most downs between us has to pay the other $100. Deal. About to make the easiest $100 of my life. Donald, you could partake as well. I know your ass is going to need all the money you can get to cover your legal expenses. Fake news. The witch hunts will never end. But fine, I'll take part in your little deal. I mean, I did master the art of the deal. Donald, you didn't even write that book. You just slapped your name and picture on the front cover. George, don't make me hit you with a DDoS attack. Yeah, right. Your annoying orange looking ass can't do shit. Oh, is that so, George? Hmm, we'll see about that. Uh-oh, I think George is actually lagging out. Donald, you dickhead. Are you fucking kidding me, Trump? You bastard, you petulant man-child. You really knocked me offline because I told you the truth? Fuck you! Donald, what the hell is wrong with you? I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't do anything. Sounds like George just needs to fix his shitternet. Donald, you're gonna pay. But I guess I'll just hop in a game of Dead Ops Arcade, because why the fuck not? I genuinely would rather gouge my eyes out than play that shit. Dead Ops Arcade 3, however, is goaded. We should play that sometime. I'd be down. That's one of the better parts of Cold War, to be honest. Uh, I don't know what you mean. Cold War is awesome. I mean, Firebase Z, a god tier map. Anyways, can we go to Pack-A-Punch soon, guys? Uh, this Olympia is getting kind of weak. Joe, I'm telling you right now, Pack-A-Punching that gun will not make it any better. Whatever, Barack, just don't cry when you owe me $100. Packing my Galil? Easily one of the best guns in the game. All right, I'm gonna pack the ballistic knives. I'm getting myself to Hades. I'll be showering those freak bags with fiery dragon's breath. Yeah, I'd have a packed commando right about now if someone didn't act like a big baby. Yeah, seriously, Barack, why'd you have to boot George? What, that was all you, Donald? Fake news, I'm being framed by the radical left Marxists. So did you guys watch that PlayStation showcase the other day? Lots of cool games were shown off. Yeah, I did. Spider-Man 2 looks amazing. The symbiote suit gameplay looks insane. Yeah, now there are two black Spider-Men in the same game. Donald, you need to chill with the out-of-pocket comments. Whatever, George. Anyways, the game that had me most hyped was the remake of Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater. What a classic. The PS2 days of gaming were really the best. I've been playing a lot of that new Zelda game recently. I've been letting my imagination run wild with all the different contraptions I've made. Oh yeah, great game. I'm excited for the Silent Hill 2 remake personally. That game scared the hell out of me back in the day. I swear I'm about to fall asleep like Joe playing this, but I'm so bored I can't think of anything else to do. Sucks to suck, George. I think I'm gonna upgrade the crossbow. It's a great utility acting like a monkey bomb. Good idea, Donald. You can distract the zombies, like how my charisma and popularity distracted the American people from knowing I was committing war crimes. Uh, weird flex, Barack, not gonna lie. Not like any of these conversations are ever gonna get leaked to the public, otherwise we'd all be in jail for the shit we've said. I mean, they already arrested me once. It's not that big a deal. Anyways, activating the Easter egg song. 115 is such a banger. Yeah, it makes you feel so badass when mowing down hordes of zombies.
Damn it, this sucks. I want to listen to 115 too, not this 8-bit shit. Shouldn't have lagged out then, George. Donnie, this is why you lost in 2020. You have no empathy, you're cold and conniving, and have no problem being a dick to anyone and everyone, even your friends. Jesus, Obama, it's just a video game. Yo, Don, look, I got in the glitch spot too. I'm entering the room of fate on Dead Ops. Hope I get the permanent minigun. Fuck, I got the shitty score multiplier one. This isn't gonna help me survive longer. Who the fuck cares about a higher score? I remember back in the day going to the arcade with my brothers. We'd always try to get the highest score on Pac-Man. I spent so many of my hard-earned quarters there. Good thing I had a small loan of a million dollars as a kid. I practically owned the arcade when I went. Nobody else ever even got a turn, especially on the Donkey Kong machine. Donald, you know that just makes you sound like a dick more than anything. How'd you even get this song to play? You find an MP3 player laying around or something? MP3 player? Really, Joe? You do realize we live in the modern age, right? Nobody uses MP3 players anymore. And every map has an Easter egg song. Joe, on this map, you got to interact with three 115 minerals around the map. Hold up, Hussein. Did you say 115 minerals? They're rocks. Trust me, Donald, I know a mineral when I see one. They're not rocks. What the hell are you two even arguing about? Who gives a fuck if it's a rock or a mineral? Ooh, maybe they're fossils. Joe, you're a fossil. Saw that coming. You walked right into that one, Joe. Whatever. I don't care what this bloated tangerine has to say about me. Ah! Mommy, help. I'm in this scary-looking room. Oh, thank the sweet Mother Mary above. It's over. Joe, you puss. It's just a game. Joe, buddy, you literally saved us from Mephistopheles. How can you be scared of a room? In a video game, also, you just went down. Better get your wallet ready. That $100 is as good as mine. Yeah, glad I have these upgraded ballistic knives. Makes reviving as easy as pie. Just protect me while I get my perks, guys. Nah, I want that $100 so you and Donald need to start going down more. Well, I haven't went down at all yet, so safe to say that money is as good as mine. As former presidents, we literally get a pension of over $200,000 a year. What difference is $100 really gonna make? Also, I fucking lost my last life. Fuck dead ops, this shit sucks. It's not about the money, Bush. It's about sending a message, unless you're Donald, in which case it's definitely about the money. Uh, can one of you guys stream on Discord? I wanna watch how this shit goes down. I got you, George. Prepare to be amazed with skill the likes of which you've never bore witness to. Oh dear God. I think I'm about to piss my diaper. Look how creepy that footage playing on the screen is. Joe, what did we tell you about your way too frequent TMI moments? Yeah, we love you, man, but we don't want to hear about how you wear adult diapers. Sorry, sorry, I'll shut up. I swear, training on the stage of Kino with the Thunder Gun is one of life's simplest pleasures. Joe, get up. Shit, Donald, help. Fuck, there goes all my perks, damn it, Joe. Why'd you have to go down? Aha, safe to say at this point, you two will be paying up. Fellas, I'm running low on ammo. Me too, not gonna lie. And this M16 isn't cutting it anymore. Y'all just wanna camp in the jug corner until we die? Why not, let's do it. Stand your ground, boys. Holy shit, what a perfectly timed max ammo. You guys are lucky. We're back in the game, fellas. Let's get out of here. I see Donald turned on the turret trap. I forget that's even a thing on this map, to be honest. Joe, what the hell is this gameplay? You're playing at the default FOV, and you're wasting time rebuilding the barriers on round 24. Uh, don't hate my play style, George. You're just mad I'm actually still in the game. No dumbass, I'm mad, because you're playing like this is your first ever game of zombies. Oh, cut him some slack, George. He saved our lives with that Biden blast, remember? We can excuse a little bit of bad gameplay. He is 80 years old after all. The fact that Joe can even hold a controller at all is impressive. I can't believe Joe still hasn't gotten rid of the Olympia. Y'all are sleeping on it. No way the M14 would have carried you all this far. Uh, I'm the one who's carried us this far, not the Olympia. I hate admitting when a Republican is right, but Donald and his thunder gun have clutched up a couple times. Donald, you are pretty good at zombies. How long have you been playing for again? Been on that zombies grind for nearly 15 years since Nakdare Untoten. That's a long time. Anyways, come this way, guys. We gotta move. All right, let's hold out here. Joe, whatever you do, don't touch the... Ooh, this trap could be helpful. 
Damn it, Joe, my first down. And it's because you fucking killed me, you noob. Don't worry, guys, I'll revive you all. Holy shit, what a cursed way to end that game, Joe. I gotta hand it to you, that was entertaining. Look at the scoreboard, you two losers owe me $100. Uh, yeah, about that, bye. Damn it, Obama. Joe, you better pay up. Uh, uh, sorry, Donald. Kevin McCarthy is calling important debt ceiling negotiations. You, you know, I'll talk to you later. Damn, saw that one coming, Donald. How about me and you run some debt ops? I was actually kind of enjoying it. Fuck no. I'm Audi. I gotta go post on Truth Social about how these two clowns don't keep their promises. Typical politicians. Well, shit. Alone again, George? Guess I'll go play with Hillary. Maybe she'll let me smash since Bill disappeared. Hey, fellas, you all ready to play the next Black Ops 1 map? I sure am, Barry. This should be a lot of fun. Uh, which map are we playing today? That would be Ascension, Joe. Not one of the best maps, in my opinion, but it should be fun to revisit it with you guys. Do we have to play the Black Ops 1 version? This game is so old and outdated compared to BO3. And risk getting hacked, Donald? I don't think so. We all have classified documents saved on our computers, so it would be horrible if some no-life hacker got a hold of them. Besides, it's fun to go back to Black Ops 1 after all these years. I agree, Barry. I hope Treyarch decides to remaster this game someday. The new Call of Duty games are all atrocious. I like Vanguard myself. I'm gonna pretend like I didn't hear that. Time for ascension, fellas. I haven't played this map in literally years. Whoa, what happened to the color? I already love this map. I hate to burst your bubble, but this black and white bullshit won't last too long. Anyways, here's a quick zombies history lesson for you, Joe. Ascension was the first map to feature a main Easter egg quest, so it's pretty simple and easy compared to the later games. This shouldn't take us too long. Ascension? More like Ascension. This map could have been so great if those damn monkeys didn't ruin it completely. Did you say monkeys? Joe, don't tell me you're scared of monkeys too. Is there anything you aren't scared of? Obviously, George, what kind of coward do you take me for? I'm not scared of cute little butterflies, adorable puppies, or beautiful rainbows. Why did I ask? I should have known Joe would say something lame. Enough of Sleepy's nonsense. Let's work on building points so we can make our way to power. Hey guys, what's that loud beeping noise? Joe, stay away from the- Ha ha ha, Joe, you're such a noob. Get your ass up, Joe. We can't have you making foolish mistakes like that if we want to beat this egg. How in the hell was I supposed to know that thing would spin around and kill me, Barack? What's done is done. Let's start opening some doors so we can get the power, and more importantly, the color, back on. About to turn the power on. First things first, we need the Gersh device to start this Easter egg. We'll also need the ray gun, the thunder gun, the crossbow, and the Matryoshka dolls for the final step. So let's try to get those too. I just got the ray gun for my first box hit Donnie. We're already off to a good start. Good shit, Barry. I'll work on using the lunar landers so we can launch the rocket and open Pack-a-Punch. What in tarnation is a lunar lander, Donald? You imbecile, it's the flying thing we were on when we first spawned in. There's three of them located around the map that we have to use in order to unlock Pack-a-Punch. Calm down, Donald. Joe doesn't know any better. He's like a naive little child. Oh shit, I just got the Matryoshka dolls. You know, Donnie, with this map taking place in Russia, I'm surprised it's not your favorite. Will you Democrats ever stop it with the Russiagate hoax? I was cleared of all wrongdoing. Yeah, sure, Donnie. I wouldn't be surprised if you actually paid those Russian hookers to pee on you. It was just one time, Barry. Uh, I mean, I would never do such a thing. Getting the second lander, just one more and we can launch the rocket. I know you didn't get to play five with us last time, Joe, but here's some neat zombies trivia for you. This map takes place at the same exact time as five, and you can actually hear the playable characters from five via telephones on this map. Wow, that is neat, Obama. I've always wanted to learn all of the lore and story for zombies, but it's just so confusing to me. There's no point telling old timer over here that stuff, Barry. His dementia will almost certainly rob him of not only these insignificant zombie facts, but even precious memories of his loved ones. Jesus Christ, Donald, no need to get so fucking dark. Don't listen to him, Joe. We'll catch you up on the zombie story eventually. Come on, Barry, let's ride this together. 
Man, I wish lunar landers existed in real life. It would be so much fun to just fly around in one of these. True Obama, once you two are back at spawn, we need to head to the power room and launch that rocket. Launching the rocket, fellas. Gonna blow this bitch up with my ray gun. Typical Barack blowing things up as usual. We'll get a free double points for blowing it up too, so that's nice. Holy shit. That was so beautiful. Get a grip, Obama. It's just an explosion. Now all we need is to get those damn Gersh devices. Let's all take advantage of any fire sales we get. I'm buying PhD flopper guys, so the monkey rounds will start happening now. Those little bastards are no joke. Oh no. I'm so scared of monkeys. Can someone protect me while I go grab a spare diaper just in case? Hell no! Why the fuck are you so scared of monkeys anyways, Joe? Back when I was just a wee lad, my father took me to the zoo. Um, we went to see the monkeys. When one of them escaped, he ran down towards me and stole my chocolate chocolate chip ice cream cone. Ever since then, monkeys have terrified me. Oh yeah, he also uh, mauled an old lady to death. All right, Joe, I'm not even gonna make fun of you this time. That's horrifying. The only monkey I cared about was Harambe. He was taken from us too soon. I actually hung out with Harambe's mom back in the 90s. Look it up. Oh shit, guys, I got the Thunder Gun. Are you kidding me? The biggest noob in the game gets the Thunder Gun? What a bunch of poppycock. Haha, <laughs> cry some more, Donnie. Your tears are delicious. You got the Thunder Gun when we played Keno Trump. Stop being a baby. Fuck, revive me. I have the ray gun. Get your keister off the ground, Obama. I've got you. Thanks, Joe. Unlike Donald, I know I can count on my VP when things get bad. Fuck Mike Pence. That old traitorous bastard really thinks he stands a chance against me in the election. It's so sad. He's better than Dick Cheney, at least. Can't even be around that guy without risking getting shot. Oh, shit, here come those monkey fucks. Joe, they're going to try and steal our perks, so we have to defend them. We can all easily defend Flopper together. We'll get a free perk, too, if we can kill all the monkeys without them touching the perk machine. These freaks are no match for our ray guns, Hussein. Yeah, this is a piece of cake. It'll only get annoying once we have multiple perks to defend. I think I'm just gonna stay back here where it's safe. You guys got this. Joe, you, you have a ray gun and the thunder gun. They are no threat to you, but whatever. I just killed the last monkey. Someone grabbed the max ammo and perk bottle. Hell yeah, I got Juggernog. I got Speed Cola, could be worse. Nice Donald, I got Speed Cola too. I got that perk with the little running dude. Stamina something? Jesus, dusty old bones, how do you even forget the names of the perks? I know you've used stamina before. The inner machinations of my mind are an enigma, Donald. That's the understatement of the century. Anyways, Donald, did you hear the new Avenged Sevenfold album yet? Yeah, and it sucks ass, Barack. It's not even metal, it sounds like daft fucking punk. You're crazy, Donald. It's one of their most creative, melodic, and interesting albums ever. It's a masterpiece. You just can't appreciate true art. Screw that heavy metal crap. Have you guys heard Taylor Swift's new song with Ice Spice? Joe, you did not just ask us that. Do you really think any of us would listen to that garbage? Fuck you, haters. I'm a Swifty till the day I die. Well, Sleepy, that probably won't be too long from now if we're being honest. Anyways, why the hell have we not gotten the Gersh devices yet? Our box luck is terrible right now. Surely we'll get them soon, Donald. Please, Mystery Box, we need those Gersh devices. Yeah, this game gets tough in the high rounds, so we need to start this Easter egg soon. Oh shit, I got them, guys. I'll go toss one at the generator outside the map by Flopper. All right, suck in that generator. Next, somebody needs to go hit the monitor near the lander by stamina. up. Got it, Donnie. Next, we need to wait for a monkey round. Four buttons will spawn near the perk machines that we all have to hit at the same time. That means you're gonna actually have to help us with the monkeys, Joe. Oh, please, God, keep me safe. Joe, please stop being such a little bitch, baby. It's embarrassing. Don't ever let Joe play Dead Ops Arcade. The Cosmic Silverback would give him a heart attack. All right, it's a monkey round. Everyone get ready to hit your button. All right, counting down, guys. One, two, three. Hell yeah, guys, we did it. Now let's try to protect our perks from these shit-throwing bastards. This is for taking my ice cream. See, Joe, these monkeys can't hurt you. You're right, Obama. I think I'm getting over my fear of monkeys. Another free perk. Give me something good. 
PhD flopper, fuck this perk. I forgot how much you disliked that perk, Donald. You said some whack shit about it during our perk tier list. Speaking of perks, where the hell is Double Tap on this map? They must have realized how shitty Double Tap 1.0 was and just decided not to include it. Pretty weird decision, but the perk sucks anyways. Enough chit chat. We need to move on to the next step. According to Mr. Dalek JD, we just have to go stand in front of a clock for two minutes near Pack-A-Punch. All right, I've got a couple of crawlers across the map from Pack-A-Punch, so they shouldn't get in our way during this step. All right, now that everyone's here, we just have to stand in front of this clock and not move at all. Got it, Joe? You're kidding. Well, at least this is probably the best time for him to fall asleep since we're just standing around. True, George. But he should really drink some coffee or smoke some crack or something before he plays with us, though. Oh, Donald. I had no idea you felt that way about me. I feel the same. Jesus, I can't listen to this. Joe, wake the fuck up! Huh? Oh, sweet Aunt Jemima, where am I? Joe, we're in the middle of the Ascension Easter egg. Anyways, it looks like we can finally move. What's the next step, Donald? Next, we need to use the lunar landers in a specific order to collect giant floating letters in the sky to spell the word Luna. What kind of drugs were they on when making these steps? Your guess is as good as mine, Barry. Let's just get this done. We're almost at the end of this egg. Wow, that's a bigger L than Joe's entire presidency. At least I am president, orange man. You took the biggest L of all time in 2020, and it'll happen again next time. That's only if Ron DeSantis doesn't beat Trump's ass first. Meatball Ron stands no chance against the Donald. Anyways, I just got the last letter here. Now someone just needs to get the crossbow and upgrade it, and we should be able to finish the last step. This Thunder Gun is cool and all, but I really wish I had the Tundra Gun from Tagged or Toten right now. Joe, you complete and utter noob. That gun sucks ass compared to the iconic Thunder Gun. What's wrong with you? I think Joe was probably dropped on his head as a baby more than once. I'm glad things have gone back to how they used to be. Even when you guys are making fun of me, I feel happy to be playing zombies with my boys again. Yeah, yeah, Joe, we love you too, buddy. Just don't go getting yourself killed again. We had to go through so much shit dealing with that imposter. You must have been pretty sus, huh? The whole Samantha situation was definitely sus but it's all behind us. Now let's use all these points to get the crossbow, gentlemen. Oh shit, I got it, guys. Just need to go pack a punch this bad boy. Good shit, Barry. This Easter egg is as good as done. Pack a punching the crossbow. Everyone, let's meet up at the Casimir mechanism. The Casa what now? Just follow us, Joe, you noob. All right, Joe, as soon as I throw down this Gersh device, you need to blast the glowing white dot on the ground with your thunder gun. Bush, throw your dolls, and Obama, shoot the crossbow. You guys ready? Let's do this. Eat ray gun, you glowing dot bastard. Damn, this looks insane. Just keep shooting. I feel like a damn sissy playing with these dolls. What's wrong with playing with dolls, George? I have tea parties with mine all the time. You're an 80-year-old man, Joe. Grow the hell up. Anyways, I think we did it. We should all get death machines soon. There we go, boys. We have officially completed the Ascension Easter egg. Are you kidding me? I went down so I don't get the death machine. These are special 90-second death machines too, George, so we definitely won't be able to revive you since you can't get rid of the death machine in this game. Damn it, I always get screwed when we play zombies. It's okay, George. We're about to quit this match anyways, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, everyone just let yourself go down. I've had enough of this map. GG, fellas. Gee, Willikers, that sure was fun. I'm just glad to be done with that mid-map, especially since one of the best maps of all time, Call of the Dead, is next. Hey, guys, you want to all meet up and see the new Spider-Man movie? That sounds fun. How about I pick you guys up in an hour? Can we go watch The Little Mermaid instead, guys? That movie looks so amazing. No, Joe, just no. All right, Obama, but let's stop somewhere to buy a bunch of snacks before we go fuck those movie theater prices. You're literally a billionaire, Donald, you damn cheapskate. But okay, everyone get ready and I'll see you guys in a bit. Obama out.
I better take a quick nap before we head out. Otherwise, I'm not going to make it through the movie. See you guys later. How about you and I run a couple games of Warzone while we wait for Obama, Donald? Sure, I'm down. Let's lobby up and show some noobs how it's done. All right, boys, you all ready to play some more Black Ops Zombies? Oh, boy, am I. What map are we doing today? Oh, you're in for a treat today, Joe. We're playing one of the best maps ever made, Call of the Dead. Well, I don't know if I'd go that far, Don, but it is a classic. Well, what's so great about it, Donald? Where do I start? It was the first snow map we ever had. It's got a unique cast of characters, two wonder weapons and an Easter egg that can be done solo and co-op. That does sound pretty cool. Yeah, and it was the first time we got to hear Avenged Sevenfold and Call of Duty. Pretty epic, if you ask me. And not to mention it has George. George, you're in this map? That's awesome. Not me, you goofball, George Romero. Oh, really, I loved him as the Joker. That was Caesar Romero, Joe. George Romero is the godfather of the modern zombie. We wouldn't have Call of Duty zombies if it weren't for him and his contributions to horror. He was a great man. May he rest in peace. Hey, Donald, I forgot to ask. Are you scared about those 37 felony charges from the classified documents case that are heading your way? Your days of being a presidential zomboy are looking numbered. The whole thing is bullshit. I mean, Sleepy Joe took classified documents and had them in his garage where crackhead Hunter had access to them. It's a witch hunt. The difference is I actually complied with the DOJ and wasn't showing them to anyone who wanted to see them like you did. I mean, you had them laying around your bathroom floor for Pete's sake. Oh, just be a bro and give him a pardon, Joe. Yeah, what Barack said, help a brother out. Yeah, I'll think about it. Can we just play the damn game already? Hold up, I feel a little lightheaded, guys. Now that you mention it, Barack, so am I. Feeling sleepy. What the hell? Oh, what the hell? Where the fuck am I? Ouchie, Donald, is that you? I think you're stepping on my foot. Where the hell are we and why is it so cramped? I don't know, this is way too close for comfort and, and it's pitch black too, like Obama. Bruh, I'm not even that dark skinned you pumpkin looking troll. Guys, stop arguing. We gotta figure out what the hell is going on and how we got wherever we are right now. I swear we can't catch a break. Well, we don't have much wiggle room right now or a fresh airflow. I really hope someone finds us. Hey guys, listen. Wherever we are, it sounds like a blizzard out there. Oh no. And I think I know exactly where we are, guys. Where the hell am I? This isn't the Oval Office. It's a lot colder, that's for sure. Dick, is that you? What the fuck is going on? Jack, my old friend, is it really you? Of course it's me. But the strangest thing happened. I was riding in my convertible through Dallas when, bam, I was here. Well, hello, gentlemen. It seems like some unexplainable forces have brought us all together. Why, if it isn't my ambassador to the United Nations? Actually, Mr. Nixon, my current title is President of the United States. Sounds like some time travel shenanigans are afoot, gentlemen. Last I recalled, I was the current president, too. Though my memory is a bit fuzzy these days. Ronald Reagan, the actor, as president of the United States? What's next, Marilyn Monroe as first lady? Uh, Jack, let's just say when it comes to the future, there are a lot of things that'll blow your mind. Dude, that's fucked up. Your future isn't too bright either regarding your presidency, Dick. But, uh, no spoilers. Did you all hear that? Sounds like someone breaking in. Uh, it's just the storm, Dick. Sit down. Wait a sec. In the distance, I see someone, and, and here, screaming. What on earth? Zombies. Gentlemen, at times like these, our capacity to retaliate must be and has to be massive to deter all forms of aggression. Look here, guys. There's some handguns. Looks like 1911s. Lock and load, boys. I am a pacifist, but if it means surviving an undead horde, uh... I guess I can take up arms. Let's show these commie bastards who's boss. I really didn't dress for the cold, but uh, we have to find some sort of way out of here. The real question is, where is here? Wait guys, there's a man here, looks human. Hey big fella, what's your name and do you know what's going on? I need 
Something to eat. I recommend eating dick. Uh, Jack, I really hope you don't mean me. Well, clearly this guy is no help. He seems to be a zombie that has retained a bit of his humanity, but still wants to kill us. He seems quick to anger, so try to avoid him. He doesn't go down easy like these other freak bags. In the meantime, let's explore this outpost and look for clues. If I had to guess, we're in Russia. This place screams Siberia. I guess you could say we're fighting a cold war. Reagan, I miss that humor of yours, but even that was a cheesy joke. How can you guys even be joking at a time like this? I want my mommy. Stop being a pussy, dick. Ooh, that was an oxymoron. Screw you, Kennedy. Stop bickering, you two. This isn't like your TV debate. There's got to be a power switch around here somewhere. I don't think these dirty reds could afford electricity, Ronald. Guys, I found a gun. It appeared from a chalk drawing. Weird. Definitely keep an eye out for more powerful weaponry. Good idea, George. I found a power switch. Let there be light. Whoa, I just got a giant machine gun out of nowhere. Gonna use it to shred this big guy since he seems to have much thicker skin than these other zombies. He didn't like that, Ronald. Run away! It seems like he calms down when he steps into the icy water. I'm gonna check out the lighthouse. Maybe we can use it to signal a ship to save us. Sounds like a good idea. Ah! What on earth? I think I'm gonna be sick. Wherever we are looks like it's been abandoned for decades. Hey, did you guys hear that? Sounds like someone outside. Sure you're not imagining things, Donald? No, hold on, I heard it too. Listen. Hey, there's someone behind this door. Hello? Whoever's in there, can you help us? Let me do the talking, guys. <clears throat> My name is Donald J. Trump, 45th President of the United States. Can you tell us where we are? Another president? Sounds like you must be from pretty far in the future. But, uh, from what we've deduced, we are in Siberia. It's cold as balls out here. Hold up that voice, Richard Nixon. At your service. So I was right. We are in Call of the Dead. How does this keep happening to us where we are transported inside zombies' maps? If we were going to be sent to Call of the Dead, we at least could have been sent outside this door. It smells like old people and Cheetos in here. Well, I'm not sure what a Call of the Dead or a zombies map is, but you gentlemen sound like you know more than us. Do you know how we can go home? Well, the place that we all find ourselves right now is from a video game. But this, this isn't a video game anymore. This is real life. Wait a sec. That voice. Dad? George Jr., is that you? Dad, I, I've missed you so much. I can't believe I'm talking to you again. I assume in your time I have already passed, but judging by your company, I can also assume you become president. I knew you had it in you, son. Well, this, this is touching, but I'd really like to get the lights on. Is there anything you guys out there can do to help with that? Oh, hold on a second. I think I found a lever. And maybe this will turn on the lights. Ah! Joe, let go this instant. That is not a lever. I'm going to pretend I didn't hear any of that. I see a fuse box. Let me look around for a replacement fuse. Read my lips. I will get the lights on, son. No offense, Mr. Bush, but you saying read my lips doesn't exactly inspire confidence. Nonsense. That should do it. There we go. Man, this room is small. Good thing nobody here is claustrophobic. Are you kidding? I am terrified of Santa Claus. He breaks into your house at night, and he's always watching. So creepy. And I thought my dementia was bad. Can you guys get to explaining what we need to do to escape this place now? Oh, is that Ronald Reagan I hear out there? Hey, buddy, remember me? Donald Trump? You invited me to the White House a couple times. Oh, yeah, I remember you, that businessman. You, you were annoying every time I talked to you. Damn, Donald, he got your ass. Well, Mr. Reagan, I assure you, he is just as annoying today. Fuck both of you. Anyway, so we can get out of here, there are four red generators around the map. There should be one right behind you. The others are a bit trickier to find, but just keep an eye out. Destroy them with explosive weapons. Oh, I see. Well, luckily, I got this here explosive crossbow from that strange toy box. And is that another generator I spy out in the distance? Watch, fellas, as I make the long shot of a lifetime. You missed, Richard. Let me try chucking a grenade. This one is a stubborn little fuck. Well, while that one keeps kicking your ass, Ronnie, I'll go look for the other two. By the way, have you guys noticed those soda machines scattered about? That's kind of odd, isn't it? 
Very strange indeed, but maybe they can help us. I also found something called a Pack-a-Punch. Uh, looks like it can make our weapons stronger if we have the coin. Well, the cost of freedom is high, but Americans have always paid it. Oh, and guys, Dick and I blew up another one of those generators. Just one to go. So what do you think the, the odds of those dead presidents actually finishing the call of the dead Easter egg are? Uh, I mean, that dial step is going to be hell without Mr. Raffle Waffle's no-nonsense guide. My money's on us starving to death. Jesus H. Christ Barack. I mean, they're kind of like us. One younger president, a dementia patient, a crooked Republican, and a George Bush. I believe in them. Good point, George. Not sure who you're calling crooked, though, Mr. Middle East Destroyer. It's getting kind of cold in here. Can we cuddle for warmth? Shut, Shut up, up Joe. Joe. Give me something good. Now, this looks special. The young folks don't call me Ronald Reagan for nothing. Nobody calls you that, Ron. Regardless, I just blew up that last generator. Let us return to the other presidents. So can we go home now? I don't trust leaving the White House in the hands of Gerald Ford while I'm away. I wouldn't be shit-talking Ford. Spoiler alert, but he saves your ass big time down the line. Guys, I really gotta pee. Just hold it, Joe. I can't, can I go in the corner? Joe, what corner? We literally have no elbow room in here. Well, I'm not wearing my Depends right now. Uh, fine. Sorry to ask, but can you guys go look for a bottle or something for Joe to pee in? Please, it's urgent. You're seriously telling me this guy is president of the United States? Trust us, Dad. Even we can't believe it sometimes. Well, looky here. A vodka bottle encased in ice. This'll work. Hey, Reagan, I see you down there. When I break this ice, the bottle will likely fall. Can you catch it? Sure, the Gipper's got this. Whoops, I missed it. Hate to break it to you guys, but Reagan here dropped the ball. The only bottle in sight broke. Looks like President Pissy Pants here is out of luck. Not the first time he's let me down. The Iran-Contra affair was a stain on our administration. Oh, no. Please, Joe, tell us you can hold it. I'm sorry, guys. There's just no way. Oh, Joe, come on, man. Sorry, I'm going. Great, now it smells like piss. Thanks, Reagan. Well, I guess the next step of the Easter egg for you guys to try and do is to set the dials at the lighthouse. Uh, from the top floor to the bottom, the numbers have to be 2746. And when you turn one dial, the dial on another floor changes. So it'll be pretty much trial and error for you fucks. Well, that sounds simple. And by simple, I mean fucking impossible. Nixon. Can't you just send some of your goons to break into this door like it was the Watergate Hotel? I, uh, have no idea what you're talking about. Ooh, I smell a scandal. Too bad you're not beloved like me, Dick. After all, nothing bad ever happens to the Kennedys. Why, you little arrogant. Jack, I'll just tell you now. Being that I'm from your future and all, that I foresee a massive headache in your presidency. I've heard enough of these sick comments from you, Nixon. Let's go get to work on these dials. We're fucked, aren't we? Yeah, these guys argue more than us. At least we have the benefit of actually being friends outside of our jobs. I have an idea, just in case we kick the bucket. Everyone take turns sharing something that you've never told anybody else. I'll go first. I didn't lose my virginity until after I was elected governor. Uh, Jeb was cucking me because my wife didn't think I was masculine enough. Jesus, that's horrible, George. I, I'm sorry, guess I'll go next. Me and Osama bin Laden had a brief love affair. His beard was just so sexy. And of course, he broke up with me, so I sent SEAL Team 6 after his ass. What the fuck? That explains a lot. I'm up next, huh? Well, my entire marriage to Melania has been a lie. I've been paying her off for the past 18 years. Donald, this is supposed to be something that everyone else doesn't know. I'd like to hear Joe come up with something better. December 29th, 1954. A day I'll never forget. I was 12 years old. My friends and I were playing in the woods, hide and seek. I, uh, I still vividly remember the sound of snow crunching beneath my boots. The sun began to set until it was pitch black and I was all alone. I was lost, scared. I tripped over something large, which in the moment I assumed was just a log, but it felt more uh, flesh-like. I looked up from the snow and there face to face with me was a lifeless body. The uh, deterioration had already begun. I'd say the man had been dead for a couple weeks. The smell has never left my life. But that's not the worst part. The scary thing was it spoke to me. I never ran so fast in my life. I mean, I never looked back. I had no idea where I was even running to. I found my way back to my neighborhood and eventually home. 
what was supposed to be a safe place. I had told my dad what happened, and, uh, and he contacted the authorities. The next morning, I led the police to the spot. I knew that was the place because my fresh footprints were still there, but uh, the body was gone. Nobody believed me, of course. Nobody had been reported missing in the area, and there was no evidence aside from the word of a young kid. But every night, ever since that day, he it visits me. I see it in my peripheral vision uh, in the corner of my bedroom or standing outside my window. If I shut my eyes, I, it just taunts me, it says horrible things. That's why I sleep so much during the day. Lord knows I can't at night anymore. Nobody else sees it or believes me. Jill thinks I'm crazy. For 60 years, this has haunted my every waking nightmare. I believe on that night, nearly 70 years ago at this point, I found something I shouldn't have. And now it's making sure I never forget. I wish I had an explanation, but I don't. And that's my story. I went down to the lake, stumbled upon a secret, and now I'll never sleep again. Joe, you creep. This isn't the time for your lame ghost stories. Y yeah. If you were trying to scare us, it, it, it didn't work. Hmm, I sense the fear in your voice, Barack, but you're right. It was just a silly ghost story, right? Anyways, hope Dad and the other presidents are making progress. These must be the dials they were talking about. Just gonna turn them and hope something happened. Uh, don't you remember what they said? Turning one dial affects another. We gotta use our brains for a second, Ronald. Well, what do you know about using your brain? You're a moron, Richard! You are really testing my patience here, Jack. Lucky for you, I'm scared if I say something, it could have dire effects on our timeline. Let's just say when it comes to brains, yours end up out of your head. Enough with your petty squabbles. Let's focus on the task at hand, aligning these dials in the correct numerical order. I think I'm on to something here, fellas. Reagan, you are literally just spinning the dials at random. Trust me, you whippersnapper. If I could win the Cold War, I can get some dials in the right order. There we go, 2746. Never underestimate Dutch, John. Well, I don't know how you did it, but great job, Ronald. That's my president. What's next, son? Uh, luckily, I have a pen and paper handy. I'm going to write this stuff down and slide it under the door because explaining it would be far too confusing. What's it say we have to do, George? Uh, first things first, we have to find four radios and turn them on in a specific order. Not sure how that'll help, but okay. The first one is in the room below the power switch. Second is near something called stamen up. Third is on the ship with whatever a juggernaut is, wedged between a barrel inside a shipping container. And last is right here in this room. I think I saw that stamen up soda machine earlier, actually. Seems like it's a drink that somehow boosts your movement speed. I'll go check it out. I bought juggernaut earlier. It was a real funky tasting drink, like eggnog, but worse. It's on the furthest ship from where we arrived. I'm close to the power room, so I'll look for that first radio. There we go. Kennedy, if you found the next one, I'm giving you the green light to activate it. Found it! Turning it on! You're up next, Dick! Heading there in style. Whoa! This is awesome! I gotta do that again. Anyways, uh, activating this here radio. Got the last one, uh... Hopefully we're almost done with this strange quest. Seems like we're getting close according to my son's instructions. Say, forgot to ask, who is this big guy walking around? Oh, that's George Romero. Yeah, I know, another George. But he's basically a movie director who turned into a weird human-zombie hybrid. I say we are kill him! He's annoying as fuck. We. All right, my humble VP, what's next? According to this, we have to activate four foghorns in a correct order. Uh, okay, literally, what the fuck do any of these arbitrary steps have to do with getting us out of here? I am so confused. I'm not sure, but I, I trust my boy. Well, George Jr. anyways, Jeb has always been a bit on the slow side, always asking people to clap for him. But that's neither here nor there. The order we need to use the foghorns in is as follows. First by a pool of water at the bottom of the lighthouse, then there's one to the right of the ice slide. Third is right near the AK-74 you all buy, whatever that is, and lastly by a large rock further down from the ice slide. I'm gonna spin this magic box first. I need something better than this dinky little revolver. I got a sniper rifle, but this one seems to have a bit more Boom, behind it. 
George, I do believe I found the first of these foghorns. Good job, Ron. I just took a tumble down the ice slide. This must be the second one. Then this one makes three. And now for the last one. Good job, guys. Next thing we need to do is configure the controls on the ship in a certain way. Uh, let's see here. Well, everything looks in order to me. Last up is to get a wonder weapon from the mystery box. It's called the VR-11. I wonder how those guys are doing out there. Well, I'd rather be fighting zombies in the blistering cold than be stuck in here with you and your soiled pants, Joe. Sounds like someone doesn't want that pardon. I'd be a little nicer if I were you. I'm just calling it like it is. He pissed himself. Well, I'm sure they're making good progress. Hopefully we'll be out of here in time for me to give Michael, I mean Michelle, her sponge bath. Maybe we can play a game of Warzone when we get home. Fuck no. I'm never playing a Call of Groomer game again unless it's an older one with zombies. The woke minds at Activision removed the Nick Merck skin for nothing. Donald, you bigot, there's nothing wrong with teaching children about sexual topics. Joe, even I think you are way too creepy around children. Don't die on that hill. Three of us have this ray gun thingy so far, right? Surely we can use this to kill George here. Eat Tricky Dick's green donuts! Some of these weapons really would turn the tide in Vietnam. I love killing commies as much as the next guy. But John and Richard, Vietnam is a fruitless endeavor. We lose in the end. What? We're America. We never lose. Sorry, but he's right. Saigon falls and America's handed a giant L. Well, that sucks. For now, everyone focus fire on the big guy. Our current weapons should be able to put a dent in him. I would love to, but I'm surrounded by these undead flesh sores trying to get something better from this box. Now, what on earth is that? Looks like one of those experimental weapons that the Nazis were working on during World War II. This must be the VR-11 the boys in the closet were telling us about. What's it do? You know, it just hit me. We are all World War II veterans here. No wonder we're so good at kicking ass. Damn right, we're the greatest generation. Hell, you even got that purple heart for your heroics, Kennedy. Now then, time to see what this pack-a-punch can do. Oh, my balls went from green to red. Hmm, at least they're not blue. Time to see what this wonder weapon can do. Oh my, it turned him human. And gave him a suit for some reason? Weird. Hey, stop and talk to us. They're just running to their deaths in the icy water. Well, that weapon sounds about as useful as the Democratic Party. Ooh, picked up one of those carpenter things. Mr. Demonic Voice, build up that wall. So what's next on your son's to-do list, George? I'm about to freeze to death here. We have to turn a zombie back to a human at the bottom of the lighthouse and kill it before it ascends into the green light. Seems kind of counterintuitive as fuck, but all right. Shit, they got me good fellas. Give me a hand. I'm coming, John. Reagan's coming in hot. On your feet, we are leaving. Thanks. Guess you're not too bad for a Republican. Can we meet at the lighthouse now so we can finally finish this? I want to go home. Here we go. Shoot him, George. Goddamn, miss every shot. Why don't you? Shut it, Ron. I got this. All right, now let him have it. There we go. He's dead. Is that all? He should drop a golden rod for us to bring back to the other presidents. Got it. Let's head back, gentlemen. All right, guys, we've delivered the artifact. Are we going to go home now? Well, in theory, yes. This isn't the first time we've dealt with something like this. So, I guess this is goodbye. We can't thank you guys enough. I mean, you all were already inspirations to us politically, but now you are our saviors. In our time, you four have been gone for a while. So, it was good to meet you, even if this door separates us. Our shared experience as presidents have linked us always. It was our honor, Mr. President. The honor was all ours, Mr. President. You guys were the heroes on this day. Guys, I hope you don't mind. I'd like a moment with my dad. Of course, bro. We'll give you some space. Well, as much as we can in a cramped closet. Thanks, guys. Dad, this has been one of the best days in a long time. Getting to hear your voice again. I'm glad I got to see the man you've grown into, my son. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Dad. I'm not going to be sad. I know in my time that you and Mom are together. You were always my hero, even more so after today's events. 
Are you kidding? We never would have made it without your guidance. You're the real hero today, George. I'm proud to call you Mr. President, but even more proud to call you my son. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. I love and miss you every day. Too bad we didn't get to kill that George fella. He deserved it for being such a pain. Well, Kennedy, I don't know why that bothers you so much, but if it makes you feel any better, the real world, George Romero is dead. My body's feeling all tingly. I think we're getting ready to be sent home. Well, if an old man can impart any sort of wisdom to you boys, let it be this. We can't help everyone, but everyone can help someone. Help and win one for the Gipper. Well, I'm not one for inspirational speeches, but uh, as president, don't get caught doing illegal things. Uh, good to know. Well, this is goodbye. POTUS out. I guess we're going to get sent back to our time, too. It was good working with you three. Of course, some of you will still be around in our time, so we'll, we'll be seeing each other again. Jack, my old friend, it was great seeing you. If I may make a suggestion, invest in a car that has a roof. Not sure what you're implying, but I, uh, don't like it. Just listen to the man, John. Okay, well, this is goodbye. And see you later, George Romero, you big bitch. Oh, no, don't run away. Too bad, see ya, chump. Oh, shit. Are we finally home? Looks like it, Barack. Thank goodness, too. I'm tired as fuck. Yeah. I kind of just want to go to bed and think about everything that happened today. Good night, guys. Me too. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. I'll try and sleep, too, as long as I can get Joe's creepy story out of my head. Well, later, Sleepy Joe. Have a good night. I know you're there watching me. Please, just leave me alone. What do you want from me? Why have you haunted me for 70 years? Please, leave me alone. Please! Just kill me already if you won't leave me. Oh, Lord, make it stop. Get out of my head! Ah! Sup, losers? Hey, Donald, how's it hanging? Uh, you know, just got off the golf course, wanted to get a game of zombies going. The fact that we're still even playing zombies after everything we've been through says a lot. Yeah, that we're crazy. I mean, nearly every time we play, we end up getting sucked into the game. And Obama says, that didn't come from my headset, that was... Stop right there, you can't be stealing my catchphrase, bro. It hasn't all been bad. I mean, our last adventure in Call of the Dead allowed me to see my dad again. It was worth it. Yeah, that was sweet and all, but I'd hardly call being trapped in a closet with Joe's soiled pants and shitty ghost stories an adventure. Maybe the true adventure was the friends we made along the way. Joe, this isn't like one of your weeb animes. We were trapped in a closet, potentially going to die. Hey, don't be knocking anime, oh bummer. I just watched one called Clanid. I'm not too egotistical to admit that I cried during it. So you finally admit that you are at least somewhat egotistical? Fellas, I'm just saying, what's the point of anime when peak fiction already exists? Breaking Bad. Okay, Walter Black. That's a weird way of pronouncing One Piece. You are all a bunch of nerds. Can we just start Shangri-La already? Shangri-La? Uh, this is the map with the baby gun, right? Well, it's actually called the 3179 JGB215. But uh, don't go getting any creepy ideas about those baby zombies, though, Joe. Who, me? Yes, you. You're always sniffing on kids. It's how I show affection. That's the problem, Joe. You shouldn't be showing affection to anyone but your wife, especially children. Joe, we know you don't mean anything by it, but people can take it the wrong way. Gee, okay. Thanks for the advice, though, guys. You must really care about me. Of course we do. Now can we just play the damn game? You four thought you could escape. Your torment has only just begun. Ah! What the? Who the hell said that? I don't know, but it didn't come from my headset, that's for sure. That was real life. You will pay for what you did to me. What we did to you? What are you talking about? You managed to escape Call of the Dead. I did not account for you having help from past presidents. This time, you will have no such luck. Oh shit, not again! What the hell? Where are we? And what the hell are we wearing? 
I don't know, but I dig the new threads. Especially those aviators. Can I try them on? Oh, no, you don't. Hands off the shades, Dark Brandon. Oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, isn't it obvious? Look up the stairs. Pack a punch. This must be Shangri-La. Wait a minute. How can we be breathing then? What do you mean, Donald? Didn't you know Shang is on Mars? That's just a silly theory that makes no sense. The lore of the map disproves that. I mean, look around. D does this look like Mars to you? Yeah, but remember the secret on Tagder Toten? It confirms Shangri-La is on Mars. Enough of your petty squabbling, you two. Now we have more important things to worry about, like how the hell we got here, who that voice was, and how can we go home? Well, I think it's safe to say the way out of here is to complete the Easter egg. That seemed to work well so far when this kind of thing happens. Oh, and hey, I just realized I still have the golden rod from when we were at Call of the Dead here in my pocket. Maybe it'll come in handy. Yeah, you can sell it to pay for your legal fees. Hold up, guys, you hear that? Ah! Here come the zombies. Joe, grow a pair and lock and load. Wow, this place is so beautiful. Would be a perfect paradise if not for the zombies trying to eat us. Yeah, and those little shit-throwing monkeys. Did you say m, m monkeys Yes, Joe, monkeys. On this map, instead of taking your perks, they take your power-ups and can change them. It can actually be kind of useful. Die, you monkey fuck! You will never steal my ice cream again! Jesus, Joe, relax. They're pathetically weak. They won't hurt you. I would feel a little bad about killing them if they weren't zombified. Animal abuse is not cool. Never thought I'd hear you say something like that, Trump. Anyways, does anyone remember how to do this Easter egg? It always seemed like one of the harder ones. Well, don't look at me. I've never played this shit before. Well, Joe, you'll be about as useful as a screen door on a submarine. But you're right about the shit part. Shangri-La sucks. Oh, come on, man. Well, you're about as useful as an Xbox controller on a submarine. Whoa, too soon, bro. Well, first thing we gotta do, as always, is get the power on. Let's start heading out of here. Opening the first door. Ooh. I just had a spike go up my ass. Uh, why did it sound like you liked it? I uh, don't know what you're talking about. Shit, I'm down. Guess I gotta save you like how I did to your piss poor campaign during the 2020 Democratic primaries. Hey guys, I found a little radio over here. Maybe we can learn what's going on. The heat and humidity is just excruciating. According to the locals, the temple should be in this mountain range, just up this river. Kamala, do you hear that? A waterfall, we must be close. Hand me the binoculars. There is a structure up ahead. If this is where the missing ballots from the 2020 election are, then Donald will finally respect me. Uh, Mike, I don't think this place is abandoned. Don't be stupid, this place has to be hundreds of years old. Don't you mean thousands? I'm a Christian, remember? Earth is only 2,000 years old to me. What the hell? Traitor Mike and Kamala? This has to be some multiverse bullshit. Those two would never work together. And Mike Pence has moved on from 2020. I, I have found some unfinished carvings around the structures I can't make out. They do not look like... Wait, what is this? What the hell is that? Why is the sky dark? Yeah! Run! What are those things, Mike? Zombies. We'll have to find another way out. Zombies? I knew this wasn't worth coming along with you. The writings must have been right. No, don't touch that! <sighs> Darn it, try to find another way out of here. I am so lost. Well, that's nothing new. It seems like instead of Brock and Gary from the original Shangri-La map, in this weird dimension or whatever. Mike and Kamala came here looking for missing votes for Trump? Well, a made-up mythical paradise would be the only place missing Trump votes would be found because they sure as hell don't exist in the real world. Lies! The election was stolen. They stuffed the ballot boxes. I'm still confused as to why Kamala is with Pence, though. I have been trapped in the temple structure for days. Mike is dead. I don't see a way out of here. I only came on this quest because I thought Mike was sexy as hell, and it was the only way I could get alone time with him. I can still hear the zombies outside. I fear this is my last recording as the battery's about to die, and I will soon follow. 
Well, that was a mental image I never wanted to see. I wonder if Kamala feels that way about Mike in our world. I'll make sure to ask her that if we get out of here. Let's head into the mines. The mystery box is this way. Oh, I love exploring mines. Are you sure you don't mean miners, you creep? Sorry, you set that one up for me, Joe. Yeah, saw that one coming a mile away. If only you saw those planes coming. Damn, son. Barry's dropping bombs, and I don't mean literally this time. OK, what's with the not-so-subtle disses at each other? You act like we don't roast the fuck out of each other constantly, George. Oh, shit, got the free perk bottle from the monkey. I feel like I can hit headshots easier. Must have gotten dead shot daiquiri. Pretty useless considering my current weapon is a fucking rocket launcher. Oh, stop your bitching, Joe. I'm turning the power on. Well, I know for a fact the first thing we need to do is enter eclipse mode by pushing the four buttons in spawn simultaneously. Sounds simple enough. I'm used to pushing buttons. I mean, if you remember, I showed James Corden my button on the Resolute desk that makes a White House staffer bring me ice cream. James Corden? No way you actually like that unfunny loser. Thank God his show got canceled. Still, that sounds similar to the button I had on my desk that brought me Diet Coke. Geez, you two are a couple of fat fucks with the way you eat and drink that stuff all the time, especially you, Donald. Oh, great. Got the ballistic knives. That's what you get for insulting the great and genius Donald J. Trump. So uh, when are you going to get your karma for all the insults you sling at people, Donnie? I've never insulted someone who didn't deserve it. What a load of malarkey. Ooh. Guys, I got the baby gun. You sound way too excited about making baby zombies, Joe. Oh, great. Not sure I trust the noob with one of the most powerful wonder weapons. You say that literally as you go down. Maybe I should pack these ballistic knives. I slipped on one of those meat sacks brain matter, that's all. Gross. This waterfall is so beautiful. Like Joe said earlier, if this place weren't crawling with the undead, I'd never leave. Maybe you should stay, Obunga. I'm sure the jungle reminds you of your birthplace of Kenya. Donald, that is racist on so many levels. Your birther crap was debunked ages ago. Well, Obama, Donald believes anything he sees on the internet. That's a load of hogwash. I'll even quote the great Abraham Lincoln. Don't believe everything you read on the internet just because there is a picture with a quote next to it. Learned about that quote from my Facebook feed. Don't ever question my intellect again. Donald, you probably share minion memes on there too, don't you? Can we just start this Easter egg already? I'm sweating my ass off in this humid jungle. Yeah, everyone push a button. What a beautiful scene. This is definitely one of the coolest Easter eggs, especially from a visual standpoint. Well, you can admire it all you want on your TV screen, not when we're fighting for our lives here. Guys, I found another one of those buttons from Spawn. I'm gonna press it. Hello out there. We are stuck behind some sort of mechanism. Whatever you did out there moved it slightly. Someone's in there. Mike? President Trump, is that you? What the heck are you doing here? He's not the only one out here, Vice President Pence. This is Joe Biden speaking. Obama and George Bush are out here, too. Oh, Joe, I'd recognize that sleepy tone anywhere. But what are you all doing here? Well, we wish we knew, Madam Vice President. We were just summoned here. We know why you two are here. Uh, but the real question is, how did you arrive at Shangri-La? I mean, this place is from a video game. It's actually Vice President-elect Barack. Inauguration is still a month away. As far as how we got here, I'll let Mike explain. Good, nobody wants to hear your annoying ass voice for any longer than we have to. Donald, that's no way to speak to a lady. But regardless, Donald, you don't remember? You were looking for missing votes that would overturn the election in your favor. Since I'm such a loyal VP, I wanted to be the one to find them for you. You paid top dollar for any information and came across a reporter named Mr. Rapt, a real shady guy like to stick to the shadows. Anyways, he knew where all sorts of ancient artifacts and things of that nature were, including votes that would prove you won the election. So you set up a flight for us, and here we are, though this place is completely off the grid, so we don't know where we are. Well, uh, Mike, um, we're not your presidents. Uh, it appears that we are from an alternate universe. I, as far as where we are, this place is from Call of Duty Black Ops. It's a zombies map. But uh, Kamala, tell us why you decided to help Mike with this task. Well, uh, you see, it's like, don't worry about it, Joe. I'm still loyal to your presidency. Anyways, you guys seem to know more than us about this place. 
Can you help us out? I don't want to starve to death or end up a zombie lunch. Even though I hate both of you immensely, yes, we can help. Only because it will help us go home, too. First step of this Easter egg requires cooperation. George, let's me and you do this. On each side from spawn, there are these symbols on the floor. We have to step on the same symbol at the same time, but be careful not to step on two different symbols at once, or it'll reset. You got it, Donald. We're the dream team. I'll call out the symbols. You look for your matching one. First is a letter D looking one. All right, bro. D for Donald. Found it. Next up is a T with a line through the middle. All right, T for Trump. Found it. Whatever you guys are doing out there, it's working. All right, only about 10 of these to go. Well, it looks like we're the ones who have to be that guy who holds the zombie during an Easter egg, at least for now. I don't mind. It gives me time to reflect on things. And blow these monkey bastards up with my rocket launcher. Jesus, Joe, take it easy. I think you need to see a therapist when we get back in regards to your monkey trauma. But anyways, I've been thinking about what's happened so far. That voice that spoke to us and seemingly sent us here, it seemed a bit familiar, didn't it? I don't know. I hear different voices in my head all the time. OK, fair. And pretty sad. Another thing, though. Kamala mentioned a reporter that this universe is Trump hired Mr. Rapt. I swear I've heard that name somewhere before. I don't know, Barry. I can't remember any reporters. That's why my staffers give me cheat sheets with who to call on during press conferences. Oh, right. Well, I swear I'm onto something here. Anyways, hope those two are almost done with the first step. OK, Donald, last symbol. Go ahead and step on it. You got it, George. Oh, look, Kamala. Some sort of crystal is rising from the floor. A passageway has opened up. We must press on if we wish to have any chance of escape. Thank you, guys. Even you, Donald Trump, as much as it pains me to say it. There we go. The eclipse is over for now, so that means step completed. So if the lore of the zombies map version of Shangri-La is anything to go off of, then during the present, as in right now, Mike and Kamala are dead, right? Kamala's dead? <laughs> Joe, stop crying. That's the whole point of this Easter egg. We go to the past and help them out so they don't meet their demise. Hopefully we can give them a better fate than Brock and Gary in the actual Shangri-La, though. For real. Anyways, we got to go back to the past and then I'll ride the water slide. There's a pressure plate that three of us have to stand on while a fourth person goes alone and pulls a lever. A water slide? Yippee! It's been a while since I've used the slip and slide I had installed at the White House, so this will be so fun. Jesus, Joe, you're like a little kid. Anyways, I'll stay up here. You three go down the slide. Me first, Geronimo! Damn it, all this water is gonna ruin my perfect hair. Stuff it, Donald. You look like a troll doll. Here I come, guys. Okay, pull the lever. Ow! George, you kicked me in the face. Well, watch where you're standing, bro. That did it. The way is clear. Okay, the eclipse is over. Step complete. Okay, what's next? I'm not sure. Donald, you're the go-to zombies nerd. What do we need to do? Well, to be honest, I can't remember. I haven't done this shit in like 10 years. Well, we'll have to look around for clues. Oh shit, napalm zombie. Shoot the fuck out of it, Mo Bamba. This dude's more explosive than me. Just don't get too close. He'll go 9-11 on our asses and blow himself up. I need a new weapon, ASAP. I'm surrounded and I have no ammo. Don't worry, Donald. You always manage to get out of any bind you find yourself in. Guys, I'm trying to give these cute baby zombies hugs and I just keep kicking them to death on accident. Joe, leave the zombies alone. Can't believe I even have to say that. Man, this shit reminds me of Legends of the Hidden Temple. Any of you all remember that show from the 90s? I remember sitting in front of my TV in my pajamas watching it every morning on Nickelodeon. Joe, you were in your 50s in the 90s. Why were you wearing pajamas watching little kids run around an obstacle course on TV? Well, how do you know what show I'm talking about if you didn't watch it yourself, Mr. BFF with Epstein? Ooh, he called your ass out, Donnie. But uh, enough debating. We should head back into the past and see what's changed. George, you've really taken over as the leader lately. Reminds me of how you led the nation after the tragedy of September 11th. Why, thank you, Brock. That means a lot. Now everyone haul ass to the spawn room. Everyone press your button. There we go. Look for clues, everyone. 
Oh shit, something just crash landed on the other side of spawn. Let's check it out. Look, it's a soccer ball. Looks a bit too big though. Let me try something. There we go, nice and portable. Joe, you're a genius. He literally called it a soccer ball, but whatever. Let's just move this crystal. Yay, water slide time again. All right, let's shoot the crystal up with the geyser. Another step complete. We're making good progress. All this traveling through time is making my head hurt. Get over it, Joe. You want to go home, don't you? Guys, I got the ray gun. This will be a big help. Nice. Me too, Barack. My memory is a bit fuzzy, but if I'm remembering correctly, the next step is to turn the valve in the tunnel, then guide a napalm zombie through the tunnel, right? That sounds right to me. Those fire zombies are so scary. They look like they came straight out of the depths of hell itself. Yeah, personally, they remind me of that dark Brandon guy with the creepy face and red glow emanating from within. Oh yeah, that guy. Good thing I took out that imposter with my patented Biden beam. You mean Biden blast? Don't tell me you forgot the name of your own special move. That's Sleepy Joe for you. Speaking of, can you do a Biden blast at will? That would be super helpful against these freak bags. No, I can only really do it during times of absolute necessity. I wonder if I have a special move too. I call it the Obamihameha. Barry, you've been watching too much DBZ. Let's just go back in time. Now to the tunnels. Okay, Donald, give the valve a spin. You've stopped the gas. I wish we could come thank you in person, but we're still trapped in this chamber. Well, we're not done yet, Mike. We gotta walk this napalm zombie through the tunnel to ignite the gas leaks. We'll just pretend like we know what you're talking about, but uh, as long as it gets us out of here, have at it. Jeez, her voice really is annoying. Just be glad she's not doing the thing where she randomly bursts into laughter. It's so annoying listening to her cackle when I'm trying to do important work. Yeah, not sure how you deal with that. Anyways, just lit the last gas leak. Nice. Just told that napalm zombie you're fired. Wow, Donald, that might be the best double entendre I've ever heard. Okay, my silly billies, what's next? Joe, never call us that again. But I think next is the step where we gotta plug the holes in the tunnel near the waterfall with the spikes from the spike more. Real talk though, why didn't they bring spike mores back in the Zombies Chronicles version of Shang? Fuck trip mines. Cause they're lazy as hell, that's why. They literally gave us eight remastered maps. How can you call them Lazy Donald? Donald's a hater cause they revealed Zombies Chronicles on JC Backfire's YouTube channel. What was Blundell thinking revealing it with that little worm nobody? and not coming to the White House to reveal it with America's favorite president. Ah, uh, Donald, stop your bitching. Let's just go to the past. Hey, we're stuck down here and could use some help. If you could somehow fill the room up with water, that'd give us a way out. We're working on it, Mike. Me and Donald will start plugging these holes. Just watch your step. Don't want any of us to get filled with spikes. Looks like all the holes are filled. Now we've got to activate the waterfall trap. Speaking of filling holes, I visited your wife last night, Donald. Shut the fuck up, Barack. She wouldn't dare touch you. Didn't you know orange is the new black? Yeah, I'm just gonna push this button in now. There we go, we can reach the top now. I wish she was giving me top now. I mean, yay, we did it. We should be getting close to finishing this egg and hopefully one step closer to going home. Although I am starting to accept that being trapped in zombies maps is just my life now. Well, there's only so many zombies maps. Even if we have to complete every single one, I will not die at the hands of the undead. Speed caller really does speed up your life. Damn, Joe, we need to get you a lifetime supply of that stuff if it makes you talk and act faster. Can we just stop with the silliness and move on to the next step, fellas? All right, well, let's go back to the past. I think now we got to knife a bunch of symbols around the map. All right, we'll keep our eyes peeled. I found one. Me too. Just how many of these are there, though? I think we found them all. Now we gotta destroy this snare trap outside the map. That did it, we're back in the present. So what was the point of that step exactly? Like, what did we do? Good question, Indiana Bones. I think it's just another random step that makes no sense that Treyarch likes to throw in. Hey, watch who you're insulting, Obama. Just in case you forgot, I'm the one who's in charge of our drone strike capabilities now, not you. What a frightening thought. I mean, you do be looking like a skeleton these days, Joe. Quiet, boys, I found another radio. 
Mike, I can see the outside. Thank heaven we're finally out of those wretched catacombs. There's still a full eclipse, though. Yes, it is very strange. Uh, I've been thinking about those carvings we saw before the eclipse. Give me a moment. Hmm. Oh, geez, Mike. Do we really have to do this now? Yes, I found something. It's a code. 16134. I wonder what it means, though. Okay, 16134. This code, I believe, is for the next step. Oh, right. This is the part where we got to spin the dials in the mud pit area. This is going to be hard without a Mr. Raffle Waffles guide. Ah, hell, we don't need that British toothpick. We're all American badasses. We got this. Aren't you forgetting we have Sleepy Joe on our team? Fuck you, Donald. As long as a giant boulder doesn't start rolling after us, if we fuck up, I say we just spin them till we get it right. Well, I can't think of any better ideas. I know there is a sort of logic to this step, but these ancient glyphs mean nothing to me, so I can't translate them into the code. Two hours later. Oh, Lord, please let this be right. Thank God, we're back in the present. We did it. I am never training a crawler for that long ever again. Oh, hey, look, another radio. We've made it inside the top of the temple. I can see an antechamber through a crack in the wall, but there's no way to get inside. It's completely infused. If we had a stick of dynamite, I could get us in there. I had some in my purse, but lost it when those zombies attacked. Why did you have dynamite in your... You know what? Never mind. Damn it, we're so close. So we got to go back to the past and find some dynamite now. Dynamite? Oh, buddy, count me in. Yeah, we get it, Barack. You have an explosive fetish. First, though, more zombies are coming. We got to fend them off. Shit, Joe's down. I got you, buddy. Hold on. Thanks. Thought I was a goner for sure. Fuck! Don't worry, Joe. I'm coming. Again. I lost all my perks. I feel like I could die just by tripping over a rock. Oh, shit, I just accidentally got rid of the wonder weapon for the M14. I don't even know how that shit works. It just disappeared from my hands. Damn it, Joe, you noob. Now we got to hit the box for it again. Oh, shit. Well, it took about 20,000 points, but we finally got it back. Thanks for wasting, like, 20 minutes of time we could have used looking for the dynamite, Joe. I warned you guys that it was a bad idea for Joe to have the baby gun. Let's just head to the past and look for this damn dynamite. Oh, my beloved dynamite, where are you? Not sure if I want you handling the dynamite, Barack. You might start making love to it or something. Oh, wait. Before we get the dynamite, don't we have to make the gongs go bing bong in a certain order? Well, I found one. How do we know if we're doing it right? The focusing crystals will glow red, which they're doing now. So that was the wrong first one, Joe. Well, maybe it's one of these ones first. I'm just hoping Mike and Kamala can hold out just a little longer. About that, Joe, I don't know if we can save them. Huh? Well, what do you mean? We're so close to finishing this Easter egg, Barack. That's precisely the issue, Joe. If their story ends up like Brock and Gary, then they will be trapped in a temporal loop, doomed to repeat this day over and over again with no way out. Were you guys not gonna tell me we're dooming them for our own freedom? Joe, we need to go home. And these aren't our vice presidents. We're in an alternate universe or something. I know it sucks, but there's nothing we can do for them. I can't believe what I'm hearing. <laughs> Joe, stop crying. Sacrifices are always required. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Let's just get this stupid step done. The crystals are lit up. We got the gongs right. There's the dynamite. Almost kaboom time. Patience, Barack. First things first, we got to shrink the focusing stone. There we go, now to blow up the chamber and make our way inside. Here's your dynamite, Kamala. Thanks, Donald. Time to finally reach what we came here for. Fire in the hole. Well, there's some sort of stone here uh, suspended in the air. And look, under that, a box with an inscription. T-R-U-M-P. These must be the missing ballots. Well, time to take what we came for. First, I'll move this silly little stone out of the way. Stop, don't touch that stone. Joe. This needs to happen. Changing their fate isn't possible if we want to escape. Remember what Reagan told us in Call of the Dead, though.
Well, if an old man can impart any sort of wisdom to you boys, let it be this. We can't help everyone, but everyone can help someone. Joe, you're right. Mike, Kamala, get out of there. Leave the stone alone. Forget about the missing ballots. I don't need them in this or any other dimension. I lost the election, fair and square. Wait, you're sure, Donald, we're so close? He's right. It, Mike, if you touch that stone, you and Kamala will be trapped in an infinite time loop. You probably already have been. We may have been sent here to die by some evil force, but we can help break the cycle you're in. It's something we've done before. Wait, really? But it sounded like this needs to happen for you all to complete your quest and go home. Now what will you do? She's got a point, Joe. We can't reach the focusing stone unless they touch the stone first, which causes the time loop to continue. Fuck. There's got to be something we can do. Joe, my friend, being elected alongside you as vice president was the honor of a lifetime. There's nothing you can do for us, I'm afraid. I'm inclined to agree. If we've been in this loop already, then surely we'll forget again. Eventually, we'll have to die for good. But if I'm going to be trapped in an eternal time loop with anyone, I'm glad it's you, Mike. I, I love you. Kamala, really? Please take my hand and don't ever let go. Let us do this again, together this time. Maybe things can be different. Thank you for trying to save us. We have found peace with each other, though. Good luck in whatever comes next for you. No, Kamala! We're in this together now, my love. Now and forever, we are together. Damn it, Mike. Damn it. There's nothing we can do now. Let's open Pat back up and, and grab the focusing stuff. I don't want to touch that thing. Donald, take it since you have the golden rod. This is for you, Mike. You think you will escape your punishment? I will destroy you for myself if I have to. Oh, hell, where are we now? Open your eyes, Barack. This is Area 51. Didn't you ever come here as president to look at the aliens? Truth be told, after I heard that Bill Clinton um, had sexual relations with an alien here, I never wanted to step foot in this place. So if this means what I think it does, then we've got to go to the moon. Oh, sweet. Guess I'll be the first black man on the moon. And Donald, you'll be the first orange man there. I'm glad you are so eager to go to what will soon be your grave, Barack. Attack my zombie minions. It's that scary voice again. Shit, don't go without me, I'm down. Also, what the dog doing? Damn it, Donald, were you trying to go for Jug like you always do? This isn't a video game, it's real life. Now crawl your fat ass up here so we can teleport. Ah, hell, we're surrounded. Damn it, they got me. We can't die here, fellas. Everyone on the teleporter. Guess it's up to me to clutch up. Everyone just sit tight on the teleporter. I'll try and lure these zombies away. Heading back, let's get ready to teleport. <laughs> Much better now I can breathe. 
damn it guys, never put that kind of pressure on me again. Barry, you truly are the GOAT. Also, these spacesuits look sick. What the actual fuck? Why do I get the different color spacesuit and it's orange? We all know the answer to that, Donald. The bigger question is, why are we here and who is that voice? I know I've heard it before. No clue. I mean, it definitely wasn't Samantha Maxis. I'd recognize her adorable voice. First off, Joe, gross. Secondly, be alert. There are zombies here, too. We got to check out the rest of Griffin Station. Maybe we can learn something. Joe, remember when we played this a few months ago? You remember it, right? I sure do. And you better believe I remember that astronaut fuck taking my juggernaut. You mean Joe actually learned from his rookie mistake? It's a damn Christmas miracle. But it's not Chris. You know what? Never mind. Can we just get the hell out of here? There's not even an M14 wall by in this room. Uh, Olympia is better. Joe, I already destroyed your ass on the debate stage about how the M14 is way better. Let's not do this again. I swear, you, you two never change. Love you both like brothers, though, despite our political differences, especially after all we've been through. Yeah, yeah, Barack. Now is not the time to get all sentimental. I mean, we're on such a shitty zombies map right now, and there's not even gobble gums here to save us. I mean, that's the only way high rounds are feasible on this map without going insane. I worked my ass off to get to round 100 on Moon. And you use round robin and power vacuum and think suddenly you're my peer. What a sick joke. Calm the hell down, Barack, with your references. Let's work our way towards power. This place is pretty scary. I mean, think about it. We're literally as far away from human civilization as possible. True, but at least we have each other. Oh, right, because being with you, dorks totally makes being on the fucking moon with no way out so much better. Ah, Donald, you know you'd be pissing yourself if we weren't here. Uh, I don't piss myself, I only get pissed on. I mean, uh, Sleepy Joe sucks. Not even gonna acknowledge that. Anyways, power's on now. The MPD looks crazy in person. They say touching it can drive a person insane. I mean, look what it did to Ultimus Richtofen. Be careful, boys. Maybe it'd make Joe smarter. I am very smart, Barack. Uh, in fact, to prove it, I'm gonna do the Samantha Says step of this Easter egg. So you're gonna prove your intellect by showing us that you can play Simon Says, a literal baby game? Yes, yes I am. There we go, one for one. Uh, damn it. Okay, well while Joe fumbles around with that, we can start hacking the panels in the laboratory and looking for the wire. Found the hacker. Oh, what the fuck? It took my spacesuit from me, like it magically vanished off my body. Yeah, for whatever reason, you can't have both at the same time. Seems like that flawed logic applies to this crazy scenario, too. George, you hack some doors open and I'll protect you. Working on it. I swear the hacking process goes on longer than the war in the Middle East. I hope not, because that shit is still going on with no end in sight. Speaking of things taking way longer than they should, Joe, how's that first step coming? Fuck me, this is impossible. One of you is gonna have to take it from here before I pull what little hair I have left out. Jesus, Joe, really? Well, there's one door down onto the next. I feel like a badass secret service agent for you, Georgie, with this death machine. Appreciate the assistance, Barack. You're gonna borrow the hacker to use on the mystery box since you're done with it for now, George. Oh shit, looks like I won't need it. I got the wave gun first hit. Good, we'll need that for the Easter egg. Found the wire, by the way. I love the wave gun. Like I said last time we played Moon, I can't help but be reminded of my old buddy Corn Pop whenever I see those zombies go pop like popcorn. <sighs> I miss that guy. Even if he was a bad dude, he was a great love. Damn, John. I almost felt bad for you, till I remembered you had a fucking wife. We should go back to Area 51, because it's going to be Speed Cola there. Got to flip it back to Juggernaut for our next visit. Good idea, let's go. Feels weird that we traveled hundreds of thousands of miles in the matter of seconds. Can we stay here? I really don't want to go back to the moon. We'll never go home if we just pussyfoot around here, Joe. Anyways, toss the Gersh device at the plates. Good stuff, Barack. Shit, I'm down. Gotcha, George. Off your butt. Hey, so, uh, I had a question. Doesn't doing this Easter egg mean blowing up the Earth? Well, right now we just need answers. 
So let's not let it get to that point. First, we need to figure out who is behind this mess. And that means opening up the MPD. All right, let's head back to the moon. Can someone please take over the Samantha Says Step from Joe? Yeah, this shit is like rocket science to me. Don't worry, I got this. After all, I do have an IQ of 4,329,211,402.5. What a load of cap, Donald. Anyways, everyone reload. Max ammo? Max ammo. Well, at least this demonic announcer doesn't mind throwing us a bone. It is not my choice, Hussein. Those are just the rules of being in control of the ether. All right, Donald and I just finished the Samantha Says Step. What's next? I don't know who this we that you speak of is, Joe. That was all me. But uh, we really shouldn't even call it Samantha Says because she's definitely not here. You mean that little brat who was previously in control? Thankfully, she grew tired of being trapped here and was rescued by four heroes. That's when I found this place and took control. Wait a second, you mean what we did in Origins by freeing Samantha is what allowed all of this to happen? Damn it. I wonder if Dark Brandon knew what he was setting up. That demon? Even it could not foresee what I was plotting behind the scenes. I do thank you for disposing of him, though, so I could have my revenge. It's a good thing he was so good at playing Biden, he totally creeped Samantha out. I'm not sure if I would have been able to do all this if she was with you for now. She likely still retains some power from her time in the ether. Damn, well, I'm sure that was Dark Brandon's reasoning for causing her to run away from the White House, too. She would have been a big help. Wonder if she's OK out there. I just wish I could apologize to her for what that phony did. I don't want her thinking the president of the United States is a creep. Well, I mean, you definitely are, but this guy was on a whole nother level. Leave Joe alone, Donald. The man is a hero for saving us like he did. Anyways, I, I'm going to start hacking these panels in the labs now. Just hope you know what you're doing. I doubt they teach you that sort of thing in Texas. Don't be knocking Texas, my guy. Everything's bigger there after all, including brains. That is a huge load of malarkey, George. I mean, I can't think of anyone who had more gaffes than you as president with your Bushisms. Uh, all three of you made embarrassing statements nearly every day as president. I mean, Joe, you're still doing it. My biggest blunder was wearing that tan suit. I mean, I, I know I regret it, but I did look fly as hell. What a huge load of BS Obama. That suit looked gaudy as hell. He's got a point. I tried wearing one a couple years ago, and I immediately started getting compared to Obama. Just stick to classic black or navy boys. Well, unless, of course, you're Donald. You'll be wearing prison orange suit. Fuck off, Joe. That's only because your politicized Justice Department is out to get me. That's bullshit. I'd never want one of my friends to go to jail. The situation you're in, you brought upon yourself. Uh, don't act like you won't pardon Donald if shit gets serious, Joe. Whoa! I forgot about the bounce pads in the biodome. This is so fun. Well, just be careful not to fall and break your legs, George. Remember, there's no low gravity in that room, so unless you have PhD, then falling is gonna hurt. Yeah, yeah, Brock, I'll be fine. Ow! What the hell? I landed on the cushion pad. Mm-hmm. You were saying, Georgie? Dang it, Barack. You know I hate being called that. Do I look like Sheldon Cooper's brother? I mean, kind of. You Texan fuck? Now, can you walk? Oh, it's gonna take more than that to keep me down. I mean, they don't call me W for nothing. Strange, considering your entire presidency was a massive L. Well, at least I actually was elected to a second term. Damn, Donnie, he got your ass good. Anyways, what are we waiting on now? You should know, Joe, the dreaded excavator pie step. It's literally just a matter of luck on whether it comes down soon or not. Also, I'm surrounded by these maggot addicts right now. You'll be okay, Obama. Warning, excavator pie will cause decompression of tunnel six. Holy hell, we have been blessed by the RNG gods. Everyone to the teleporter. A home sweet home. Everyone make sure to buy Jug before we leave. <sighs> Damn, that's got some real kick behind it. Let's kill some time. And some freak bags here while we wait for the excavator to breach Tunnel 6. Good idea, Donald, for once in your life. Pack a punching, boys. Protect me. Providing suppressive fire, Barack. Thanks, Joe. These badass akimbo shotguns will tear them to shreds. All right, let's leave these freak bags behind like Joe did to his granddaughter that Hunter had with that prostitute. 
He's got a point there. That was really fucked up, Joe. Uh, see you, chump. Barack, just ignore him and stay back to hack the excavator. That's the plan. I'm going to start opening up Tunnel 11, so when we're ready to move the ball through here, it's already done. Donald, 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 do you not see the futility of your actions? Do you really think you four have any chance of defeating me, the one who controls the ether itself? Get out of my head. We've definitely taken on worse. Damn right we have. By the way, about to hack the excavator, fellas. Excavator Pi, control restored. Found the egg, gonna start moving it. That little ball is supposed to be an egg. What the hell kind of chicken laid that thing? I, I always thought it was supposed to be the summoning key. It's actually known as the Vril Sphere, if you must know. Okay, nerd, just get your ass out here and shoot the ball with the wave gun. I wish that space dog rumor was true. We could make him play fetch with the ball. I mean, the space dog is in the Black Ops 3 version of Moon, for what it's worth. Really? Uh, I know what I'm playing when I get home. Also, I got those quantum entanglement dildo thingies from the box. That's definitely not what the D in QED stands for, Joe. All right, guys, about time to start filling up the first canister with souls. We're so close to finding out who's behind all of this. Yep, everyone make their way to the MPD. The sphere just reached the pyramid. You fools really haven't put the pieces together. I guess Joe isn't the only dumb one in the group. Hey, I resent that. Joe, to think that we were at one point friends till you ruined my life, along with that orange bastard and the others, I have nothing. So I will take everything from you now. Trust me, lady, nobody knows more about loss than I do. You see, my wife and my daughter died in a car crash right after I was elected to the Senate. I had nobody, I felt like giving up, but I persevered because I know that's what they would have wanted. Later in life, my son, Bo, a hero in the military, died of brain cancer. No parent should ever have to bury their kid, let alone two. And recently even, I sacrificed my own life to save my friends. I was in a place that was so dark and so cold, surrounded by things you wouldn't believe. It felt like an eternity I never thought I'd leave. Um, thankfully, I got another chance at life. Um, but the point is, no matter what kind of loss you're facing, you shouldn't let it define you. Because even that skinny kid from Scranton, whose whole life was marred by tragedy and loss, would become president of the United States. Joe, I never realized... Damn, that was heavy. You're sounding like chapters out of a self-help book. Your words won't change the outcome. I will have my revenge and destroy you all. You won't even tell us who you are, you demonic bitch. We'll expose you soon enough. Just a few more souls, guys. We can do this. Joe, that story was really inspiring. It makes me realize just how little I've sacrificed in my life. All I can think of is my popularity after announcing my run for president. Everyone loved me before then. Uh, ground control to Major Don. That's because you went from being an asshole celebrity to an asshole running the country. As I'm always forced to say to you guys, stop with the petty squabbling. The canister has been filled. Time to unmask this villain. Oh my God. Is that? Well, hello, gentlemen. Surprised to see me? I mean a little bit, yeah. How did we not notice sooner? I should have been able to recognize your Banshee-esque voice right away. Ah, uh, Donald, my old arch enemy. Just as flattering with women as always, I see. Nah, I'm with Donnie on this one, Hillary. Your voice is like nails on a chalkboard. But uh, are you going to tell us what this is about? You really don't know. You killed my husband. He literally trapped us in a hell dimension and tried to use Joe's blood to release Lovecraftian creatures onto our world, all because we had more subscribers on YouTube than him. Bill was just misunderstood. The only misunderstanding here is how you care that much about a husband who cheated on you. Your lies will not save you from what is coming. Bill will be avenged, and I will rule over everything. Forget President of the United States. Supreme Ruler of the Ether is so much better. Well, you forget who you're messing with, Killary. I already kicked your ass in 2016. The presidential zomboys know exactly how to stop you. We do? Uh, I mean, yeah, of course we do. 
Well, let's see what happens when we play out the Easter egg like normal. I mean, I don't think Dr. Maxis is going to show up and blow up the earth or anything. Way ahead of you, Joe. Everyone to the receiving bay. Connecting the wire to the computer. Placing down the real device. Time to see what's on this computer. Welcome to Secretary Clinton's private email servers. Holy shit, no way. There's got to be some juicy stuff on here. Government officials only. Please enter login info. All right, username the Donald 45. Uh, password, Ivanka's hot, 69420. Login accepted. Welcome, President Trump. Would you like to play a game? Ugh, that's gross, man. I've had enough of your games, Hillary. Just let me see some sort of classified info that'll help us. Access denied, Donald. What the? Was that? You really thought you had seen the last of me. Thankfully, my wife has taken over the power of the ether. You are out of your league now, zomboys. Bill Clinton? How did you get inside this computer? Dark Brandon annihilated you. You see, upon my death, I didn't go to heaven or hell. I was a formless being, and with this, I discovered a way to control electronics. I used them to speak to Hillary and told her of the MPD. Using her government connections, she found a way to Griffin Station where she took the MPD's power for herself. We won't let you get away with this, Bill. Stop the madness. You know you can't seriously like Hillary enough to do all of this for her? With her new powers, she has promised to give me a new body once you four are out of the picture. My revenge will also be completed. It's a win-win situation. I miss getting sloppy toppy from my staffers also. Donald, you, you understand, don't you? No, I, I don't understand, William. Now me and my friends are going to do what we always do. Win. Security override active. Now the fully charged real device is ours. What a twist. I, I can't believe Slick Willie is back. I mean, I'm not that surprised given all that's happened to us. He's no different than any of the other undead we've taken out. Although I guess he's more similar to a ghost than a zombie. So you finally learned the truth. That's right. My husband and I will both get our revenge on you four. What can you possibly hope to accomplish by resisting the claws of my zombie hordes? To be honest, even I don't know what Donald's planning to do with that thing. I just hope the Vril device can be used to defeat this nasty woman, as Donald would call her. I don't know. Seems like we're playing with fire here. Uh, I don't like it. Trust me, guys. I know what must be done. You orange buffoon. You have no hope of stopping me. You couldn't even win the popular vote against me. Maybe Pokemon go jump off the side of the moon to your death? I swear you're the only person I get secondhand embarrassment from, Hillary. Which is saying something, because my son is Hunter fucking Biden. True, I'm glad Donald beat her crooked ass. Guys, let's go pack a punch. We're gonna need all the firepower we can get. True, I got the hackers so we can be safe while we pack our guns. Everyone in! Ah! I've been locked out. The zombies are all after me. Damn it. Typical Joe move. Don't worry, my VP. I'll chuck a Gersh device out there. That shit's not working, Barack. They're still after me. Joe, don't die on us. As soon as the cage opens, come pack a punch your ray gun. Tear them limb from fucking limb. Let nothing of their bodies remain. Oh, no, you don't, Hill Dog. We're not gonna let you give us the Epstein treatment. The Clinton kill count is already too damn high. Uh, I love Spicola. Damn it, Joe, I told you to pack a punch your ray gun. Sorry, George, and all this running around and stuff had me craving a soda pop. You never change, Joe, you goofy bastard. Now let's go get these 100 kills at the MPD. You know, as utterly terrifying as this whole experience has been, Floating around in zero gravity has been one of the most fun things ever. Maybe I gotta get in a low gravity room at the White House. Sounds like fun. We should do that once we get out of here. All of us, together. Heal the bipartisan rift in the country, you know? I'd like that, Barry. I really would. Mm hmm. Donald, just what are you scheming? Well, I'd like to know the same thing, honestly. Uh, anyways, first canister is almost full. Good fucking shit, boys. Now let's focus fire on our cosmonaut pal over here. He's dead. Let's 
work on this next canister? We will stop you, Hill Dog, somehow. Not really sure what the plan is here. Uh, kill freak bags until something happens? I've got it all planned out, boys. I alone can defeat Hillary. Nonsense, Donnie. You said the same thing in 2016, and you just made things worse. You gotta lean on us, bro. Fake news. America prospered when I was around until the China virus took over. Whatever, man. Let's just get this last soul jar filled. Okay, they're all filled. Now what? Now I do what needs to be done. Wait. D Donald, what are you talking about? You can't be thinking what I think you are. What are you talking about, George? I'll have to say goodbye to you guys. This me anyways. Once I do this, I will likely lose myself to the ether's corruption. Donald, you can't be serious. There's got to be another way, damn it. I'm afraid not, Barry. She will never be stopped unless someone strips her of her power. This was your plan, Donald. You're going to steal my power. You will never be able to live a normal life again if you do. Yeah? Well, the alternative is me and my friends dying, you witch. I'll take my chances. Donald, please, let me do it. I'm an old man. I've lived it long enough. No way. We're not losing you again, Joe. This is how it has to be. Donald, please don't do it. I thought we were friends. Don't leave us. You, you guys are my friends. You're the best friends a guy could ask for. That's why it has to be me, Barry. Please, there's got to be another way, Donnie. She's got an endless horde of zombies at her disposal. We're just a bunch of old guys. We'll run out of energy eventually. But what'll happen to you if you do this? You may lose your damn mind. Forget who we are. Your family, your kids, everything. I know, but a good friend of mine taught me something about sacrifice and being a hero. I know I can be that person. So when I'm gone... Don't say that, Donald. Quiet, Joe. When I'm gone, remember this me. Not whoever or whatever I become. Just remember Donald Trump, the 45th president of the United States, the guy who beat crooked Hillary twice and saved his dear friends. No! My name is Hillary Rodham Clinton, and I will have my revenge. Donald, no! No! Goodbye, my friends. Uh, what the? Hillary. You bitch! We should just waste you right here and now for what you've done. You fools. Do you have any idea what you've done? We might as well be dead. Just what the hell was that? Exactly. You might want to hold off on killing me. Yeah? Why? You're gonna need me. I live! The power. The power! It's all mine! Donald, was that you? Sleepy Joe? That's right, it's me, your pal. How you feeling? Pal? You think I haven't forgotten how you humiliated me in 2020? Well, of course not. It's all you ever talk about. But uh, we don't let that disrupt our friendship. Friendship? Don't make me laugh. Who needs that when I have the ether under my control? I knew it. The ether's driven him mad. If you are hearing this, then Donald has entered the device. Do as I say, and we can minimize the damage the psychopath will inevitably cause. You again, Bill? Why should we listen to a damn word you say? What choice do you have, George? Plus, I don't want my wife to die to the likes of Donald Trump. We share a common goal. Get that madman out of the MPD. Oh, thank you, Bill. I knew sticking with you after the Monica Lewinsky scandal was the right call. This is your fault. <laughs> we wouldn't be in this mess if you two were normal. Even Donald handled his loss better than you two, and he incited a damn insurrection. You two went straight to trying to kill us in the craziest ways possible. Hell, not even possible. This shit is impossible. Just keep doing what you're doing, playing Simon Says, and complete this quest. We can put our differences aside for this. I don't trust him, but I don't know what else we can do. I will destroy you all. Nothing will remain. This world is now my own personal plaything. Donald, we will stop you. Mark my words. I hate that we have to work with you, Hillary, but we have to save our friend. Bill, I completed the Simon Says, now what? You must transfer the egg to the computer. We need to pull Donald out of the MPD. That kind of ego and narcissism in charge of the greatest power in the world is a scary prospect. Bill, I hope you know what you're talking about. What do we need to do next? You need to throw a quantum entanglement device at the base of the pyramid and teleport the egg. Well, shucks, I'm all out of QEDs. 
We'll have to either get a max ammo or someone else can get them from the box. Better get to spin in the box then, Billery. You got us into this mess, you can get us out. If you don't, we won't hesitate to take you out. Well, I got the Gersh devices fucking useless right now. Let me try. Oh shit, I actually got them. You have no idea what you're doing. Stop it immediately. Donald, please remember who you are, what we've been through. Oh, bummer! I will make you wish you were never born. Which was in the country of Kenya, by the way. Damn you, Donnie. Let's head to the computer, pronto. My plan is almost complete. What was that, Bill? Uh, nothing. Never mind it, George. Just go finish this quest and we can stop Donald. Throw down a Gersh device somewhere. Yes, that's it. Wait a damn second. The, the rockets, they're launching. Bill, this isn't what I wanted. There can be nothing to rule over if the Earth is destroyed. What have you done? Think about our daughter. Screw her, she was always a little brat. Besides, I gave you what you wanted. Donald's connection to Earth will be severed now for the most part. We wanted our friend back, not our planet to get blown up, you psychopath. You think you have stopped me, Billery? Not even close. I will destroy you all. Damn it, Donald, this isn't you. Please listen to us. Don't worry, I have a plan to get Donald out of the MPD as well. The uh, Earth can be restored after that. You better be telling the truth, Bill. Michelle and my girls, what's going to happen to them? And my Baskin Robbins. My paintings. Oh my God. If our families weren't there, I'd almost say it's beautiful. Hillary, you look at what you and your husband did. I, I never meant for any of this. Don't worry, I have it all under control. Soon they will return, and I will be rewarded beyond belief for my servitude. All hail the Shadow Man. I can't get that dream out of my head. It felt so real, though. Battling zombies in Siberia with other presidents, past and future. Saying it out loud, though, I realize how silly the whole thing sounds. Still, it was more vivid than anything I've ever dreamt before. And George Bush gave me an ominous warning about the future of my presidency. Maybe I should play it safe from here on out. Please, you must help me. What the? Who's there? Richard Nixon. Only together can we prevent the destruction of your world. Show yourself now! I'll have my secret service in here in ten seconds flat! You cannot see me, but I am here with you. Uh, are you an angel? Nothing like that, Mr. President. You may call me... The Shadow Man. The Shadow Man? That's a rather off-putting name, don't you think? And what's this about the destruction of the world? There are unseen forces at work, Dick. Malevolent forces that seek to disrupt the natural order. These are the same forces that are responsible for sending you to Siberia. You mean that wasn't a dream? No, of course not. However, I need your help. Well, what do you need me for? I don't think I can help you, Mr. Shadow Guy. Your performance at Call of the Dead proves otherwise. Now, do I have your help, Mr. President? Your entire world depends on it. Well, when you put it like that... What exactly do you need me to do? I mean, I am a busy guy. I am going to transport you to where you need to be. There you'll find an artifact of immense power. Well, all right, I'll trust you. Against my better judgment. Excellent. Let us depart. What the hell? Where the fuck am I, Shadow Man? Oh, dear. This is not where you were supposed to end up. There's a giant mushroom cloud. This place has to be completely irradiated. Don't panic, Richard. As you can see, I have supplied you with protection from the fallout. Well, thanks, but just hurry up and get me out of here. I'm afraid that's just not possible right now. There is a limit on what I can do and how often I can do it. So what? I'm just stuck here? Unfortunately so. For now, anyways. But look around. You are not alone. Just sit tight. I will make contact when I can get you all out of there. 
What the fuck, you guys again? And just where the hell are we? I don't know, but I presume that you all were spoken to by a mysterious character who calls himself the Shadow Man? That's right. I'm glad I wasn't the only one. I thought I was losing my mind. Well, you might be, Ronald. Just saying. And just what is that supposed to mean? Guys, focus! Look, a sign. Welcome to Nuketown. Nuketown, huh? Fitting name. This is clearly some sort of nuclear test site. I mean, check out these fake houses and creepy-ass mannequins. Well, something has clearly went wrong here. I mean, this place looks like a damn post-apocalyptic wasteland. Just how long do we have to wait for this Shadow Man to be able to send us to wherever he intended? And how did he manage to send us to the wrong place anyways? All good questions, Kennedy. I think we'll have to wait for answers, though. Shh. Quiet, guys. Do you hear that? <laughs> oh, fuck. Again with the zombies. Oh! Nixon, stop crying like a little bitch. This is nothing we can't handle. We've done it before. Oh, right. Sorry. Lost my cool there. Ah, uh, you never had any cool to begin with, dick. Enough squabbling, you three. Lock and load. Do not pray for easy lives, my friends. Pray to be. Ah, uh, shut up and let's get to work. Holy hell, this is a real nightmare. No kidding! This is just like when we dropped the bomb on the Japanese. This is worse. These bastards didn't stay dead. Well, we're stuck here until further notice. Let's hope the radiation doesn't get to us. I don't really trust these hazmat suits. Same here. I don't trust that Shadow Man either, but I couldn't ignore his warning of the destruction of the world. Well, anyone with the ability to just teleport us around like this has to know more than us. Besides, I want to get revenge on whoever sent us to that Siberian outpost. My fingers were frostbitten after that. Yeah, I was spooked when I awoke in the middle of the night to that voice. I thought it was Robert McNamara at first. Hold up, Kennedy. Weren't you in Dallas when you were taken to Siberia? Yeah, I was. When I reappeared, it was like no time had passed at all, but a bullet had zipped right past where I was. For that split second in time that I was gone, someone had tried to kill me. Like it or not, me being transported to Siberia saved my life. It seems like history has been altered. For better or worse, though, that remains to be seen. You don't mean... Are you saying you three knew I was going to die that day and you didn't tell me? Well, to be fair, Jack, I was dropping some pretty big hints about it. Hey, guys. It looks like this toy box has different weaponry than what it did last time. Interesting. Hopefully I can figure out how to even operate some of these weapons. They seem a lot more advanced than what I trained with during World War II. Wait a sec, you guys hear that? Oh fuck, they got me! Something's coming from the sky, though. We're coming to pick you up! Oh shit! It's that juggernaut drink from Siberia! I swear, this gun I got from that blasted box is crap. I couldn't hit the broadside of a barn with this. Well, honestly, Dick, that sounds like an issue with your skill. I have been watching you. I have seen each and every one of your misdeeds. I know who you are. Sounds ominous, doesn't it? Good, because it fucking is. Huh? Who the hell said that? I don't know, it didn't sound like the Shadow Man. Hello there. I rarely get the chance to speak directly to presidents. Rarely? So you've talked to other presidents? Well, that's the thing with being omnipotent. I mean, who do you think gave George and those other blokes the idea to break free from British tyranny? Oh, sorry. Not you, Bush Senior. I meant the original George. You're saying that you talked to George Washington? Get out of here. Why would you even do that? You sound pretty British yourself. Well, you see, that's more of a stylistic choice. Makes me sound more sophisticated, don't you think? Not really. Just who the hell are you? Ah, uh, there's that classic Kennedy arrogance. No wonder your family seems to be cursed with misfortune. What a load of bullshit! Nothing bad ever happens to the Kennedys! More to the point, who or what are you? God? Well, I've been called everything from God to Santa to the giant fucking flying spaghetti monster. Pick your poison, Ronnie. Enough with the jokes and start explaining things. What do you know about all of this craziness? Well, Dick, from what I've gathered, you four are being manipulated by the Shadow Man. Real nasty fellow. I mean, think about it. Would any well-meaning, all-powerful cosmic being send you to a place like this? Fair point. But he said it was a mistake. He wants us to prevent the end of the world. 
You'd have to be naive to believe that. I'd soon rather be riding in Kennedy's limousine through Dallas than trust someone who calls themselves the Shadow Man. Hey, fuck you, Mr. Voice in the Sky! It's Doctor, actually. Look, all I'm saying is that you can't trust him. I can't do much to help you right now, but I am sending you those perk drinks and pack-a-punch from the sky, when I can. You're welcome, by the way. Oh dear. Seems like my time is up for now. I'll stay in touch. Just try not to die, okay? Oh, and uh, don't let the Shadow Man know that I contacted you. This'll be our little secret, okay, boys? Just when I thought this day couldn't get any weirder, I wish I had a bowl of jelly beans. Those always calm me down. Well, what are we thinking, boys? Do we trust this guy? I mean, he is British. Hell no, I don't trust him. He's probably one of those agents of chaos that the Shadow Man warned us about. You might be right, Kennedy. Still. We should play it safe and keep this info from the Shadow Man for the time being. I agree with Richard. We are tangled up in something that is way beyond our comprehension. I'm very smart, Barack. To prove it, I'm gonna do the Samantha Says step of this Easter egg. Did you guys hear that? Just what we need, another voice from nowhere. Hold on a sec, that sounded more like a broadcast. And that voice seemed familiar. Wasn't that one of those presidents that we met at Call of the Dead? I think you're right, Kennedy. Does that mean George Jr. is still in trouble? Sounds like we have a lot of questions for this Shadow Man and the other fella. Can you hear me? Good news, I'm beginning to regain some of my power. I should have you all out of there in no time. Well, speak of the devil. Shadow Man, you never told me my son and those other presidents were involved in this. Do not worry about that, Mr. President. Their journey is completely separated from yours. It is a mere coincidence that you find yourselves here in the same time and dimension as them. You're losing me with all this talk of different dimensions. Still, when are you going to fully explain everything to us? In due time, Ronald. As soon as we arrive in Dimension 63, all will be revealed. You better be telling the truth. Just stay vigilant, my friends, and ignore any other voices you may hear in your heads. Easier said than done. At least we don't have to do some fetch quest with a bunch of bizarre steps like last time. Not yet, anyways. Shadow Man did say our true mission is to collect some sort of powerful artifact. Kaboom. By the way, who the hell is responsible for these random green drop thingies? Seemed to be a female voice. Kinda bitchy sounding, too. I'm not sure. But hey guys, I just had an idea. There's a fallout shelter back here. We could hide in it till we're saved. That's actually a good idea, Ronald. Definitely a better idea than the Bay of Pigs invasion. Cough, cough, Kennedy. Whatever, dick. That wasn't solely on me. You know, the Bay of Pigs invasion was approved by your boy Eisenhower, right? Now's not the time to debate foreign policy, General. Not surprised you want to shy away from that topic, Reagan. You knew I'd bring up the Iran-Contra affair. Shut up, George. Hello? Did anyone survive in there? Leave me alone. I'm not letting anyone in here. Someone did survive. Why don't you let us in, Frank? You could be a zombie for all I know. Or worse, a liberal socialist. Amen to that, brother. But no, I'm Ronald Reagan. Maybe you've heard of me? So you are a zombie. I loved you as president, but no way am I letting you eat my flesh. Buzz off. You let us in right this second, you little twerp. Hell no. You may identify as human, but I know you're undead. Facts don't care about your feelings. I mean, let's say for the sake of this argument, I let you in. Now, if I do that, I run the extreme risk of you and your companions being flesh-eating zombies. Well, this is a fruitless endeavor. Guess we gotta slay zombies till the Shadow Man saves us. Fuck you, guy in the bunker. You sound annoying as hell. Well, normally I'm pretty good with diplomacy. I mean, I ended combat in Vietnam and opened up international travel to China, normalizing a working relationship with the country. But even I don't think I could get that nerd to let us in. Damn, Richard, that's an impressive resume. You seem to be a much better president than I thought you would be. Yeah, till he screws it all up big time and resigns from office. Oops, spoilers. I do what? I don't believe this. It's the truth, Dick. Oh shit, looks like Ronald Reagan has gotten a bit of an upgrade. Can you lot stop messing with history by sharing these secrets with each other? Now, when this is all said and done, I have to go back and poke around in your little heads so you forget what you've told each other. Can't have you ruining my perfectly crafted timeline. Well, speaking of heads, JFK already avoided having his blown clean off. 
What are you going to do about that? Good question, Bush Sr. That's what I like to call a fractured timeline. An important event in history was changed, so a new split in the multiverse has been created. It happens more often than you'd think. I can either leave it be, or have another bullet rip through his fucking skull. I, uh, choose the first option. If only you were built different like me, John. I got shot and was back to kicking commie ass in no time. Of course, you are a liberal. Ah, uh, fuck off, you geezer. You should have stuck to bedtime for Bonzo or Death Valley days, not politics. Well, me and Dick over here won our re-election bids with 49 out of 50 states, so clearly the nation loved us. Hopefully I win re-election too. Looks like the Democrats are going with this real weirdo. Last name is Clinton or something. You got this, George. Republicans always win. The only misunderstanding here is how you care that much about a husband who cheated on you. George Jr., that was definitely his voice. Where is my boy? You need only look up, George. Among the stars, they are currently on the moon. But again, you needn't worry about them. They are from a different timeline than you. He isn't really your son. I'm sorry, Mr. Shadow Man, but that is bullshit. As long as he shares my blood and has the name George Jr., then he is my boy. We had a moment in Call of the Dead. Our love as parent and child crosses dimensional boundaries. Of course, you must forgive me. I forget you humans operate on an emotional level, even if in the grand scale of the multiverse, it means nothing. Shadow Man, you sound like you need to just get laid. I mean, your Riz game has to be horrible. I'll teach you if you want. I mean, I banged Marilyn Monroe. I, uh, will certainly keep that in mind. So those other presidents are on the moon? How and why? Not sure. It must be important, though. Guess the nation listened to me and ended up sending a man to the moon. That's right, Jack. Something I'm very proud to have happened first during my administration. Uh, sorry to take the wind out of your sails, but the Nazis beat you to the punch in the 40s. Group 935 built an entire fucking lunar base up there. That's where the other group of presidents are now. At least, in this dimension, anyways. Yeah, good for them. I only care about my dimension. And there certainly was no lunar base when Neil Armstrong walked up there. Damn it, these undead flesh sores just don't know when to quit. No kidding, I'm starting to get tired from all this running and gunning. Don't worry, I'm sending you boys something that'll give your guns a much needed boost. After all, there's lots of baddies out there you'll need to send to hell. Ah, oh, it's that pack of punch machine. Now this is gonna kick ass. Go ahead, freak bags. Make my day. This ray gun kicks ass. I wish I had a ray gun. You got something better than a ray gun? You have Reagan. Haha, <laughs> very funny, Ronnie. But I get it, George. I mean, it does suck being the only one without a ray gun, I imagine. I can hold my own, though. I'll just have to keep spinning that infernal box. Ronald, you have a horde of zombies on your trail. I'll have to introduce them to my two good friends, Smith and Wesson. Bang, take that. But Ronald, isn't that a cult you're carrying? Shut up, George. I just wanted to say something badass. Simmer down, Ronald. Now, to stop myself from having a panic attack, can we talk about something calming? Like, uh, what do you guys like to do for fun? Me, personally, I like eating my comfort food. Ketchup and cottage cheese. That's fucking diabolical, man. Who would vote for a guy that eats that? But, uh, since you asked, my hobby is banging supermodels. Ooh, got myself a ray gun, finally. Anyways, uh, I like to take George Jr. out to the city. He always loves when I take him to see the World Trade Center. He becomes fixated on him. He has ever since he was a boy. That's a bit weird, don't you think? Not at all. He probably just dreams of building something big like that one day. He always loved playing with blocks as a kid, building them high, and then knocking them down. To be honest, even I don't know what Donald's planning to do with that thing. I just hope the real device can be used to defeat this nasty woman, as Donald would call her. I think something big is going down on the moon. What that is, though, I have no earthly idea. Huh. Get it? Earthly? Why do I remember your jokes being funnier than they actually are? Bad puns aside, I think he's on to something. I'm worried about our presidential pals up there. Again, I warn you, do not worry. 
Their fates do not concern us or our ultimate mission. We don't even know what our mission is. We're blindly putting our lives in your hands. You need to start explaining things quick. Calm down, Richard. You will know soon enough. Should you live through this day, I am very close to being able to free you from this hellish place. Yeah, Dick, just relax. To be fair, he is telling the truth about trying to get you out of there. But his ultimate goal is to use you for his own twisted scheme to take over the world. I don't know. Seems like you're already pulling the strings around here, Doctor, whoever you are. I don't trust you. You'll come around, John. They always do. Richthofen certainly did. He was buddy-buddy with the Shadow Man once, too. Oh, I forgot. You four don't know about them. As much trouble as he and the others were, I do miss them. More meaningless names, I'm afraid. The only Richthofen I know is the Red Baron. Sayonara, suckers. I fixed this teleporter in here, and now I can leave for a zombie-free paradise. And just because it'd be funny, I'm locking the bunker door. Good luck getting in now, you zombies. Damn it! I swear, if we ever meet that twerp again, I'm wringing his scrawny little neck! Well, I'm sure the chances of that happening are pretty low, Kennedy. We're not even in our home dimensions or time period. Well, I never thought I'd see you fucks again. These versions of you anyways, but here we are. Someone help me! I'm down! I'm coming, Jack! Off your ass, Kennedy! Man, I feel like Lee Harvey Oswald with this sniper rifle. Uh-huh. Very funny. Well, we've been holding back these jokes since Siberia. Now that you know the truth about what was supposed to happen to you, we can all laugh about it. You're cruel, Nixon. I'd never joke about that sort of thing, John. Man, this RPG is just like the weapons I sold to the Iranians behind Congress's back. Personally, I'm a fan of this gun I'm using now. It appears to be called the M27. I really hope we get to use this weapon in the next location we visit. It'd be a real shame to never get to use such a beautiful weapon again. Now I do what needs to be done. Wait, Donald, what are you talking about? Just what is going on up there? Sounds like that Donald Trump fella has something planned. Oh no. Something catastrophic is about to take place, and you do not want to be there when it does. Then you better get us the hell out of here right this second. I'm sorry. I can't right now. Just wait a little bit longer. Damn it, Shadow Man. Now we've been patient for long enough. We're in this nightmare because of you. You owe us an explanation. You're right, Dick. I can't give you the full rundown, though. It'd melt your mortal minds. There are two factions at war. The Apothecons and the Keepers. The Keepers are our true enemy. They are mostly responsible for the unstable nature of the multiverse. Mostly responsible? There are forces that are not of Dark Aether origin that also seek to sow chaos amongst the dimensions. The most recent case was a demon who had impersonated one of the other presidents that you met. I still don't know where he came from, but they managed to banish him from this plane of existence. Ending his corruption. Dark, ether, demons impersonating presidents? What on earth? I seem to have gotten carried away. All of that is irrelevant knowledge to you. Our focus is preventing the destruction of your world. Nothing else. Well, now I have more questions than answers. Surprisingly, a lot of what he said was actually true. The power. The power is all mine. What the hell? Was that... Donald? I heard his voice clear as day, loud as thunder. He has taken control of the Aether's power. This world will soon be thrown into chaos. You four! Don't think I don't see you down there. I don't know why you're in Nuketown, but I will destroy you all. I thought he liked us. I mean, we helped him out during Call of the Dead. He has been corrupted by the Aether's influence. And look, the zombie's eyes have changed color too. None of that matters now. You have a much bigger problem to worry about. Well, three of them, actually. Right now, a trio of rockets are headed towards the Earth from the moon. You will not survive if you stay there. What?! Oh, God. I don't want to die. Mommy, help! Fuck all of this, guys! We gotta go break into that bunker! Open up, please. The door won't budge. Please! For the love of God, open up! Shadow Man, please help us! Hold on, gentlemen. I've got you.
Holy shit. Cut it a bit too close for comfort there, Shadow Man. Uh oh. I think Richard shit himself. I thought I was gonna die, okay? Where the hell are we anyways? Welcome, my friends, to Morgue City. All right, just a few more adjustments to make here. Got it. Sayonara, suckers. I fixed this teleporter in here, and now I can leave for a zombie-free paradise. And just because it'd be funny, I'm locking the bunker door. Good luck getting in now, you zombies. What the hell? This isn't Israel. Where am I? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Bernie Sanders and AOC? What are you two commies doing here? Ben Shapiro, is that you? What the fuck is going on? I was sitting at Biden's inauguration with my mittens and suddenly there was a huge flash of light and now I'm here. Biden's inauguration? That was years ago. Are you saying you came from the year 2021, Bernie? Oh, come on, don't you fools understand what's going on here? What the, who said that? Teleportation, time travel, this has government conspiracy written all over it. Oh no, not this clown. It's already bad enough with one Republican thug here. And now here's the most insane of them all. This doesn't make any logical sense. My teleporter must have malfunctioned somehow. I should be in the Holy Lands right now. Wait a minute. If you three aren't from the same time or possibly even the same dimension as me, then have any of you experienced any zombie outbreaks? Zombie outbreaks? What kind of ridiculous question is that? This is gonna sound crazy, but I come from the year 2025 and a global outbreak of the undead is ravaging the world. I was able to survive by hiding in a fallout shelter. I fixed an old teleporter I found down there, which is what brought me here. Well, that explains how you got here. But what about the rest of us? Speaking of which, where exactly is here? It looks like an old bus station, but it seems like it's been abandoned for years. Excellent questions. All will be revealed in due time. You four have been chosen to carry out an important task, one that will help decide the fate of the entire multiverse. What the fuck was that? Did you guys also just hear a disembodied voice? You heard that too? I hear a lot of voices in my head already, but that one was new to me. If you four want to live, you will heed my instructions. For now, I advise you all to arm yourselves before his legion of the undead arrives. Jumping Jehoshaphat! What was that noise? Great! More of those flesh-eating bastards! Oh no! What are we gonna do? I don't want to die here! Don't worry, I always carry at least four handguns on me at all times. We're gonna have to fight our way out of here. But I've never shot a gun in my life. These things scare the hell out of me. Stop acting like a little bitch, Bernie. You'll figure it out. Now everyone get ready. Here they come. All right, I've dealt with these freak bags before. They should go down if you can deal enough damage to them. I did it, I killed one. That's nice and all, Bernie, but we have a huge problem here. I really have to use the bathroom and these ones are locked. Looks like the power's out here too. None of these telephones are working. Hmm, looks like there's some parts lying around here. I'm starting to get an idea for an invention. All right, that looks good so far. That's it. Now complete the device. Do it! All right, I'll add whatever this thing is supposed to be. Okay, now what the hell did we just build? Looks like some kind of wind-powered turbine. Look, it just opened this door. What a beautiful device. Wind power is so much better than those nasty fossil fuels. What the hell happened to this place? There's lava and fire everywhere and a thick fog surrounding us. Looks like climate change finally took its toll. We all know climate change is a hoax AOC. Anyways, look guys, there's a bus parked out here. Maybe we can drive it out of here. What the fuck? There's some kind of robot driving this thing? A robot bus driver? Ever since I saw those AI president memes, I knew robots would eventually take over. Hey Alex, I just had a genius idea. Let's block the bus doors so these two socialists can't get in. They're honestly dead weight to us. That would be pretty hilarious. Plus these two probably sacrifice and eat babies with Hillary Clinton so I don't care if they survive. Sounds like that bus is about to leave. I better get on quick. Hey, what the hell are you guys doing? Please let us in, Ben. Us Jews have to stick together. So long, you satanic bastards. Well, it's just you and me now, Ben. Let's watch each other's backs and try to find a way out of this shithole. Oh. 
Oh, Alex, you better hope those two survive, or else you're also going to die here. You four need to work together and obey my commands if you want to live. Wait a second, I'd recognize that voice anywhere. Donald Trump, where are you, Mr. President? I'm in your head, Alex. Only you can hear me, so it is very important you listen to what I have to say. Why me, and how is this even possible? The government must have put some kind of chip in my head. The only reason you can hear me is because you didn't get the COVID vaccine, unlike the others. It hinders my ability to communicate telepathically with anyone who got it. That's irrelevant, though. For now, you need to meet back up with those liberals and make your way to the power station. Just ride the bus, and eventually you'll make your way there. I really don't want to work with those two, but I suppose I can put our political differences aside for now. Hopefully they forgive us for leaving them to die. I can't believe they left us. Just stay near me, Bernie. It's easy to get lost in this fog. It's okay, AOC. We're reducing our carbon footprint by walking. What the fuck are these things? It's on my head. Help! I want my mommy! They just keep coming. Run, Bernie! Phew. Let's take shelter from those fog monsters in this tunnel. By the way, Alexandria, did that mysterious voice from earlier sound kind of familiar? Now that you mention it, I think you're right. I know I've heard it before. Hmm, this thing looks pretty important. I'll stick it in my pocket for now. Looks like the bus is stopping. Where are we now? Looks like some kind of diner. There has to be a bathroom here. Look at this strange glowing box. I wonder what's inside. Holy shit, I just got a machine gun. No way, let me give this thing a spin. For fuck's sake, what is this miserable looking thing I just got? Looks like some kind of grenade. Maybe it'll come in handy later. Yes, a toilet. Damn, it's so disgusting and buzzing with flies, though. I can't use this. Look, Bernie, I see some lights up ahead. It's the bus. That means those two corrupt goons should be nearby. Oh, uh, hey, guys, I see you found the box, too. Don't hey, guys, us, you little conniving weasel. I should shoot you right now. Yeah, thanks to you two, we almost got our faces torn off by these scary little gremlin things. Enough! You four must set aside any political and personal differences. The very fate of humanity rests on your shoulders. If you want us to help you, we want information. Just who are you? I know I've heard your voice before. Very well. Perhaps this will help you remember. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. No fucking way. President Clinton, am I having a crazy dream right now? Unfortunately not, Comrade Sanders. Right now, I'm currently working to stop Donald Trump from wiping out the entire universe and beyond. We need to sever his connection to the ether completely, so you must do as I say. Head to the power station and I will instruct you further. So, uh, this would probably be a good time to tell you guys Donald Trump is inside my head telling me to do shit for him, right? Like we'd ever listen to that orange psychopath. Let's just get on the bus and see where it takes us. And no blocking the doors this time. Hold on, let me hit this box again. Now what do we have here? Some kind of alien ray gun. I knew they were real and living among us. That reminds me of that time I played Among Us on Twitch. Yeah, that was cringy as hell, AOC. I definitely was not watching the stream and crying to myself at how beautiful you are, knowing we would never be together. Um, anyways, it's nice to be able to relax for a moment. Bernie and I had to run so far after you two ditched us. Sorry about that. I honestly thought you two were demonic, shape-shifting lizard people. You aren't, right? Oy vey. Out of all the people to get stuck with in a zombie apocalypse, we get this fat moron. Whoa, Bernie, that is not politically correct of you. We do not body shame here. Screw your woke nonsense, AOC. Let's just explore this farm up ahead. Look, it's that box again. Let's see what I get. I got that strange looking gun too. Just where did this stuff come from? What if this is all a setup by the government and these zombies are all crisis actors? I'd watch what you say, Alex, unless you want to get sued into the ground for defamation again. Looks like the bus is moving again. Hopefully we're getting close to that power station President Clinton mentioned. Time to see if these grenades do anything useful. Fire in the hole. What the hell? The bus is slowing down. What's going on? That grenade must have sent out some kind of electromagnetic pulse. The bus is completely powerless now. What now? We're stranded in the middle of nowhere, and those scary little fog creatures are probably waiting out there for us. Well, we can't just sit here. Just stick close to each other and we should be fine. Head out into the cornfield, Alex. You will find a building which holds a part to a weapon of immense power. I know the others don't want me to listen to you, Donald, but that does sound pretty helpful right now. Follow me, everyone. 
This must be that building Trump mentioned. Time to look for that part. What an amazing building. This place holds a lot of memories for me. This place is disgusting. I would hate to be stuck in here during a zombie outbreak. Yeah, this place is really small, too. I feel like it'd be hard to survive in here. I think I found the part. Let's get out of this dump. What the hell are these things? It's about to tear my yarmulke off. They sure are ugly, whatever they are. At least they go down easily. Those creatures are known as the denizens, Alex. They may be annoying, but you can handle them. Why the hell are they trying to hump my face, though? They must be putting chemicals in the lava to turn the freaking denizens gay. Sounds like the bus is back on. Let's hurry before it leaves us behind. All right, looks like everyone's here. Try not to throw any more of those grenades near the bus again, Alex. Looks like the bus is stopping again. Where are we now? Finally, an outhouse. I don't think I can hold it much longer. What the fuck? Guys, come here, quick. Dropping down into a random hole in an outhouse seems highly illogical, but I suppose we have no choice. Oh my God, no freaking way. A secret government facility? I knew the globalists had something to do with this. Hmm, what's this? Looks like some piece to a power box. Might be important. Flipping this switch? Let's see what happens. That room's full of electricity. I'd stay back. And look, there's something in that chamber at the top. This looks like some crazy shit Elon Musk would cook up. Anyways, this has to be that power station President Clinton mentioned. What do we do next? Excellent work making it this far. You must now turn off that power switch you just flipped. It's interfering with my ability to transmit my voice to you. Don't listen to him, Alex. You must keep the power on and do as I say. Uh, guys, Trump is telling me to keep the power on. I mean, should we really listen to Bill Clinton? He's a total creep, and not to mention his wife is the vile witch Hillary. Sorry, Alex. Even I agree it's probably in our best interest to help Bill. Donald Trump has proven to be a selfish con man who only cares about himself. If it were Ron DeSantis asking for help, it'd be a different story entirely. Also, I just found some wires. They look like they could be used to build something. All right, fine. I'm sorry, Donald. No! Alex, you're supposed to be a true and honest patriot. You are letting your country and your president down. The bus is leaving, guys. Come on. Okay, that was pretty badass how we just jumped onto the bus from that building. Yeah, that was fun. So what do we need to do next, President Clinton? Next, you all must head underneath the pylon in the cornfield. I highly recommend arming yourself with more powerful weapons if you want to survive. There's a device that is capable of upgrading your weapons hidden somewhere, but I don't remember where it is. Well, that sure is helpful. Oh, shit! Help! I slipped off the bus! Oh, no, Bernie! I've calculated that the probability of Bernie surviving is 0.002%. Looks like it's up to us three now. Oh, well, we don't need his old commie ass anyways. Also, look, we're arriving at some sort of town. This reminds me of the bartending job I had before I was elected to Congress. As much as I hated that job, I'd much rather be there than in this nightmare. I'm completely lost. I can't see a damn thing. Mommy, help. Wait a second. What's this? Some kind of cabin? Maybe there's something that can help me inside. What's this little thing I just found? I'll take it with me just in case. Oh, shit, it's the bus. Guys, I'm back. Holy shit, I can't believe Bernie actually made it. I'm honestly impressed. Guys, Trump was talking to me earlier about building some kind of super weapon. Uh, let me see those parts you picked up. I think I have an idea. All right, adding mine. Phew, I was getting tired of carrying that huge thing around. Now to add the last piece to my glorious new weapon. Ooh, this thing sure looks neat. You thieving socialist Jew, that was supposed to be mine! I'm sorry, Alex, we need an equal redistribution of weapons here. Guys, look, there's a bank over here. Maybe we can get some money. Why? So Bernie can steal that too? I suppose that's actually not a bad idea, though. I'm sure Ben has millions in his bank account given his people's greedy nature. That's fucked up, Alex. It's extremely harmful to reinforce such negative and hurtful stereotypes. Screw you evil Wall Street banks. Eat my grenade. Looks like the vault's open. How about we check Ben's account real quick? Nobody say a fucking word. Damn it, we missed the bus. Now what do we do? I shouldn't be helping you at all, Alex, but there's still time for you to redeem yourself. To gain your trust, I'll give you a tip to help you get around. Place a turbine underneath one of the various lamp posts you can find and lead a denizen underneath it. It will spawn a portal you can use to get around quickly. 
Sounds about as legit as Sandy Hook, but okay, I'll try, I guess. Come here, guys. Donald told me something that could be pretty helpful. Just got to lead one of those little bastards under here. Holy shit, it's actually making a portal. Time to see where it takes me. Oh, the middle of nowhere. How fucking helpful. Oh, no, I'm in that cornfield again. Better try to make my way back to the others. If only we had these portals back home, we could cut fossil fuel emissions entirely. I don't like how these portals keep throwing me around randomly. Donald, why does this place suck so much ass? Alex, you uncultured swine. This is Transit, the greatest zombies map of all time. I will not tolerate such slander. I don't know what any of that means, but this place is abysmal. I can't wait to get out of here. Thank goodness the bus. I was about to pass out from all this running. Alex, is that you? I never thought I'd say this, but I sure am glad to see you. If it isn't my favorite communist, Bernie, we need to stick together and try to regroup with Ben and AOC or we're as good as dead. Before you leave the power station, Alex, here's another piece of advice. Try dropping down the hole and immediately placing a turbine. It will open a hidden room in the bank which houses the means to upgrade your weapons. You will not survive without it. Wow, thanks, Donald. That's so nice of you to tell me out of the goodness of your heart and without expecting anything in return. Turn the power on right now or you will rue this day. I'll think about it. For now, I gotta go upgrade my guns. Looks like everyone left me here alone. What the? These stairs weren't here before. I wonder where this leads me. There has to be something useful hidden down here. Aha, some kind of part. Let's see if I can find any others. The bus is leaving Alex. Let's head back to that town and see if anyone else is still there. I wonder what's up here. What the fuck are these? Some kind of electrified brass knuckles? Sure beats this weak little knife I've been using. Let's go check out the bank, Bernie. There should be some kind of machine in there to improve our guns. That should do it. Hmm, pack-a-punch. I wonder what it does. Holy shit! This must be that upgrade machine Bill was telling us about. I'm back at that town from earlier. Maybe the others are nearby. Bernie, Ben, Alex, hello? Hey, it's Alexandria. Looks like we're all together now. Let's try not to get separated again. Good to see you again, Ben. Now let's see what this pack-a-punch machine can do. Whoa, my weapon just got a makeover. Time to test it out on these freak bags. Ha! Ah, someone help me! Calm down, Bernie. I've got you. Maybe now would be a good time to use that weapon we built earlier. Time to feel the burn, you undead bastards. What the fuck? It just broke and exploded after like five seconds. What kind of weapon is that? Now I'm kind of glad Bernie stole it from me. Donald, I thought you said that weapon was great. That thing's a piece of shit. Don't you dare disrespect the almighty jet gun. You fools just don't know how to properly use it. Such wasted potential on you imbeciles. That sounds like some hardcore copium to me. That thing is more useless than the Democratic Party. Damn, I'm destroying these zombies like I destroy blue-haired college students with facts and logic. Once we've all upgraded our weapons, let's head to that pylon that Bill mentioned. I'm ready to get the hell out of here. All right, my weapons are upgraded. Let's head to that cornfield and see what President Clinton wants us to do next. Okay, we're all here. What now? Now you four must simply wait for the Avogadro to appear. He will emerge from the lightning storm once it moves to the cornfield. You must then place at least two turbines underneath the pylon and then kill him with an EMP once he is also underneath it. Okay, but, uh, what do avocados have to do with anything? Bernie, you deaf old geezer, he said Avogadro. Not that that makes things any more clear, though. All we can do for now is wait, then. Look, guys, the lightning's right above us. That means that Avogadro thing should be here soon. I see something heading this way. Be careful, guys. What the? It's some kind of humanoid electric entity. That must be what we saw back at the power station. Quick, set your turbines down, everyone. And Alex, get ready to toss an EMP at this son of a bitch. Take this, you blue bastard. Well, President Clinton, did we do it right? Excellent. You're almost done. Now to finish powering the pylon, you just need to place a turbine at the lamps located at the diner and town. This is the most random and convoluted shit I've ever seen. It makes no sense. But let's just finally get this over with. Ben and I will head to the diner. You two go to the town. This must be the lamppost Bill was talking about. 
Hopefully the liberals didn't die on the way to the town. I sure hope this works. Here goes nothing. Whoa, look at that light. You four have done it. The pylon is now fully powered. Please return to the base of the tower at once. Okay, we're all here. Now, can we please go home? You fools. You really thought you could disobey me and get away with it? Your suffering has only just begun. Donald, please don't kill me. I'm sorry, I had no choice. Oh, I'm not going to kill you, Alex. In fact, I'm going to give you one more chance to redeem yourself. Unfortunately, you four have to go somewhere truly awful. I hope you aren't afraid of heights. Okay, guys, I spy with my little eye something black. Let me guess. It's space. Just like the last 50 times we've played this game. Actually, I was going to say Barack. Very funny, Joe. Anyways, I really miss Donald, guys. It's nice the zombies aren't here anymore, but Donald just completely stopped talking to us. I'm sure my husband is working hard right now to fix things. I still can't believe my plans got ruined again by that orange buffoon. I still can't believe any of this shit that's happened. We can just never catch a break. Regardless, we've got to find something to do to pass the time. I'm going insane listening to Joe's I Spy bullshit. Oh, come on, man, I was having fun. Hmm, how about we make another tier list? I know it's not the same without Donald, but it'll give us something to do. I suppose I can humor you, Obama. What kind of list did you have in mind? I was thinking an Easter egg songs tier list. You've played enough zombies to rank them, right, Hillary? I'm not some kind of noob like Joe over here. I've reached round 100 on BO1 Verrucked and hold the Gorod Crovey Easter egg speedrun record. That sounds like a load of cap. But anyways, let's get started on that tier list. Mr. President, I don't understand. Why are you doing this? Why me? Huh? What do you mean, mend the rift? Well, what if I don't want to? Huh? Did you think of that? He, you can't tell them about the vaccine. That I didn't take it. They'd kill me if they knew. Oh, shit. If you're gonna talk to your imaginary friend, Alex, I'd suggest waiting until we're in a Z-free zone. Bernie, watch out behind you. What the? Ah! Uh... Bernie! Oh God, no. Gotta find the others, quick. I'm so sorry, my comrade. You saved my life. Alex, where have you been? Get in quick. I've never been more happy to see a Jew and a Latina in my life. Actually, I prefer to go by Latinx. It is gender neutral and inclusive to all, no matter their gender. You see, Alex, by reinforcing harmful gender roles, you are contributing to the- Jesus, Alexandria, just shut up and close the damn elevator door. Hugh, talk about a close call. Yeah, no thanks to AOC's woke garbage. Speaking of woke garbage, where's Bernie? We should all regroup if we want any chance of survival. Have you seen him, Alex? Me and Ben ran all around this place and saw no sign of him. I'm so sorry, Alexandria. That old commie got himself killed. Saving my life. What? This can't be. Damn it, Bernie. He was my mentor and my friend. This defies all logic. We were sent here under the assumption that all four of us were vital to this mission, but now we're a man down. So now what? The only thing we can do, kick zombie ass for Bernie. I don't understand. What are you not getting, Alex? Alexandria made it pretty clear. Accept your fate, begin anew. Oh, just what we need, more flesh eaters. Guys, I don't see how we get out of this. Bill, you intern banging bastard, help us out. We can't die here. If we're gonna go down, at least go down fighting. Yeah! Yeah! Ah! What just happened? I don't know, but... Have we been here before? Oh great, where on earth are we now? I'm not sure, but it looks oriental. You'd be correct, Alex. Welcome to China. I hope you four have taken your COVID vaccines. Of course we have Bill. Only a fool wouldn't get the vaccine. We have bigger things to worry about than COVID, guys. This place seems to be crawling with the undead like that town we were at. 
I bet these zombies were made in that damn Wuhan lab just like the coronavirus. Why the hell were we sent to China anyways? Allow me to explain. As much as I hate China, there is another tower here I need you four to activate for me. I will not tolerate any further disobedience. We can't just sit around here. There's an elevator. Maybe it still works. Not a bad idea, AOC. Especially coming from a liberal. I'm not so sure about this. This elevator looks about as safe as being trapped alone in a room with Bill Clinton. Let's just see where it takes us, Alex. Ah! Uh, I think I'm going to be sick. Okay, let's agree to never do that again. Geronimo! Phew, be careful, guys. You don't want to fall off one of these buildings. This place has seen better days. All these falling towers remind me of 9-11. I'll never forgive George W. Bush for that. It was definitely an inside job. That's enough of your baseless conspiracy theories. Anyways, I found a power switch, guys. Hopefully that'll help us in some way. Good job, you four. The power isn't interfering with my transmission this time, so you don't have to turn it off. You might have seen some soda machines on your last mission. These are known as Perca-Colas. Drinking them will provide special enhancements to help you survive longer, so I'd recommend taking advantage of them. Hmm, I found one called Juggernaut. I wonder what it does. <sighs> Ugh, what a putrid tasting beverage. But I feel stronger somehow. Still, I wish I was drinking AOC's bathwater instead. What is this, some kind of sweatshop? I feel bad for whoever had to work in these horrible conditions. If only this place had those giant nets on the sides of the buildings to prevent workers from jumping off so we don't accidentally fall to our deaths. That's fucked up, Alex. Anyways, I found some kind of part. I'll hold on to it just in case. Look out for more parts lying around. You can build yourself a weapon of tremendous power with them. What is this, some kind of foot? I have a feeling this is one of those parts Bill mentioned. Speaking of feet, Alexandria, I must admit, yours are quite beautiful. Benjamin, that's no way to speak to a woman. Plus, aren't you married already? Of course, Bernie. My wife is a doctor. I'm just using facts and logic to describe the current condition of Alexandria's feet. And as I always say, facts don't care about your feelings. Well, I don't care what you think of my feet, Ben. You should be more focused on killing zombies right now. Also, I just finished building this strange-looking weapon. I'll be taking that. Bernie's not going to steal from me again, but just what the hell is this thing? Looks like we can ride the tops of the elevators to reach different floors. Hopefully, I don't get crushed by this thing going up. What a surprise. Another closed-off bathroom. I still have to go really bad. Not like I'd use this woke, gender-neutral one anyways, though. All right, guys, let's head up this elevator and explore more of this mysterious place. Looks like we made it to the roof. We need to find that strange weapon box ASAP. These pistols aren't going to help us for very long. Where the hell did Ben go? Hopefully he's still alive wherever he is. Don't worry about Benjamin. Us Jews are very resilient people. It'll take more than a couple freak bags to take him down. Looks like I found that box again. Please give me something good. All right, this will work. I should probably try to regroup with the others. There they are. Hey, guys, I'm over here. Look, it's Ben. Where the hell were you? I was busy spinning the magic box. I can take you guys there. Alex, in case you need further persuasion to help me out this time, there are parts nearby that can be used to construct a very useful device called the Trample Steam. You will need it to survive. All right, thanks, Donald. Everyone, be on the lookout for more parts. I think I found a part. I'm getting tired of lugging all this crap around, though. Adding my part. Now for the finishing touch. There we go. I don't know what this thing is, but it looks neat. Who's who? I wonder what this one does. <sighs> well, I feel exactly the same, except now I have a disgusting taste in my mouth. Time to see what this contraption does. What the hell is this thing? How is this supposed to help us? I wouldn't stand so close to it, Alexandria. It looks dangerous. Jesus Christ, she's actually dead. Nobody could survive that kind of fall. <laughs> oh, poor Alexandria. You were so young and had such a bright future ahead of you. No, this can't be happening. I never got to tell her how I truly felt. Guys! It's almost like I can still hear her voice. Guys! Not now, AOC. Can't you see we're busy morning? Wait a second, AOC, is that really you? How the hell is this possible? We just saw you die. 
Are you some kind of clone created in a government lab? I think it was that weird who's who drink. I remember falling to my death and then suddenly I was back here. We're so glad you're okay. Ben, is there something you wanted to share with Alexandria? Shut up, Bernie. But uh, I'm glad you're okay, AOC. Fetch me their souls. Jesus, what the fuck are these things? Sit still, you jumping bastards. At least these ones aren't jumping on our faces like those denizen things. What the hell is this purple substance coming out of that gun? It's making the floor all slippery and wet. Ugh, reminds me of that horrible WAP song. That seems to be the last of them. Now let's head to that box already. You know, I hated guns before today, but I'm actually having fun shooting at these freaks. Me too, Alexandria. Plus, we make a surprisingly good team. Working with you Republicans hasn't been so bad. I normally wouldn't agree with you on anything, Bernie, but you're right. The fact we've all managed to survive this long is pretty incredible, honestly. I guess there could be worse people to be stuck with in a zombie apocalypse. Anyways, what the hell are we supposed to do now? I'd like to hurry up with whatever it is we're doing here so I can get back to hosting InfoWars. Fret not, Alex. The steps to activate the tower this time are relatively simple. First, you need to check the elevators for four golden symbols, which you must all stand on at the same time. They will begin to glow once you've done it correctly. I also need you to stand on those symbols, Alex, so get to it. Seems like we'll have to split up for now, then. Everyone try to find one of these elevators. Hey, that must be one of those gold symbols President Clinton mentioned. Found one, Donald. I still don't know why you expect us to help you, though. You're literally sending zombies to kill us. If you don't obey me, you'll be dealing with something far worse than zombies, Alex. Creepy Bill is not to be trusted. There we go. Just gotta wait for the others now. Looks like that did it. What next, Bill? Excellent work. Next, you simply need to find four more symbols on the ground and step on them in a specific order. The symbols will glow as you step on them in the correct order, so it'll just take trial and error. Good luck. Well, better get to it. Looks like I found one of these symbols. Hopefully we don't screw this up. The symbol's glowing. Looks like we're on the right track. Looks like this one's good. I hope we're getting close to going home. There we go. I still don't understand how any of these convoluted steps are supposed to help you, Donald. You think standing on these symbols is convoluted? Try shooting random insignificant rocks to reveal bones that you then have to suck up with a black hole squid gun. I don't know what the hell that's even supposed to mean, but it doesn't sound pleasant. I'm impressed. You managed to do that step on your first try with zero coordination. It seems my judgment was not misplaced when I chose you four. Speaking of that, Bill, it's time you give us some more information. We've done everything you've asked. You owe us that. Very well. What would you like to know? How did Donald manage to gain control of the undead? And what is your role in all of this? You know how Trump is? A narcissist, always thirsting for power. Once he discovered a way into the ether, he made it his goal to seize control and take over the entire universe. As for me, I've simply been trying to stop him, along with the help of some old friends of mine, but unfortunately they're unable to do much from where they are. What the hell is the ether, and why did you choose us? Surely there are more qualified people for this insane quest you've sent us on. The ether is a bit hard to explain. It's the infinite, the origin of creation. It's a force that connects every known and unknown universe. Whoever controls the ether controls reality itself. Right now, Trump's connection to the ether has been severed slightly, but we still need to fully expel him from it. As for why you four are here, consider it your destinies. Every moment of your lives had been leading to this day. That's why it is imperative that you continue to follow my instructions so we can put a stop to Donald's destruction. Oy vey, this is giving me a headache. So what the hell are we supposed to do now then? Your next task is simple enough. You must use a sniper rifle to shoot two balls out of the dragon's mouths. Me and Alex have sniper rifles, so we'll handle the balls. Very poor choice of words, Bernie, but we got it, Bill. What next? Next, you must all head to the Buddha room and just kill some zombies there. I will let you know when it's enough. Alex, this is your last chance. You will listen to me now or face my wrath. I'm done listening to you, Donald. You've done nothing but lie and try to kill us this whole time. We're going to put a stop to your evil scheme. You'll regret those words, Alex. I will show no mercy now. My zombies will tear your pathetic flesh straight from your fucking bones. You know, these zombies still have more humanity than those corrupt goons on Wall Street. They also have more intelligence than the average liberal. I kind of feel bad about killing them. 
Don't zombies deserve basic human rights too? You want to give zombies rights? This is a new level of wokeness I've never seen. That's it. You've killed enough zombies. Well done. Your next objective requires you to get the ballistic knives from the mystery box, pack a punch them, and then shoot them in the Buddha room. Oh, and here's a quick tip for you. Try killing the jumping jacks without shooting. You'll be rewarded with a free Perca-Cola. Fetch me their souls. Sounds like those jumping bastards are coming again. I have an idea, though. Hypothetically speaking, if we were to place our trample steams in this narrow hallway and hide behind them, they should take out any incoming threats. Look, it's working. Ha, I knew it. Sometimes my genius frightens me. That was a piece of cake. And look, a floating bottle. That must be the free perk. Come on, guys. We need to find that box again and try to get those knives Bill was talking about. Ah, someone help. We're coming, Bernie. Hold on. I am once again asking for you to revive me. On your ass, Bernie. We need you alive. Holy shit. Look how many there are. Be careful, guys. Ben's missing out on all the fun. Where the hell did he go this time? Yes, I got the ballistic knives. Time to go pack a punch them and finish this next step. There we go. Now to shoot it in the Buddha room. Excellent work. You're nearly finished. Next, you must locate four more golden symbols on the ground and place your trample steams on them, making sure they face towards the tower on the roof. More gold symbols? I'm getting tired of these, but at least we're almost done. Found one. This should be correct. There we go. One step closer to freedom. I'm going to enjoy watching you four scream in agony as you get ripped apart. Those fools who attacked the Capitol for me on January 6th are nothing compared to my zombie army. There we go. All right, President Clinton, I think we did it. Now what? Now you must find the two balls you sniped out of the dragon's mouths earlier. They should be in the room you first arrived at. Once you find the balls, grab them like you're Monica Lewinsky. You must then place each of them on a trample steam so they launch towards the tower. Well, I'm already here, so I'll put one of the balls on this trample steam. I'll take this one, AOC. That looks good. Just waiting on Ben now. All right, Bill, we launched your stupid balls. Are we done now? Just one more step, my friends. However, this is the most challenging and complex of them all. Around the buildings are eight mahjong tiles. Four of them have Chinese symbols indicating a cardinal direction, and the other four have a number. Each of them are color-coded, so a directional tile will have a matching number tile. Once you figure out the direction and its corresponding number, you must use the galva knuckles to strike the four corners of the tower on the roof, each one also aligning with a cardinal direction. The number tiles will indicate the order that you strike the corners based on their direction. Yeah, you completely lost me. Why the hell do we have to mess around with little mahjong tiles to save the universe? How do you even expect us to translate these symbols? I'm sorry, but I don't speak Chinese. There's no way you four will ever solve the mahjong step. If only you had an old white lady like Hillary with you. I guess we can go look for some of these tiles and see if we can figure something out. One of us should grab Galvin Knuckles too in the meantime. Found a tile. And just like I thought, this symbol means absolutely nothing to me. How in the fuck are we supposed to figure this out? If only there was some kind of guide for this shit. One that's no nonsense and straight to the point. Ben, you're supposed to be a genius, right? Surely you can think of some way to solve this puzzle. Hmm. After doing some quick calculations, I've deduced there are 24 possible solutions. I think brute forcing this is our only real option. We better not waste any time then. This could take a while. All right, Bernard, you've got the Galvin Knuckles. Let's do this. All right, here goes nothing. Unbelievable. You four actually did it. The tower has been activated. Holy shit. Nice job, Bernie. No, this is impossible. How did you complete the Mahjong step on your first try? We're just built different, Donald. Deal with it. Okay, President Clinton, we activated your tower thingy. Now can we finally go home? I'm sorry, my friends, but there is still one more place you must visit. Thankfully, this next location isn't as bad as these previous two. I don't know how much more of this I can take, but I suppose if it means putting a stop to that con man Trump and his zombie goons, then I can handle one more adventure. We've made it this far, Bernie. We'd be foolish to stop here. We're ready when you are, Bill. Excellent. 
Just hang tight while I lock onto the tower's coordinates. Don't think this is over yet, Alex. You four will regret ever crossing Donald J. Trump, supreme ruler of the ether. All right, I've got a lock on your position. Teleportation sequence initiating. I hope you four like westerns. Damn it, I'm tired of sitting around here. I feel so useless. I know Georgie, but we have to put our faith in Bill and sit tight. It's hard to do that. Bill can't be trusted. Although that's my husband you're talking about. Even I never expected him to go to such extremes. Seriously, blowing up the earth, that's insane, even for him. Isn't there anything we can do? I'm afraid not, but they better act quick. The rations left here by the workers of Griffin Station won't last forever. I feel bad for the poor souls who have been coerced into doing the bidding of these madmen. Well, in the meantime, want to play another game? I'm down for some more I Spy. No way, Joe. I'm tired of your games. This is serious. Well, geez. I'm sorry, George. Oh, shit. What day is it? August 5th. Why do you ask? Oh, no. This is horrible. What is it, Joe? What's going on? We're going to miss our only chance. Our only chance to do what? Spill the beans, Joe. Quick. We're going to miss Luffy going gear five for the first time. Bruh. We don't give a damn about no shitty One Piece. But Barack, this is going to be history. Please let us watch it on your phone. Oh, hell no. Nah. Seriously, like how long is it going to take them to find the One Piece anyways? It's probably going to be something stupid, like another straw hat or something. I have no clue what you all are talking about. Uh, just that nerdy anime stuff. It's not stupid or nerdy. Millions love it. Yeah, millions who will never procreate, maybe. Shit, George, you're like a damn high school bully. But anyways, One Piece is irrelevant when Breaking Bad exists. I mean, Walter White's hat is way more iconic than Luffy's. Hello down there. Wrong! His straw hat is the most iconic piece of headgear in anime history, and it's pronounced Luffy, not Luffy. Uh, guys. Don't make me laugh, Joe. I don't care. Luffy or whatever will never achieve what Heisenberg did. Skylar White sucks but she clears any of your waifus from one piece? Take that back, Nami is best girl. Enough! Huh, who said that? Gentlemen, allow me to introduce myself. I am Dr. Minty. Oh, it's a Monty actually, Joseph. But it appears my reputation precedes me. Of course we know who you are, but what do you want with us? Yeah, why should we trust you, Monty? Allow me to explain from the beginning. Enough walking for today. We set up camp here. In case you schmucks have forgotten, the world is broken, very broken. What remains of civilization is at the mercy of forces we barely understand. What makes you think we'll find anything different at this new place? Wherever this new place even is, Bill could have at least gotten us closer to our destination. Damn teleportation. I don't know that we will, but at least we'll be sure. Uh, sure of what exactly? I don't know. His memory's going again. Your name is Bernie, Bernie Sanders. You're the independent senator from Vermont, at least back in your own dimension anyways. That's right. I think I remember a, a town. That's right, Bernard. We all met at that town not too long ago. We've been doing Bill Clinton's dirty work ever since. Surely you haven't forgotten all the crazy conspiracy bullshit Alex has been spewing the entire time. Who are you calling crazy? I'm the only one who really knows what's going on here. I think this is all a ploy to keep us distracted from all of Biden's illegal activities. Quiet, Alex. The only thing you know is whatever that dog-whistling fascist Trump tells you. Uh, Bernie, I wouldn't be so quick to ridicule Mr. Jones, especially given your current proclivities. What was that, you little weasel? You better shut your mouth before you say something you regret. Enough! First of all, Bernie, don't use weasel as an insult. That is very speciesist of you. But we have to remember the bigger picture. We were chosen by fate or God or whatever to save this universe, hell, the entire multiverse. There is no higher calling than this. We may be heading into the storm blindly, but we've managed so far. And doing something, anything, is better than doing nothing. Wow, that, that was moving, Alexandria. You've grown so much since you first entered Congress all those years ago, my pupil. We head out at dawn. The rift is three days travel. Rest yourselves tonight while you can. 
good thing Bill provided us with these traveling clothes, was starting to wear my other outfit a bit thin. They definitely wouldn't have lasted three more days. I mean, aside from the fact that you look like the fucking Undertaker, I'd say these are a vast improvement. AOC, however, who mama, you look good. Thanks, Ben. I know all you Republicans just want to date me. Let's just get some rest, okay? Well, here we are, the rift. All that's left is to mend it and our long journey is complete. The universe will be saved. Well, judging by the size of that hole in the ground, I'd say we have our work cut out for us. Ah, uh, my friends, at long last you have made it. As you can see, the devastation from Donald's actions have affected this area particularly hard. I'll say, this is exactly what our Earth is gonna look like if we don't do something about climate change. Where are we anyways? Seems to be some sort of mining facility. Well, you may find it hard to believe, but you are in Angola. You're telling us we're in Africa? This is crazy. I can believe it. I mean, all this mining going on reminds me of Elon Musk's family-owned emerald mine operation. God, that guy is a creep. He was so into me. But you don't like him back, right? Hell no. I hate billionaires with a passion, and he was the most insane and rich of them all. Oh, thank goodness. I still have a chance. I wouldn't get your hopes up, Benny boy. Just because you don't have a nine-figure net worth doesn't mean these two don't think you're part of the so-called 1% they love to rag on, which is hypocritical, given Bernie's three houses. Ah, uh, shut up, Alex. It's not the money that bothers us. It's your ideology. I mean, I had great contempt for you before we were forced into working together. And you're broke. Guess that's what happens when you go spreading hateful lies about people who lost their children in a tragedy. Are you going to let him talk to you like that, Alex? He and Bill are cut from the same cloth. It's not too late to course correct and help me out. Get out of my head, Donald. You're making a huge mistake not listening to me. Whatever. Say, what is that up there? It looks like a pretty powerful weapon for one of those chalk drawings. Oh, shit. Thank God I'm still in one piece. Oh, shit, Alex. Ah, uh, here goes nothing. Geronimo! That was close. Almost lost my yarmulke. Oh, and I see you're still alive, Alex. Geez, don't sound too excited to see me. Let's see what new horrors await us down below. It looks like an old western town. Very strange. This town, formerly known as Purgatory Point, was sent into the future through a temporal rift. That's how it ended up underneath the surface of Angola. This location holds immense importance for a variety of reasons. Look, a wall of weapon chalk drawings. Using deductive reasoning, one can easily come to the conclusion that we can draw wall buys ourselves. This, no doubt, would explain the mysterious question mark chalk drawings I saw on the way here. You just know everything, don't you, Ben? Wrong. Benjamin definitely doesn't know how to pleasure a woman. Well, I have more kids than you, Bernie, so clearly that isn't so. Alexandria, don't be swayed by his nonsense. I knew it. My hypothesis was correct. I just drew a wall buy for the AN-94. That's great, but uh, guys, you may want to come take a look at this. What on earth? Doesn't this guy look a bit familiar? You're correct, Alex. You four have definitely seen this man before. The creature standing before you is, or at least was, Hunter Biden. This is inhumane. Keeping him locked up in here like he was an illegal immigrant during the Trump administration. Well, actually, Bernie, it was Barack Obama who started the Cage a Kid program, and Biden increased it as well. Don't be a partisan hack. Regardless, I think Hunter here is a danger to society and needs to be locked away for his numerous crimes. I actually think Big Dumb and Ugly here could be of assistance. Let's give him a chance. Ah, don't be scared. You may be able to lure him out of the cell somehow. Mm, a jug of whiskey. You like this stuff? Drink up, big guy. And I mean you. Not your dad who you helped make millions via corrupt business dealings in Ukraine and China. Jesus, he almost ran me over. But how did Hunter end up like this in the first place? and in this jail cell under Angola in an old western town. Good question. I can only answer the first part, however. Years of drug and alcohol abuse completely fried Hunter's brain, leaving him in the state you see now. As to how he ended up here, your guess is as good as mine. This adventure just gets crazier by the minute. But still, maybe we can make use of Hunter's newfound strength and alcohol-induced rage. Whoa, what is this? Looks like the ray gun from before got a bit of a makeover. Well, hopefully it's more than just a cosmetic change and helps you kill those freak bags quicker. 
I believe you will find the Raygun Mark II to be a worthy successor to the original. Let's get to exploring the rest of the town, boys. Maybe we can find a power switch or something. Your prayers have been answered, Alexandria. The power is now on. Oh, cool, an old piano. Let me try playing something. Yep, I still got it. Stop clowning around, Alex. We have a job to do. Ooh, I thought I smelled something sweet. An old person's favorite snack, hard candy. You know, I'm starting to realize why Bill chose these outfits for us. Very fitting for our current locale. Yeehaw, I just got an old cowboy gun. Me too, but uh, you look more like a horse than a cowboy. Alex, you take that back this effing instant. You see, Alexandria is the most fair and beautiful maiden I've ever had the privilege of gazing my eyes upon. Her positive attitude radiates with the light of a thousand suns. Her eyes sparkle with a fire and determination that is admirable, and her feet smell of a fresh rose patch that she must frequently frolic through. And my heart beats out of my chest every time I'm around her. Even just the thought of being with her for the rest of my life fills me with a joy I have never felt before. If it were to happen, I wouldn't be able to contain my excitement. I would cherish and hold on to her and never let go. We would spend our days at amusement parks, the zoo, our favorite coffee shop, wherever she would want, and we would grow old together, being able to die knowing we had no regrets because we were together. Hypothetically speaking, of course, in the event in which I was some sort of liberal simp, which I am not. Oy vey Ben, you are something else. And damn it, Hunter, if I weren't a socialist, I'd tell you to go find your own candy. But here you go. <clears throat> would you look at that? That must have been some sort of special candy, Bernie, because Hunter really liked it. He's bringing the box back for us. Damn it, I planted that crack-laced candy hoping that Bernie would eat it. Hunter is ruining my plan. Thank you, Hunter. We appreciate it. So, Bill, what do we need to do here? First things first, you have to build the gallows. Gallows? You mean like a noose? Correct. Scour the area for parts, and you should see the place to build it by the town's courthouse. Oh, shit, this is heavy. Guys, I just got one of these wonder weapons. Well, that ought to be useful for our mission. Let's hope it's better than that shitty jet gun from that town. Not hard to improve on garbage. I mean, that thing nearly got me killed. The only time wind energy has ever let me down. This thing is pretty awesome so far. It seems to slow the zombies down before killing them. I uh, can't figure out how to reload it, though. That's because it has infinite ammo, Alex. This thing is overpowered as fuck. That's not even the best part. It has one other feature, but you'd have to be a real fool to think I'd tell you traitors. I found the gallows, so we just need to find parts and add them on. Well, I've been doing a bit of building myself, and it seems like that death trap from China is here, too. I hope you don't plan on hanging one of us here, Bill. I'm building another crazy device. This really goes to show the power of recycling. We're turning trash into machines that are going to aid us in saving the universe. Okay, whatever, Captain Planet. Man, this old house looks creepy as hell. My eyes must be playing tricks on me because I swore it looked like someone was standing in the window. Don't be ridiculous. There's no way anyone is still alive in this town. Also, I think I finished adding all the pieces to the gallows. What now, Mr. President? Excellent work, my comrade. Next, you must use the subsurface resonator, which is the new device that Alexandria has masterfully crafted to destroy four orbs around the town. A couple of them are pretty hard to find, so get to looking. Well, guys, I still really have to take a shit. I've been holding it in for the past few days, and I need to go. So against my better judgment, I'm going to go inside this creepy house and take a dump somewhere. I doubt anyone will mind. This looks like a good spot. Ooh, now what is this? Looks like a useful piece of equipment. Five minutes later. Ah, much better. Ah! Did you guys hear that? Alex must have gotten his wiener stuck on his zipper or something. Let me go see if he's okay. Alex, you in here, buddy? Hello, anyone there? This is my house. Who said that? Oh shit, a real live ghost. What on earth? What are these things and where did they come from? Run, Alexandria. I'm being chased by spooky specters. Just shoot them, Bernie. They go down like everything else we've dealt with. You've got some real hootspa kid shooting a ghost like that. It worked, though, but they still keep coming. I think that's the last of them. We should probably avoid that mansion at all costs. That witch bitch or ghost or whatever doesn't like intruders. I mean, me relieving myself on her floor probably didn't do us any favors. Damn it. That ghost took all my money. 
Uh, Bernie, I'm sure you have millions stashed away in your bank account. Cool it with the anti-Semitic remarks, Alex. I appear to be lost in some sort of maze. Ben, I hear your voice. Where are you? Don't worry, Alexandria. Your white knight in shining armor has arrived. All right, lovebirds, I found one of these orbs President Clinton mentioned. Bring that doohickey over here. Good job. Just three more to go. Looks like we have to go back through the haunted mansion to make it to the town. Get to looking for the last three orbs. Everyone, I'm ready to be done with this quest of ours. Found one. Let's blow this sucker up with that subsurface resonator thingy. There we go, just two more. Good job, guys. <coughs> Alex, are you feeling okay? You can't be getting sick on us now. Uh, don't worry, guys, I'm fine. Looks like your trip to China wasn't without consequence. What are you going to do, Alex, when your house of cards comes tumbling down? They'll find out eventually that you have COVID, that you didn't get the vaccine, and they'll kill you for it. I won't let that happen. They'll understand, they trust me now. You'll see, Alex. And you'll wish you listened to me. Bill is leading you towards certain doom. Okay, another orb has been located. Time to destroy it. Like how I destroy liberal college students with blue hair. And now to destroy this final orb. I swear this subsurface resonator thingy is too noisy. It's damn near busted my eardrums. Excellent work, my friends. We are one step closer to separating Donald from the ether and setting this world right. I hope so, Bill. All these random steps and fighting off hordes of zombies can't have been for nothing. So what's next? Floating around the town will be a purple lantern. You must knock it down and feed it souls of zombies killed by Hunter. Time to let Hunter back out of his cage then. There's the lantern. Ah, damn it, it teleported. Let's find it again. The lantern has been secured. Now we must coax Hunter into killing these undead flesh sores. I think giving him the crack candy would be the best course of action. Eat up, big fella. Now, can you please help us destroy these zombies? He's going sicko mode on these zombies, but I'm surrounded. Help! Off your keister, Alex. Guess it's a good thing the rest of us have the ray gun Mark II. Ah, uh, yes. The lantern has been charged with sufficient souls. Bring it to the roof of the blacksmith building immediately. Headed there now, Bill. But what for, exactly? This next part will be a bit tricky. You will see a code on the wall. The code tells you the order, that you must melee some signs in the tunnels above, using the Galva Knuckles. I see it. How do we decipher it? I'm not sure to be honest. I'll leave that to you to figure out. Actually, now that I'm looking at it a bit closer, it does slightly resemble Hebrew writing. Maybe me and Bernie can translate it. I can't read Hebrew, Ben. I'm not as in tune with my Jewish heritage as you are. That explains why you caucus with the party that hates Israel so much. So fine, I'll do it myself. It's pretty nice that the ghost lady drops us one of those perk bottle thingies. I got this new perk earlier. It gives me like supervision or something because I can see where everything is through the damn walls. I noticed the same thing too. And it also appears like it makes the zombies drop little amounts of money and ammo occasionally. Oh, and also I translated the code. That's great, Ben. You know, I think a man with an intellect is super sexy. Oh, r really? Well, it was nothing, honestly. Will you two stop flirting? Bill, what do we do now? I don't want to listen to this shit anymore. Neither do I. Before malaying the final sign, you must place down a time bomb. It is the device that Bernie acquired from the magic box earlier. This device allows you to rewind time to a set point. After malaying the last sign, a wisp will appear. You must lead it to the gallows, feeding it zombie souls along the way. This step must be done twice, hence the use of the time bomb. You mean Bernie's been carrying around a pocket-sized time machine this whole time? Well, if anything goes haywire, I guess we can use it to save our skin. You know, I totally just realized this is just like that movie, The Daily Wire produced with Gina Carano after the Wokies over at Disney fired her. That movie was horrible low-budget trash, Benjamin. You should be ashamed for working with her after her insensitive comments, especially as a Jew. And this is nothing like that, though I presume zombies would have made the film much more interesting. Guys, can you stop arguing? We need to complete the next step ASAP if we want to go home. We should all make our way to the tunnel so we're ready for when this wisp appears. Here we go, Bernie. Throw down the time bomb. There it is. Follow the wisp. It's moving fast. Just keep killing the zombies. This thing is hungry for souls. After them. Feast on their wretched flesh. Feel the burn, you undead maggot addicts. Just a little further. The gallows are just up ahead. 
We did it. Now rinse and repeat. Well, here goes nothing. Holy shit, we actually traveled back in time. Well, don't get too excited, Bernard. There's the wisp again. Looks like it's taking the same path. This should be a piece of cake. Almost there, guys. Keep fighting. This insane escort quest has been completed. What's next on your laundry list of increasingly insane tasks, Bill? Well, this next step is a real doozy, probably the most convoluted of them all. I cannot begin to emphasize how much cooperation is going to be required. It's a good thing we all work so well together. Oh, we're screwed. Don't lose hope yet, Alex. We have overcome some impossible odds together. We make an unlikely team. Damn right we do. We're a ragtag group of zombie-slaying, multiverse-saving heroes. That's the spirit, my corporeal friends. So, let me get to explaining then. In the haunted house, there will be a switchboard with lights. Each row of lights corresponds to a room around the town. In each room will be three bells. Each bell corresponds to a light on the switchboard when rung. Three of you will have to wait at these bells and figure out which light on the switchboard they correspond to. The person inside the mansion will have to activate the switchboard, which will begin a sort of Simon Says-like game. One at a time, a bulb on the switchboard will glow, and whatever bell that light corresponds to will need to be rung. You must do this a few times. Coordination is key. Please tell me I'm not the only one who is completely lost. It's not that complicated. Maybe I should start calling you Sleepy Alex. And just how are we supposed to do all this when we are being swarmed by zombies? I trust that you four will figure it out. Good luck. Wow, so he'll leave us to save the universe on our own, but wouldn't leave that demon Hillary after cheating on her? What the hell? Can't the big guy take one of these runs hostage? Good thinking, AOC. Come here, Hunter. I have some crack with your name on it. I'm sure it's not as good as that stuff you snuck into the White House, but hopefully you like it. Look, he's cradling the crawler like a baby. Say, Alexandria, hypothetically speaking, what if you were to cradle me into your bosom and I called you mommy? And let's also say for the sake of the argument, I wanted some milk. I'm going to just pretend I didn't hear that. Just get to looking for these bells, please. Well, for that atrocious comment, I volunteer baby Ben to be the one to go into the ghost house. I'll do it. I don't fear death. If these ghosts drag me to the afterlife, so be it as long as I can do my part to save the universe. Bernie? Don't worry about me, my dear. Just everyone find your bells. Found one of the sets of bells. Me too. Yep, same here. Aha, this must be that pesky switchboard. Okay, let's do this. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Oh, thank God, we finally did it. Well, we would have been done a long time ago if someone didn't keep screwing it up. <clears throat> Alex? Well, my fucking bad, okay? That shit made no sense to me. Bill explained it horribly. The rest of us understood it just fine, but whatever, it's done. Please tell me we're nearly finished, President Clinton. You shall be delighted to learn that this is the final step. All of your hard work and sacrifice is about to pay off. You must make a wish at the fountain, then all four of you must take position at certain areas of the town. A bunch of targets will begin to appear and you all must shoot them without missing a single one. Oh great, another thing Alex is undoubtedly gonna hold us back on. Shut up, you little twerp. Don't make me run a hit piece about you on InfoWars when we get out of here. Go ahead. I'm not even from the same dimension as you. It won't affect me. Enough, you clowns. We're about to save the entire multiverse. Now is not the time to be arguing. This is our victory lap. We need to focus and work together. Bill, where do we need to be stationed for these targets? In front of the courthouse, inside the saloon, the left side of the ghostly manor, and finally in the barn, looking towards the area where Hunter's cell is. Godspeed, my friends. Headed to the barn. Don't do this, Alex. You are making a grave mistake. Getting into position. All right, make a wish, Ben. Let's do this. Here goes nothing. Oh, snap. There's the targets. I can barely see them. It doesn't help that they move, too. My hands are so shaky. I'm pretty sure I've already missed a couple guys. Well, for once, I can't fully blame you, Alex. I definitely have two. My glasses must be fogging up or something. You must start over. Do it right next time. That's easy for you to say when you're not the one doing it. May I suggest using the paralyzer, Alex? It actually hits the targets very easily. Oh, now you tell me? Fine, I'll try that next time. Well, that was just a test run. Let's run it back. No mistakes this time. Just gotta memorize where these targets are gonna pop up. Easier said than done. 
I think I'm doing a better job than last time, though. Is it weird that part of me thinks this is kind of fun? Bill, you weren't kidding. This thing makes this a cakewalk. Take that, you cowboy target fucks. Old Bernie is too quick on the draw. Sounds like Bernie's having fun, too. Calm down, you communist cowboy. We don't want you having a heart attack. Anyways, is that all of them? Incredible. Y you did it. We can finally rid the world of Donald's evil influence. Everyone make your way to the courthouse. In the back, you'll find a big red button to press. This will completely sever Donald from the ether. We see it, Bill. Hold up, guys. Everyone come here for a second. Why are you wasting time? Go press the damn button. You can wait one more minute, Bill. Jeez. I just wanted to say, despite our differences, we did it. Damn right we did. We made an unlikely team, that's for sure. But I'm glad. Suffice to say, I gained some respect for you two Republicans. You sure gave this old man an adventure to remember forever. And assuming we all go back to our own dimensions after this, Ben, tell her how you really feel. What? I have no idea what you're talking about. Ben, it's so obvious. You'll regret it if you don't do it now. Anything you want to tell me, Ben, I'm all ears. This may be the last time we see each other like this. I know. That's why it hurts so damn much. But Alexandria, I love you ever since I first laid eyes on you, and this whole journey has made me love you even more. If I could, I would return to your dimension instead of my own just to be with you. Ben, that's so sweet. I don't even know what to say, but thank you. That means a whole lot. You're special to me, too. Ah, uh, young love. But guys, we really should get a move on. I'm ready to go home. I need a hot shower and a long nap. You're probably right. Come on, guys. Let's go save the world. Finally, press the button. Do it now. Here we go. Goodbye, Donald. No! <laughs> what the? What's going on? Thank you so much. The ether is now mine to control. Wait, what? I thought we were simply expelling Trump from the ether, not instating you in his place? You were fools to trust me. They don't call me Slick Willie for nothing. Regretfully, I must inform you that neither the Earth nor its people will survive. And by the way, I did have sexual relations with that woman. You monster! Oh dear God, what horrors have we just unleashed upon the universe? My master will surely take notice of this great feat of mine. I will be rewarded again with a paradise the likes of which you could never fathom. Please, my lord, come release your apothecons upon this world. Apothecons? What are those? Alien invaders? Alex, you idiot! I tried so hard to warn you. You've ruined all my fun and games. Ah, uh, Donald. You're still here. Time to rid the world of you once and for all. Damn you, Bill. You'll never get away with this. I believe I already have. Goodbye, Donald, my old friend. Enjoy the blackness of the void. Forever. Oh! Shit, guys. What have we done? We doomed the entire universe. May God have mercy on our souls. Oh, poor Benjamin. I am your god now. Oh dear. Well, that's not good. What is it, Dr. Mani? What's going on? It appears that Bill was not being entirely honest with you. He has completely taken control of the ether. What? He was supposed to restore the Earth. Our daughter probably died when he blew it up. And here I thought you were the crooked one. What about Donald? What happened to him? Well, here's the thing. Bill banished him into nothingness. For all intents and purposes, he's dead. Dead? No, that can't be true. Donald, he sacrificed himself for us. Damn you, Clintons. I will never forgive you. Donald, buddy, you can't be dead. Slow down, fellas. Don't start mourning too soon. After all, I am all-powerful. In case you've forgotten. Are you saying you're going to help us get our friend back? Well, I am going to need him, and all of you for that matter. So we're going to owe you a favor in return for you saving him. Well, you catch on quick. It's not fair that they call you Sleepy Joe. Wait a sec. What's happening? What do you mean, Hill Dog? My body, it feels strange. Oh, God. It's in pain. Someone, please help. What's going on, Dr. Monty? I'm afraid there is no room in my perfect world for loose ends. Goodbye, Hillary. Hillary! Jesus Christ, what did you do to her? 
Simple. I banished her to the void in Donald's place, and Bill is none the wiser. That's fucked up. Even if she caused us a lot of pain, she didn't deserve that. Well, be grateful or don't, I don't care. It's time to talk business. Hold on a second. Where is Donald, then? You did save him, right? He is here with me. In the house. It's going to take a while to purge all the evil from his soul, from his time in the ether. Well, as long as we get the old Donald back. So what do you want from us, Dr. Minty? By this point, I'm sure you know about the multiverse, right? Well, it is a big, twisted, fucked up web. And you four are going to help me untangle it. That seems a bit above our pay grade. I mean, we couldn't even run the country without making some major missteps. And now you're asking us to fix the entire multiverse? Surely there's better candidates for this? It's not like I just pulled your names out of a bloody hat. If there were better candidates for the job, I certainly would have chosen them. But you are the presidential zomboys. Your group exists in every single universe. You four are different, however. Allow me to show you. What is this place? What are all of those orbs? Feast your eyes upon the infinite Earths. Inside each orb, as you call them, is a parallel universe. Amazing. And uh, what's the deal with those two that are floating above the rest? Ah, glad you asked. Those are the original two universes, before this all got out of hand when I gave humans free will to make their own choices. It was just one universe. And from that one universe came another. This second universe was radically different from the first, and from it came every other reality. I have kept the original universe mostly intact. I'm quite proud of it. I keep these two separate from the rest because of their importance. Let me guess, we're from the original universe? Good guess, George, but not quite. You four are actually from the second universe. Every action caused by your world's residents have resulted in a ripple effect across reality. Let me show you just how different each multiverse can be. In one universe, it may be just a slight difference, such as who made the ultimate sacrifice in Alcatraz. Stand back, gentlemen. Bill, you want my blood? Take my blood. However, in every universe that the Alcatraz incident happened, with the exception of yours, of course, the presidential zomboys met their end, as there was no Dark Brandon to come and deal the death blow to Bill. Still not sure where he came from. Crazy to think that could have happened to us. My head hurts. Don't lose focus, Joe. That was a simple example. In other universes, however, the changes are more radical. Uh, guys? That didn't come from my headset. That was real life. Shut up, Cracker. Hold on, I think Kyle is onto something. Holy shit, Trump would love that universe. He'd finally have the past to say what he's been dying to say for years. Please let me switch places with their Obama. I want to be with my own people. Absolutely not. Taking the place of your alternate self would have dire consequences. It could tear apart the fabric of reality. Damn it. There's one last universe I want to show you. You see, in some realities, you aren't even the presidential zomboys. I present to you, the presidential zomgirls. Well, this is unsettling to look at. Damn, George, you'd be looking kind of cute, though. Ah, did little old Georgina catch your eye? No, gross. Both of you just stop talking. He, or she, or whatever, looks exactly like me, just with long hair. Why show us all of this, Monty? What do we have to do? You had to see just how big the universe, or universes, are. Right now, there are four other versions of you that have been separated from their home dimensions. You must secure them for me. They are scattered all across space and time, but with your help, I can set things right. Where have I seen this before? All right, I suppose we'll help, but we need Donald back. It seems like we've reached a deal. Now, there is one other matter I must attend to, if you'll excuse me. Damn it, the freak bags are back! Guys, what do we do? We're completely outnumbered with no way out. There's nothing you can do, I'm afraid. But look at it this way. At least you'll die before the Apothecons come and devour your world. It'll be much more painless. Not sure what an Apothecon is, but I don't like the sounds of it. Damn it, we should have listened to Trump. Uh, I can't believe I'm agreeing with that. Why do you continue to resist, knowing that you cannot beat me? Because we've come too far, damn it! Hello, William. Huh? Who's there? 
Who I am is not important. What matters is what I can do. You see, I don't like when someone messes with my friends. And Donald is a friend of mine. Where are you? I demand you show yourself immediately. What on earth is going on now? Seems like someone has arrived. Someone even Bill doesn't know. Bill, I'm afraid this is where your story ends. And I will make sure it's painful. Nonsense. If I could destroy Trump when he was at maximum power, I can defeat you. Whoever you are. About that. It wasn't Trump you sent to suffer for all eternity. It was your wife. Sorry. Had to kill two birds with one stone, you know? No, th th that's impossible. Listen, Bill. Do you hear it? Deep within the infinite void. Screaming. It's Hillary. Surely you must hear her begging for your help. Though it will never come. Oh no, not my Hillary. You will pay for this, you monster. Mark my words. You think me a monster? Very well. Let me show you how much of a monster I can really be. Goodbye, Mr. President. For good this time. No! I have no idea what just happened, but thank you. So, are you able to send us home now? Yeah, this world is falling apart, and I don't want to be here when all hell really breaks loose. I'm afraid that won't be happening. You four will be staying right where you're at. Wait, what? You can't just leave us here. We're heroes. We were supposed to save the universe. And just who do you think gets to decide that? You? Don't make me laugh. You are not. We're not. And never will be important. You can't do this to us. Have mercy. The time for mercy is over. Enjoy what little of your lives you have left. What just happened? The globalists, they're responsible for this, right? President Trump is going to save us, isn't he? I don't think so, Alex. Ben, please, can you hold me? I'm scared. I have been watching you. Hello? Ah, uh, yes. Is it done, James? Nobody saw you, right? If the press finds out about this, I'm screwed. Good. I'm already on edge with the election coming up this November. If anybody finds out, don't mention me. As far as anyone knows, I knew nothing about this Watergate thing. I have seen each and every one of your misdeeds. I know who you are. Goodbye, John. I had a wonderful night. See you around soon, I hope. Yes, I, uh, will be back, I'm sure. Good night, Marilyn. What have I done? Oh, Jackie, please forgive me. Questions remain. Why do you do the things you do? Why have you sinned? This hostage situation in Lebanon has gone on long enough. What do you propose, sir? Weapons. As we know, the Iranians are fighting the Iraqis. And while publicly we support Iraq, Lieutenant Colonel North has devised a plan to sell weapons to Iran. With Israel's help, Iran will be inclined to help us free the hostages from Hezbollah. Sir, there is no way Congress would ever agree to that. Screw the sissy Congress. You haven't even heard the real kicker yet. Since those Democrats want to block money for our allies in Nicaragua, all for just a teensy bit of cocaine, might I add, we'll use the profits from the weapons to fund the Contra's efforts. Sir, this is highly immoral, illegal at worst. Maybe so, but old Ronald Reagan won't bow down to the commies. North and others have already promised to take the fall if things go south. They'll get a pardon if it comes to that. Now let's get to work. We've got some money to make and hostages to free. My fellow Americans, today I am announcing my intention to sign this Omnibus Budget Reconciliation Act. I know this isn't what a lot of you want to hear. Taxes will undoubtedly increase for the lower and middle class, but this is a necessary provision for keeping the federal government up and running. I know you will be able to shoulder this burden God bless you all, and may God bless America. God, what was I thinking? Read my lips, I said. No new taxes, I promised. Now look at me. My reputation is going to be ruined, and the people will suffer. 
Only through me, the Shadow Man, will you find your redemption. Welcome, my friends, to Morgue City. Morgue City? Shadow Man, just what the hell is this place? And what are we wearing? I will be happy to answer all of your questions. After all, you've earned it. This city holds an artifact of immense power. You must retrieve it, then use it to stop the Keepers from taking hold of your world. As for what you're wearing, I thought it best for you to blend in with your surroundings. After all, this is the year 1944. And because Mr. Nixon required a change of underwear. Geez, we almost got hit by a rocket. Cut a guy some slack. But, uh, you're saying we've traveled back in time? And to the 40s, no less. Back then, we were all doing our part to end World War II. Good times? Guess it's just our destinies to save the world. And look fly as hell while doing it. I'm glad to see everyone in such high spirits. But we must stay vigilant. The Keepers will attempt to thwart your mission at every turn. They can try. We'll just send them packing back home to the dark ether. Hold up, fellas. Take a look at this. There's some sort of strange branding on my hand. There's one on mine, too. Same here. Shadow Man, what is this? Ah, I was wondering when you'd notice. You are chosen. You are marked. You are cursed. Cursed? What the hell do you mean by that? You didn't think I just chose you for randomly, did you? I mean, yeah, kind of. So if that's not the case... Then why were we chosen for this? In order for the rituals needed to defeat the Keepers to work, I had to choose four who had been tainted by sin. Your connections to each other due to the shared experience of being president made you perfect candidates. Whoa, now slow down there, Shadow Man. What do you mean by... Rituals? I'm not too keen on the idea of having to do some voodoo bullshit. And what does sin have to do with anything... Everybody sins. You will see in due time. Don't worry. These rituals will be completely harmless for you. Then what about this mark on our hands? What is the purpose of it? The mark of the beast. The beast? Are you saying Satan has his twisted hands on us? I don't know if I trust you, Shadow Man. Friends, you were cursed long before I met you. The curse has only lied dormant until now. Touching the nearby stone will cause you to take the shape of the beast. Is that figuratively or literally? Cause I'm used to going beast mode, especially on Marilyn Monroe. Never change, Jack. But it sounds to me like Shadow Man means an actual literal transformation. Correct. But do not be alarmed when you change form. It will be necessary to uncover the secrets of this city. You'll see what I mean. Good luck, my friends. Well, we better get to looking for this artifact then. Hopefully it sticks out. Oh shit, guys. Look behind you. Oh, no, not more zombies. Nothing we can't handle. And check this out. Looks like Shadow Man provided us with some revolvers, too. Well, we know what we need to do. Let's get to killing these undead bastards. You bear the mark. You are cursed. You must use your hand upon the stone. All right, guys. Keep an eye out for some sort of artifact. It'd be nice if you described it for us, Shadow Man. I'm just telling you guys right now. I am not going to be the first one to turn into this beast thing. The artifact you seek is nearby. However, you must invoke the beast to retrieve it. Doesn't sound like we have much of a choice, gentlemen. Let's get to exploring. We have a lot of ground to cover by the looks of it. Guess I'll bite the bullet and touch the stone. Here goes nothing. Holy shit! George turned into some sort of squid monster! You mean I'm gonna have to turn into that? Great. Couldn't just have a normal life, could you, Dick? Anyways, uh, I think I found the artifact Shadow Man was talking about. The object before you, Richard, is the summoning key. It is the most powerful artifact in this or any other dimension. Uh, what a trip. I did feel pretty powerful, though. I don't trust Richard with something this important, so I'll hold on to it! 
What's next, Shadow Man? You must explore the unexplored. Well, that's totally not vague as fuck. Hmm. What is this gumball machine doing here? Dr. Monty, huh? Yummy. Though not as good as my jelly beans that I love oh so much. You always did have a bit of a sweet tooth, Ronnie. So, where and how are we supposed to start these rituals? There are four ritual sites around the city. Though they were not originally meant for you. But the fact that you have sinned is enough for them to work. There you go again, mentioning sin. What's up with that? You know of which I speak. Your sins have allowed others to tear their way into this world. And if they manage to completely corrupt this dimension, then yours will be next. No way am I just gonna let some otherworldly horrors take over my world! What do we need to do to start these rituals? There are four objects that tie each of you to your world. These items must be placed on an altar. So we're expected to do all of this on top of killing these freak bags? Great. And just where are these objects that you speak of? The mark of the beast is the key to finding the objects you're looking for. Well, looks like it's back into that horrifying Lovecraftian monster form for us. Oh, and what is this thing? Oh shit, it's that magic box from before. It sure did get a bit of a redesign though. Very creepy. What is this? A fumigator? Maybe we can use it on these nasty plant things that I've noticed. Damn it, Box! Again with the sniper rifle? Ever since I learned about that Lee Harvey Oswald fella's failed assassination attempt on me, sniper rifles have made me very uncomfortable. Uh, anything I need to know before turning into that squid abomination shadow man? I'm glad you asked, Richard. As the beast, you can harness electricity to power various things around the city. And use your tentacles to grapple onto high places destroy anything standing in your way. Good to know. Guess I'll give it a try. Looks like Dick has opened up a new path for us. Yes. The first ritual site is now available. Just gotta find one of our items, I suppose. I got your back, Ronald. Don't let yourself get surrounded again. It's not good. Especially in your old age. Ronald Raygun can handle himself just fine. Do not resort to petty squabbles, my friends. Hey, that's my line. You must find access to the Ruby Rabbit. Inside, there is a ritual site. And nearby is one of the objects needed. On it. Jack, is something the matter? Your mind seems troubled. It's about what you said earlier. How our sins are responsible for this mess. My guilty conscience feels even worse now. Oh, Mr. President, do not fret. Through me, the Shadow Man. May you find your redemption. I sure hope so. I can't forgive myself yet for my infidelity. What the hell's happening now? Watch the skies. The Keepers are unleashing their twisted parasites. Parasites? What do you mean by that? Ah! Giant scary bees! These things are more trouble than a Democrat-controlled Congress. It's a good thing the box has some killer weaponry inside it. Seems even more futuristic than the options we had at Nuketown. Looks like that's the last of those annoying little flying bastards for now. Let's get to opening up the rest of this city. My turn to go beast mode. While Ronald does that, I'm gonna look around a bit. What's this, an audio tape? Oh shit, what the hell are those things? The Keepers have arrived. Destroy them before they twist this world even further. That's all of them. But what did they want with that audio tape? I know, this is a tape of me talking about Watergate. I shouldn't have installed those listening devices in the Oval Office. Now is your chance to repent for your crimes, Richard. When you are ready, begin the ritual at the nearby altar. That transformation is actually pretty badass. The zombies can't even touch us when we're like that. Maybe we should start calling you Mr. Beast then, Ronald. I just opened some sort of boxing gym while in beast mode. Well, I guess that's good if we want to bulk up in the middle of this nightmare. The boxing gym is one of the ritual sites. Find the item you seek. Then place it at the altar. 
quickly. I think I found it. It looks to be a copy of the bill I signed that increased taxes. What's this about? That item is what ties you to your world, to your sin. What the fuck is that? Guys, better give me a hand. There's a three-headed squid monster headed our way. Jesus H. Christ, Ronald wasn't kidding. Destroy the Margois' heads when the mouth is open. But that is the only way to defeat them. These things make me think of that weird tentacle hentai stuff the Prime Minister of Japan told me about. It was so gross, I puked all over him when we were having dinner. I don't even want to know what that is, George. This thing is one tough bastard, though. Die, you bastard! I think that did it. Oh, gross. Is that the creature's heart? And did you just pick it up, Dick? Well, it looked pretty important. Who knows? Could come in handy. Your ritual item is nearby, John. Do you sense it? Yes, I think so. The guilt of my sin permeates the air. Soon you will be free of your obsession. The reason behind your shame. Oh, thank you, Shadow Man. I can't take this anymore. Uh, anyone else getting a bit worried about John? I keep hearing him muttering to himself. He seems to be taking this harder than the rest of us. I noticed that too. Also, we haven't heard from that other voice since we got here either. The British one. Yeah, that doctor guy? Just another twist in this never-ending puzzle. This wig, it belonged to Marilyn. What is this doing here? You know why. Take it to the altar, John. It is in the burlesque. I suppose all that's left is for me to find my item. Better get to looking. Oh no, what now? Please tell me no more of those flying fucks. Even worse, Dick! Living meatballs! Well, I'll never eat spaghetti the same way again. This is scary enough to make me go vegan! Dick, there is nothing more un-American than a vegan. Don't make us have to kill you. I think that's the last of them for now. I think I found my ritual item. Looks like a bar of gold. Not just any gold, Reagan. That is Colonel Oliver North's gold that he buried during the Iran-Contra affair. I thought that was just an urban legend. But I see, I'm here because of that whole scandal. So doing this ritual will wipe my sin clean and help to save the universe? That is correct. Place the object on the altar. Here goes nothing. Your sacrifice has been chosen. Let the ritual begin. Wait, sacrifice? You never said anything about a sacrifice. What's going on here? Ollie, is that you? Mr. President, what the fuck is this? Shadow Man, let him go. The ritual cannot be stopped. A sacrifice must be made. This is inhumane. He has no part in this. Please, let this just be a bad dream. Guess I'll do this ritual. Oh shit, what the... More keepers. Dad, is that you? What's going on here? Jeb, my son. Shadow Man, what is this? Why is my son here? Only through punishment can your sins be forgiven. This is the only way to stop the Keeper's dark work. Dad, what is he talking about? Where are we? Hold on, Jeb. I'll get you out of this. Well, this place is all kinds of weird. Whoever this Nero guy is certainly like looking at himself. Oh, well, uh, I guess I gotta start this ritual. I have a bad feeling about this. What the? Oh, help me, Mommy, I'm under attack by more Keepers! Hold on, is that Jerry? Richard, is that you? What on earth is going on? I have no clue, Shadow Man, start talking. Your poor Vice President here has been chosen. Chosen for what exactly? To be sacrificed. Sacrificed? Oh, Lord, please help me. Leave him out of this. He had nothing to do with Watergate. There's no turning back now, I'm afraid. Your time is nearly up, Vice President Ford. Please, no. Richard, you have to do something. Let's do this. Please, let my sins be forgiven. Where am I? What's going on? That voice. Marilyn, is that you? John, what have you gotten me into? I... I don't know. Shadow Man, why is she here? I told you, John. Your sins will be cleansed. A sacrifice is required. Sacrifice? You mean you're gonna... Kill her? She did this to herself by seducing you, trying to ruin your marriage. Don't listen to him, John. Y you're right. She's the cause of all my pain. I'll never forgive myself as long as she's still around, holding our secret. No, that's not true. He you wanted it just as badly as I did. Quiet, you bitch. I will finally be free of the temptation. That's it. Embrace it, John. 
You are about to become a changed man. Oh God, please no! Ah! Gerald! What have I done? Take the gate worm. It must be brought to the sacred place for the final ritual. I've about had it with these rituals. I don't want any more innocent blood to be shed. It was his life, or the entire universe's dick. Remember that. Oh God, Dad, please help. Ah! Son! You can mourn later. Grab the gate worm and regroup. Damn you, Shadow Man, you son of a bitch. You never told us we'd have to sacrifice someone we knew. That was my son. Sacrifices are always necessary. Think of the bigger picture. You never would have agreed to help if I told you your son would die. Look on the bright side. At least it was Jeb and not George Jr. Two words, fuck you. I just want to get this crazy mission over with so I don't have to deal with you anymore. Damn it. Oliver North, you were a true American hero. And perhaps because of me, you're dead. I don't understand how sacrificing him atones for my sin. In fact, it's made things worse. John, please, think of our times together. Sorry, Marilyn. This is your end. <coughs> Jesus, that was brutal, but she got what she deserved. If only your compatriots saw things the same way you did. Now take the worm to the sacred place. Oh, Jack, am I glad to see you again. Were you subjected to that same torture of having to sacrifice someone? Torture? That was a reawakening! What? You can't be serious! Back me up here, guys! John, I think you need help. I mean, my own son died right in front of me. Is anyone else getting a bad feeling about all of this? I've never felt better! Now let's bring these slimy worms to this sacred place. And no, I don't mean you Republicans. Where to, Shadow Man? I'm sure you have seen portals near where your ritual items were located. These will take you to the sacred place underneath your feet. Well, let's get to looking, boys. I suspect our quest is nearing its end. At least I hope it is anyways. Found one of these portals, I think? Let's do this, everyone in. I'll never get used to teleportation. Look out, more keepers. That's all of them. Let's go do this final ritual. What is this place? Complete the ritual. The Game Worm's energy must be released. I was tired of carrying this disgusting creature anyways. What's that? Footprints on the wall? Shit, zombies incoming. Oh, please let this work. Holy crap, I'm actually running on the wall. Watch your back, Kennedy. These three are beginning to doubt you. I suspect they may want to get rid of you once this is done. No, they wouldn't. These are my friends. Surely you feel their judgmental gaze. All because you cleansed your soul free of sin. For the sake of the universe, might I add. They think they're better than you. I... I don't know what to think anymore. John, stop with the talking to yourself. Let's end things here and now. I'm ready to go home. Now, you must place the summoning key on the table. Look out, guys. Things are about to get crazy. More of these Keeper guys. Fight back, gentlemen. This is their final assault. Do not fail here. We won't let you down, Shadow Man. Not after everything you've done for us. Yeah, he only lied to us about having to kill our friends or family. A real swell guy he is. Your service to the Overlords is appreciated. Wait. What? Overlords? Shadow Man, what are you talking about? Our complete assimilation of this dimension will now proceed. Yours will soon follow. I knew we shouldn't have trusted him, you bastard. I, I killed my son just to hasten our own demises. Let's just kill this beast first, then we'll come up with a game plan. All right, it's dead. Now let's figure this out. Shadow Man, why have you done this? What is your goal? I don't owe you lesser beings an explanation, but to humor you before you begin an eternity of suffering. I represent a group called the Apothecons. I am their harbinger, marking their arrival to different dimensions to consume. So all of this was just an elaborate scheme to take over different dimensions? But why us? Out of all the people in the world, you pulled us from our own timelines. Why? It is true that I needed four who had sinned. 
The rituals require a sacrifice. Who better to manipulate than four corrupt politicians? I... I completely agree. Our world is undeserving to continue. What the fuck are you talking about, John? I have been freed of my sins. We have to do the same for everyone else. Apothecan rule is the only way. Hmm. Interesting. Most mortals don't understand how meaningless their lives truly are. But I've noticed you are different, John. You are more open-minded than most. Luckily for you, I've been in search for a new acolyte. The last one was also a Democrat president, who got himself killed by my mortal enemy. Jack, you can't seriously be considering this? We served in Congress together for crying out loud. I submit to you, Shadow Man, my master. Very good. Now once we finish assimilating this world, we move on to yours. Jack, no! Damn you, Shadow Man! Where did you take him? He is with us now, serving a new authority. Mark my words, we will stop you. It appears I was too late. Well, look who finally decided to join us. We could have used your help. Now look what's happened. I was busy dealing with more important matters. I trusted that you four would have listened to me and not trusted the guy who calls himself the bloody Shadow Man. Please tell us there's a way to fix this. There just might be hope for your world. It's going to be significantly harder now that you're a man down. I knew I should have killed Kennedy myself. But what would that have accomplished? As you know, Kennedy did not die in Dallas as he was supposed to. He broke the cannon. He was essentially living past his expiration date, which can have dire effects on the individual. Well, he has been acting strange lately. He was more susceptible to the Shadow Man's influence. Well, if you want any chance of survival, I'd suggest pack-a-punching your guns with the portal behind you. Time to see what this little fella in a jar can do real quick. How adorably badass. I might just take one home as a pet. So what do we need to do first? See that big wooden crate in front of you? Invoke the beast, then smash it to bits. Inside is a statue that we'll need to use later. I'll get right on that. Reagan, smash! What's this? Behind that wall are powerful weapons that you will need. But first, you must find the code. In the city, there is a tram you can ride. Keep an eye out while riding it, and you will find the symbols needed to gain access. Holy shit, look up in the sky. What is that thing? I don't know, but it's one ugly son of a bitch. Kind of like Jimmy Carter. Guys, I think I found the tram this British doctor guy was talking about. Be right there, Dick. I swore I heard talking from here, though. What is this, another portal? Hello? Can anyone hear us? Huh? Who's there? Guys, someone is there. Hello, stranger. This strange rift opened in front of us. It doesn't seem like we can travel through it, but we can communicate at least. Wait. You're the twerp who locked the bunker at Nuketown. My name is Ben. My cohorts with me are Bernie, Alex, and Alexandria. We have been stranded in another dimension, and we are desperate for a way out. Huh. <laughs> that makes two of us, kid. Let me talk to him. I don't know who you are, but sounds like we're in a similar situation. If I had to guess, somehow the Bush Dynasty and Rhino Establishment is behind this. Hold on. Did you say Bush Dynasty? Ignore my crazy friend here, sir. We really have no idea who's behind our imprisonment here. Any information on your situation would be much appreciated. Maybe we can learn something. That depends. Are you all experiencing a Lovecraftian nightmare right now, too? Nothing like that, I'm afraid. I knew this was just a false hope. Cease your communications with them at once, George. Wait, that voice. That's him. He's the one who... That's quite enough from you. Let me guess, you're not gonna tell me what that was about. Trust me, George. Some questions are best left unanswered. Everyone, get on the tram. Keep an eye out for those symbols. Oh, there's one. Looks like an arrow, a line, and another arrow. Looks like the tram has to cool down for a moment. So, Dr. Voice in the Air, why don't you properly introduce yourself? Very well. I suppose you've earned that much. My name is Dr. Monty. Would you happen to be one of those Keeper guys? I fight on their behalf, yes. The great war between Apothecons and Keepers has waged for eons. The Shadow Man used to be a friend of mine, but he's been twisted by the Dark Aether. Now he uses dark magic to do his overlord's bidding. Feeding on people's misery and sins to corrupt worlds. 
John's infidelity, Richard's Watergate scandal, Reagan's Iran-Contra affair, and Bush's raising of taxes, for example. Mine seems way less bad than everyone else's. I mean, I didn't even write the bill that raised taxes. Actually, yours is the worst of them all. Because of what you did, you lost the election to Bill Clinton. He becomes a multiversal threat that is a real pain in the ass to deal with. And who do you think has to clean up that mess? Hmm? Silly me, I should have anticipated the future president becoming capable of destroying worlds before I signed that bill. Enough of the back and forth. There's the next symbol. You just saw the last one. Let's go enter them in that underground passage. Whoa, are those swords? Before you can use the swords, you must fill the eggs at the four statues. Ah, so that's what these are about. What are we filling them with? Souls of the undead. Just slay zombies around the statue until your egg begins to glow. I don't like how the statue is moving. That's probably the least strange thing I've seen today. Oh, I think my egg is done. Now to find the next statue. Look at this, Richard. I found a strange little fuse. You know, I think I saw a fuse box in the train station down below earlier. Uh, maybe we can put it there. Damn it, Ronald. Why are you at the same statue as me? Go find your own. I was here first. What a surprise, Bush trying to copy Reagan. You all sure argue a lot, despite being from the same political party. I'd hate to see the nest these giant scary wasps crawled out of. We're almost done filling up our eggs at each statue. I'm ready to get this sword and see the kind of damage it can do. My egg is finished, but I'm fucking surrounded. Grabbing my sword. Holy shit, this is badass. No kidding. Let's see what this thing can do. That's not even its final form. You must now upgrade it to the Keeper Sword. Well, how do we do that? Let me guess. It's overly complicated. But of course. You need to return to the ritual sites. A Keeper will await and give you the Arch Ovum. Take this to the different red circles around the city where you must fight off Margwas. After all four circles have been completed, return to the Keeper, where it will grant you the upgraded sword. Found him. He's looking pretty transparent, though, not like the Democrats who lie about everything. Okay, pretty sure I saw a big red circle out here. Tear them apart, my Margua. Time to slice and dice. Come here, you big ugly bastard. Got the arch ovum. Just looks like another egg to me. And stay down. That's the first one down. Time to find the others. All right, big guy. Prepare to get torn down like the Berlin Wall. Damn, this shotgun just melted him. Good job, Ronald. That totally makes up for your war on drugs. Actually, Dick is the one who started that. Hey, don't throw me under the bus. Anyways, grabbing this arch oval or whatever it's called. Catch up, Richard. I'm already on my second circle. I just realized something, Dr. Monty. You're the guy who made those yummy gumballs. The one and only. I'm glad you like my balls in your mouth, Ronald. And now I'm never going to eat a gumball again. I'll just stick to jelly beans. I feel like a fucking samurai with this. I'm invincible. I can't be vinced. Hold on, is vincing even a thing? Don't think so, but I feel equally as overpowered with this ray gun. Oh, I also found some weird tentacle and green egg looking things earlier. Think they might be useful? Take those items to a crafting table. You can make an all-powerful Apothecon weapon that will surely turn the tide of battle. I will right after I deal with these final Margwas. Why do you fools resist? Join your friend Kennedy. Submit to your new masters. We'll never join you, and we will save John. Monty, I got the Keeper Sword. Good job, Bush Senior. The rest of you, hurry up. Working on it. You can't rush perfection. Just built this weird-looking thing. Is it alive? Ooh, fisting an alien squid gun was so not on my bucket list. But damn does it deliver. This thing shoots black fucking holes. If you could keep the talk of fisting and black holes to a minimum, I'd appreciate it, George. Both of you be quiet. Also, just grab my upgraded sword. Just taking out the last of these beasts and I'll be good to go. All right, got it. Well, that was tedious as fuck. What's next, Dr. Monty? In the subway below, you will find a flag. You must plant this flag at spots bursting with electricity around each of the ritual sites, charging it. Once it has been charged enough, you must bring it to each ritual site. You must not let the flag be destroyed, however, or you will have to restart. Sounds simple enough, but I presume the Shadow Man and his lackeys won't let us do that without putting up a fight. They don't know who they're messing with, though. Not even a bullet to the chest can keep the Gipper down. Oh, 
I almost forgot to mention there is a spell book in Nero's lair that you must touch first. This will lower the flag for you to pick up. I think I found it. Well, this definitely isn't a regular book. There you go. Now head to the underground area. There's the flag, guys. My friends, it's not too late to repent. Join me with the Shadow Man. It is so much better here. Damn it, John. We're going to save you. Everyone follow me. All hell is about to break loose. Plant the flag, Ronald. Like when the astronauts planted the flag on the moon during my presidency. Monty, I should have known you were helping these fools out. No matter. This dimension is already ours. You are powerless to stop us. This dimension may be lost, but that doesn't mean theirs is. That's right. We will die fighting to defend our world from the likes of you. This Keeper Sword is a huge upgrade over the original. A smaller sword is flying around killing these things. Good work. The flag is ready to be picked up. Take it to the next spot. You installed those fuses earlier, right, Dick? Activate the panel on the wall for some extra support. What the? A robot? I thought we were in the 1940s. Well, he seems armed and dangerous, so he better be ready to kick ass. Grab the flag. Let's bring it to the Ruby Rabbit. Good job. Now you have to do that three more times. All right, let's do this. We're gonna beat you, Shadow Man. You may try, but you stand no hope. Really? Because it looks like we're crushing your forces like how I crush socialist workers' unions. There you go. Bring the flag to the ritual site. Here you go, Mr. Keeper. Time to become whole again. Uh, guys? There's a Margwa headed our way. Is that supposed to scare us? We've killed a dozen already between us. Grabbing the flag, let's head to the waterfront district. I think when we get home, I should write a book about our adventures. What do you guys think? Well, the story is so ridiculous it just might take off. But, um, don't quit your day job. Oh, wait, that's exactly what you end up doing. Well, my vice president was kind of sacrificed earlier, so I can't really quit anytime soon. Grabbing this flag for the last time, let's show the Shadow Man that U.S. presidents are not to be trifled with. Do not let them pass. Tear their flesh from their bodies. Keep pushing. We are so close. Treat this flag like our mighty American one and don't let it fall. Very inspiring, Mr. President. Show the Apothecans what America is really made of. Let's go. This is the final ritual site. Okay, now what, Dr. Monty? You must confront the Shadow Man in the sacred place. The Keepers will be there to help you defeat him. Come at me. You stand no chance of defeating me. All right, guys. You all ready to do this? As ready as I'll ever be. Let's show these Apothecons what happens when they illegally invade our country. Well, to be fair, Ronald, you did provide amnesty to a fuck ton of illegal immigrants. Maybe you're not the best to comment on that. Focus, gentlemen. You will need to work together to defeat the Apothecarchicons. The Keepers are here. Show yourself, Shadow Man. Very well. Prepare to meet your demise. What do we do, Dr. Monty? Trapping the Shadow Man inside the summoning key is the only way to stop him at this point. Work with your Keeper allies to send him towards the key. Stop! You all don't know what you're doing! Embrace the chaos! John, this isn't you. We will free you from this demon's grasp. You cannot save him. He belongs to us now. Not if we have anything to say about it. He's got some sort of shield around him. Only the Keepers can break through his defenses. Once he is vulnerable, you must send him to the altar. Got it. You are making a grave error, trusting Monty. You really think he'll let you leave if you somehow manage to defeat me? I don't know who to trust anymore, but what I do know is that you have corrupted my friend. For that you will pay! Corrupted? I saved him. He would have died if I didn't transport you four to Siberia. Spending the rest of eternity like a brainwashed mindless liberal is not saving someone. 
Why are their keepers attacking us too? They have been corrupted by the Dark Aether and now serve the Apothecans. Look! The keepers are attacking the Shadow Man! His shield is down! Shoot the fuck out of him. Take this for all of the people whose lives you've destroyed. Wait! What are you doing? You are but mortals! We actually did it. He's dead. Congratulations, my friends. I knew you could do it. From now on, I'll only be voting Republican. You guys know how to get shit done. All in a day's work. And to think the media calls me a crook. If only they saw old Tricky Dick now. So what now, Monty? Can we go home? Uh, just come back up top. I have something waiting for you. Well, the sky is still fucked up. I guess this dimension really is screwed. What is it that's waiting for us? A way home, I hope? Not yet. First, I need something from you. Who the hell are you? My name is Donald J. Trump, 45th and soon to be 47th president. I believe we've met. Ah, oh, Mr. Trump, you're the guy from the closet in Siberia. Nice to finally meet face to face. But wait, I thought you had taken control of the zombies when we were in Nuketown. I wish I had time to explain. Just know that your son is okay, and you'd be proud if you knew of the mission he was about to undertake. But anyways, I must be taking this. The summoning key, what do you need it for? I really must be going. Thank you. And I'm sorry. Why did he apologize? Normally, this would be the part where I leave you to die here. But I must admit, I do like you guys, so I at least want to explain things. Leave us to die here? What the hell are you talking about? Uh, what happened? John, you, you're alive. You were under the Shadow Man's evil influence. But we saved you. Monty was just about to start explaining things. I see. It's like this, boys. There is no way for you to leave this dimension. You knew the entire damn time, didn't you? You just made us do your dirty work and then planned on discarding us like trash. We're really going to die here, aren't we? I am sorry, but there's nothing I can do. Hmm, unless... Unless what? Spill the beans. You don't have a teleporter, unfortunately. That's how Donald came and left the dimension. But there is a way I can open a rift back to your homes. Please, you must help us, Monty. We literally saved the universe for you. Okay, but it won't be without consequence. There is an ancient Keeper ritual used for traveling dimensions before we really nailed down interdimensional travel with teleportation. This ritual requires a blood sacrifice. The amount of blood needed to just teleport one of you is about a quarter of what a human being holds. Do the math. You mean to say one of us is going to have to sacrifice themselves? No way. I won't let that happen. We can't possibly make that choice. It's either that or all of you die here, Dick. Damn it. I'll do it. George, are you sure? You're talking about giving up your life for us. I've already lost one of my sons today. I don't have much else. No, it has to be me. No way, Jack. We just got you back. Look at all of this chaos. I'm partially to blame. I served the Shadow Man, pushed forward his dark agenda. Monty was right in what he said earlier. I am living past when I was meant to. Who knows what else could happen if I continue living? Please let me redeem myself. Let me set things right for you, my friends. Huh. Looks like you're not all bad, Kennedy. You can be selfless. Very well. The sacrifice has been chosen. I will try and make it as painless as possible. The rest of you, be ready to leave. John, thank you. For a Democrat, you're not too bad. Thank you all for being the best friends I could have asked for in a zombie apocalypse. I hope this makes up for everything. I will never forget what you're doing for us, John. I'm glad I lost the election to you first, Mr. President. Here goes nothing. John, just hold on as long as you can. Ah! Oh my god, John. Just get out of here, please. The portal is open, gentlemen. Hurry up. Goodbye, my friend. Thank you for everything. God bless you, John F. Kennedy. You will be remembered as one of America's finest presidents. Your sacrifice will never be forgotten. So long, John. Till we meet again at the pearly gates. Well, this is it, John. Not the place I wanted things to end, but it beats dying in front of my wife and the American people. Oh, Jackie. 
What I wouldn't give to see your face one last time. I hope you can learn to love again with someone better than this old fool. It's so cold, I can't feel anymore. So this is it, huh? Death. I sure hope I see those three again one day. Whoa, what on Earth? Not Earth. You are traveling through the universes. This is incredible. I've never seen anything like it. So we're finally going home, huh? Feels almost bittersweet. Consider yourselves lucky. I rarely do this sort of thing. But you all really did help me out in a big way. And don't worry, as useful as you three are, I don't plan on ever dragging you back into any of this. That's good to hear. Sounds like we'll get a happy ending after all. Well, most of us anyways. Don't worry. I don't think John had any regrets about what he did. Well, if you do ever need experienced Apothecon or zombie slayers in the multiverse, you know where to find us. Damn right I do. But no, seriously. Go live your lives, gentlemen. Your worlds need presidents like you. You got it, Doc. Despite it all, it was an honor playing some small part in saving the multiverse. Oh, and Monty, can you give my regards to my son for me? Sounds like you'll be working with those other presidents soon. Sure thing, George. Anyways, this is your stop, boys. It was a wild ride. Now I have important matters to attend to. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Be seeing you guys. Don't be strangers. Goodbye, my friends. Enjoy the rest of your lives. Now, now, one at a time, people. I promise there will be plenty of time to sign everyone's copy. Mr. President, I am a huge fan of your work. Why, thank you, young man. And what is your name? You can sign it to James. I gotta ask, where did you come up with the plot? I mean, the story is just insanely awesome. Hmm. Well, if you must know, it's based on a true story. Haha, <laughs> good one, Mr. President. I guess it makes sense you don't want to share your secrets. I totally understand. I gotta ask, who is your favorite character? Definitely Jack. The way he sacrificed himself to save his friends and redeem himself was totally heartbreaking, but awesome! You know what? Jack is my favorite, too. Thanks for stopping by, James. Best of luck to you. Ronnie, how are you feeling today? I feel just fine. I love you, Nancy. Ronnie, you remembered my name. I could never forget my beautiful wife. But it does feel like I'm forgetting something important. Well, you did used to be the President of the United States. You haven't talked about that in a long time. Me? President of the United States? Good one, Nancy. Seriously, though. I am forgetting something important that I did with some old friends. Hmm. I mean, there was that one dream you told me about. With you, JFK, George, and Richard Nixon that you swore was real. Oh, look, Ronnie, a fan of yours. Monty, good to see you. Hello, old friend. What has it been for you? About five years since we last spoke. For me, it's only been five minutes. Makes sense with the powers you have. What are you two talking about? My apologies, miss. I was just stopping to say hello is all. Goodbye, Mr. President. What was that about? Congratulations, son. How does it feel to be inaugurated as president? Like the weight of the whole world is on my shoulders. In a way, it is, son. But you are a bush. You are resilient and can handle anything that comes your way. Thanks, Dad. I, I just wish Jeb was here to see this. I know, son. We all miss your brother very much. But I guarantee he's watching. And who knows? In another universe, maybe he's president. Another universe? You'll come to understand one day, son. For now, focus on the present. Make the most out of this enormous responsibility and just know your old man will always be in your corner. Go knock him dead, tiger. All right, Donald, I'm back. 
And where have you been? I thought this mission was priority number one. Had to check in on some people is all. So can I leave soon? I have the summoning key. This house sucks. Next time you make a perfect universe, hire me and I'll build you a beautiful gold tower. You have no taste, Donald, really. It's not about taste. It's about showing off how rich and successful you are. Whatever. Are you sure you're up for this? Taking out an alternate version of yourself can really destroy a man's psyche. I don't care about any of that. Let's just get this show on the road. I'm ready to see my friends again. Well said, and I'm sure the world has been anxiously awaiting the return of the presidential zomboys. You leave for Doris tomorrow morning. Get some rest. Where the hell are we now? Open your eyes, you noob. We're on Doris. Everybody look at me, because I'm pissing on a zombie. What? Had to, Barack. OK, well, Monty sent us here to secure a package. Where is it? You mean, where is he? Who are you guys, and what are you doing here? I think we found him. <laughs> 